It's the Bob and Tom Show. It's the most terrifying and talked about movie of the year. Don't miss seeing Paranormal Activity. This sparse, independent film is getting great reviews and will all... Hey, hey. Uh, scare you in the spirit of Blair Witch Project. Hey. What? Excuse me, scary voice guy. Um, who the hell are you? <laughs> Hi, I'm Bob Gavoyan. <laughs> Paranormal activity? Really? A single camera shot from a bedroom? You all need to hop off the paranormal activity bandwagon and get your ass in line now to see my new movie, Paranocker Activity. <laughs> <laughs> Want me to keep jumping, Mr. Kavoyan? Ah, uh, yes, yes. But I'm getting all sweaty. Oh, that's okay. That's why we're doing the soapy shower scene in Act Two. Oh, okay. I can't wait. <laughs> There. So, what do you think? Um, it's okay, I guess. Uh, it's not real scary. Jeez, what a homo. Does does she at least get murdered? No, none of that. <laughs> Para Knocker Activity is an uplifting movie. It even has a happy ending. Watch. <laughs> uh, she's going to need another shower. Good idea. Everybody back in the bathroom. <laughs> Hey, good morning. <laughs> Welcome, my friends, to the show that never ends. It's the Bob and Tom Show. Hello, Christy. Hello, Chip. Hello, Pat Godwin. Big Chip McGee. Hello, Josh Arnold. Chick. There's Ace Cosby. I'm Chick McGee, and here's Tom Griswold. Hello, Tom. Hello, hello, hello. Oh, are we doing the full name thing today? Not bloody likely. Uh, I like that. The sports guys do that. Right. Hello, hello Chris Lee. How are you today? I'm good, Tom Griswold. And you? Uh, good to see you, Josh Arnold. You're very handsome. <laughs> Thank you, Tom Griswold. Uh, now put your pants on. I will not do that, Tom yeah, Griswold. Well, well I, I think that's offensive at the office. I, uh, <clears throat> Sorry. <laughs> Welcome to the show. Thanks very much for joining us. A lot happening. Um, a lot going on. Really? Yeah, really, I did. There is a lot, of, a lot going uh, on. We have the. Uh, this is the season where you've got uh, pretty much everything is happening in sports. Yeah, NASCAR still up and running, the NBA starting, <laughs> baseball. Now, if they go oh, seven good. games, I taken if the they day go off. seventeen, they'll be the, se it'll be the, the World Series. They'll be the boys of November. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I don't think that's the first year for that. that yeah. the, if there's Game Seven, it'll be November fourth. Yeah. Whoa! Yeah, and they're both indoors. Uh, both have uh, retractable roofs, yeah, and both have uh, artificial turf, yeah. And uh, the place where uh, the, uh, the Diamondbacks play has a pool in the right in right field. So and the, the Diamondbacks tub. won? Yeah. The oh. D-backs beat uh, the Phillies. Why can't I keep that straight in my brain? Normally, I go right to it. It's okay. Uh, they beat the Phillies 4-2 last night. Corbin Carroll went 3-4, for 4-2 RBI. Where are you guys on that? RBIs. R RBIs? Yeah, RBI. to say RBI, I'm out. Oh, I'm fine with RBI, but... Uh, yeah. Oh, it's like you used to say fillets, mignon. Right. Attorneys general. That, well, that's correct. Yeah. That is oh, correct. No, but it's pretentious. Sisters-in-law. <laughs> you got to be, a, you, when it comes to the Brothers language, you got to be like me, a man of the street. I see. Yes. <laughs> what are you talking about? You're the most pretentious person I know. I uh, Thank you. I, I really affect that. I, I work very hard to do that. Uh-huh. But Arizona certain, certain things bug me if I hear the, two, the two words uh, mm. if, in Washington. If I hear, let's see, what is it? Mm. Optics. Yeah. If I hear that, I'm out. I like that. I and, like optics. That's really? a nice, uh, yeah. yeah. Uh -huh. You know, how it looks. Yeah. Why do you say how it looks instead of the optics? It's, I like optics better. It's pretentious. It means they're inside the Beltway Washington mm. idiot. Mm. Just saying. Well, it takes less words. You mean fewer. But the point is... <laughs> uh, oh, here we go. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Walked right into that. I went right back I on. I know what I'm doing, Pat. This we, isn't my first rodeo, We could have scripted that. Oh, Christy, you would have loved it. God, I was listening to a, 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 Nash, a big, famous national news radio show yesterday. Hoity mm -hmm. toity Yeah. And, and you have acknowledged this. Your least favorite word to have to say on the radio is... 
Municipal. M- and it's, it's hard to say. You got it. Did I get it right? Even say, when you say it right, though, it doesn't sound right. Because no. it's hard. Everyone has bad words. I've got about That's 100 That's my of them. word. And you, because sometimes it slips, you say municipal. Municipal. So I heard this, you know, sort of stoic, great newscaster lady do it yesterday. I wanted to, fre- I wish I could freeze it. Oh my God, Christy will be feel she'll feel so good. Yeah. Some of these words Minutes. are tricky. I have trouble with fellatio. <laughs> well, I have no trouble. No, no biting. <laughs> I have trouble problem. saying it. <laughs> fellatio. It's pronounced fellatio. Raymond fellatio. Dr. Raymond fellatio. <laughs> uh, did I interrupt us? I was uh, reading an article, and it was it was of a, a, a good, you know, t- typically reputable source. Mm-hmm. And they used the phrase uh, chalk full. As opposed to, to chalk, chalk, chalk full. Huh. And I, uh, where are editors? Are there? Are, <laughs> what is happening? Chalk and of full. course, chalk on this show. I'm not allowed to talk about it anymore. Why not? Why? The oh, incident. Why? The what chalk. Incident? Oh, the, the chalk. Fam- yeah, the, the yeah. more chalk joke. Oh, yeah. yeah. It's offensive and it doesn't apply anymore. I thought it was. Uh, Josh is ruining one of my favorite topics for fun by getting so thin. That's not really. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, his. Your jokes are more important than his health. Is that what you're saying? Um, yeah, uh, indirectly, exactly. <laughs> Sorry. Um, so who won the game? <laughs> uh, Arizona, Tom. They're uh, advanced to the World Series. First time in 22 years. Beating the Phillies last night 4-2. Uh, they had a list of things the Philadelphia and their fans have uh, lost over the past year. Like like uh, uh, the 76ers out of the playoffs. The Eagles lost the Super Bowl. Now the Phillies are out. Tenants downtown. Go it's, ahead. Uh, it's, uh, <laughs> it's kind of a, yeah, not a good time to live in Philly right now. Pat, you want to take this? You're a former Philly guy. I haven't been back in a while. I don't know what it's like now. It I could lo- be totally different. There, yeah. yeah. Do you have any songs about it? Philadelphia? You know, Bruce Springsteen has that uh, up-tempo. Philadelphia. Rosie, come out tonight to Philadelphia. Uh, and won the sick. Oscar. Okay. Well, it sure did. Yeah. So and depressing. You know, it's completely appropriate for that film. Philadelphia, where we kill us. I prefer the happy Bruce Springsteen. Would you? Rosie, come out tonight. That's a great song. to run. Okay. Would you rather have Hugh Jackman sing something there? I just know I don't need a dirge right now. Yeah. We're up early. In any event, I'm sorry. Pretentious. Moi? You got a lot of sleep last night, didn't you? I did. (laughs) Oh, boy. Well, we're all in for it today. Well, I'm happy for you. Well, thank you. It's probably the first time on a school night in ages. (laughs) Uh, Yeah. Uh, Diamondbacks beat the Rangers uh, in the most unlikely of uh, World Series. And uh, that sound you hear, the Fox executives wringing their hands. Texas, Arizona, mm. no uh. no Yankees, no Dodgers. What? What's happening? <laughs> uh, it'll be uh, game one's Friday night at Globe Life Field in uh, beautiful uh, Phoenix. What do you think? No, in beautiful Arlington, Texas. What what do you think of a a company called Globe Life Field? Sounds vague. Sounds like an insurance company. What are they hiding? Nope, it's an insurance company. Oh. (laughs) That's right. Good for them. Well, actually, technically, they're an insurance holding company. Oh, what does that mean? Mm. I don't know. (laughs) Because it's got I think they hold all the money I think with what real business. <laughs> oh, in real life? Oh, yes. I, the, even, I invested in something called Big Brother Holding Company. Did you? Yeah. Oh. yeah. Oh. Apparently it went out in the early 70s, late 60s. <laughs> because of <laughs> some Janis Joplin <laughs> yeah, the, no, the, 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 the yeah, Janis will not return my call. No. Yeah. You know something? I, I wonder if there is a Big Brother Holding Company. God, would that be fun. <laughs> <laughs> to who? <laughs> Everyone who would laugh at that is dead, or you. No, or they've got a lot of money and they're living the long life. Oh, speaking of that, Grim Reaper girl's here. Did you see who passed away? I was waiting. Hundred four year old girl. What? All right, we'll wait. Yeah, wait, wait, wait for a minute. I'm waiting for the proper sound effect. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, at least we're going to honor this person <laughs> properly. Yes. <laughs> oh, it's a shame she passed away. Isn't that a bummer? You have a short yes, yes, yes. <laughs> See, His publicist says it was caused by a long time, a uh, uh, long time welt. Uh, well, yeah. Oh, wait a minute. Well, I was a shotgun. And <laughs> she, she hit her head. What <laughs> a shame. Whoops. Oh, and you know what her last words were? Oh. <laughs> what? what were they? Take me like a dog, Elvis. 
<laughs> Dick like a dog. I kind of liked the mistake better. <laughs> the last like one I thought it was dirty. Dick. Dick. <laughs> Dick. 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 <laughs> Dick. 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 What's wrong with me? Is there a uh, more sports coming up? Is there an offshoot of TikTok called Dick, Dick Talk? Dick Talk. Not that I'm aware of. With um. Just all porn. Wieners. Finally a place for all those dick pics to go rest in peace. <laughs> I was, I should have, I was uh, at the uh, at the Apple store the other day and uh, love people that work there. That's one of the, they, I think you have to be the nicest person in the world to work there. They're so sweet and nice. Hold your tongue and say Patience of Job. They're great. Um, hello, Joe. Thank a you A couple of those guys want to be, thank you. be in stand-up. Oh, yeah, are they? Yeah, are they? Oh, your chick? You know, I wanted to be in stand-up. Oh, really? What, I, what I'm wondering Just is... fix um, my phone, Calvin. Okay. How, how often <laughs> those guys encounter um, naughty pictures. I should have asked them because I was there for a while. Um, I bet a lot. <laughs> I think you're the only person ever asking that because it's a given that everyone has naughty pictures except you. I don't, but I'm just saying, I'm wondering I if don't. In, in, the, in the process of fixing their phone if... You know, well, well, Mrs. Johnson, um, I can see that you're on Social Security, and by the way, those those boobs have really been affected by gravity. Let's all send Tom <laughs> and, and, and uh, let's oh, all boy, send that's... Tommy a dirty picture. All right, just a big penis. <laughs> I am not going to participate. I don't need a photograph of that if I want to see it. I take I it with me. <laughs> Sorry, Tex, and we're busy right now. Uh, I look over that way, and I see the handsome visage of... Me always. Ace Cosby. Thank you for participating. Me always. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> right behind Ace. I see orange insoles, a pair of orange insoles in the box on top of... Look at that beautiful... <laughs> is that the kegerator we're giving away? It sure is. And we're giving that away. Go to bobandtom.com slash... Contest. You ever take your orange insoles and put them in the refrigerator before you put them in your shoes? Oh, it's a little cooling feeling for. Well, I'll be darn. Never for, thought about oh, that. Oh, it's wonderful. You know, I bet, I bet that isn't so bad. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that may be the first good idea you've had this year. Well, uh, no matter what uh, you do with them, refrigerate them uh, or keep them at room temp. Orange I pick insoles. them up every now and then, act like it's a phone. Hello. Always hilarious. <laughs> Orange insoles are always a great idea. If you're having back pain, hip pain, knee pain, my goodness, if you work on your feet all day, you walk around with shoes that have that lame, thin liner inside, you're getting zero support there. What are you doing? Go to orangeinsoles.com. You're standing all day. You're putting stress on your body. Orange insoles offer arch support, and they have that deep cup to properly support your heel, your feet, and thusly your entire body. Heck, Half the people on this building have them in their shoes. There are three pair in the fridge right now. There you go. If the insole in your current shoe flops around like a sad fish. You know those pathetic ones you get with shoes? You take them yeah. out there. there, there. Like, oh, a lasagna noodle. Thanks. Oh, the handy. You're, By the way, uh, you're correct. Many people in this building do have them in their shoes. We yeah. Ha we have to instruct uh, Mr. Kessler, please take them out of his underwear. I, I don't know what he's trying to I do. Think, ba back to you. Yeah, he's, he's the orange falsies is what he thinks they are. They're not. <laughs> You're not getting the support you require if uh, you've got that sad fish in your shoe. It's like a table. If it wobbles, you're not getting, it's not getting proper support. Head to orangeinsoles.com. Listen to this. Free shipping and a 60-day we want you to be happy guarantee. Also, one of the best things about orange insoles, they come true to size. You don't have to cut them out of a larger mat of rubber in order to uh, be able to fit them in your shoes. At orangeinsoles.com, take their new insole quiz. Answer a few simple questions, including your symptoms, what shoes you plan to wear, your shoe size. You're going to get recommendations guaranteed to work. How easy is that? Check it out for yourself. Orangeinsoles.com. Thank you very much. Coming up, by the way, speaking of contests, we have our winner for week seven, of the Big Green Egg Mini Max. Tell you who it is when we come back. This is the Bob and Tom Show. I play my ukulele like I'm playing with my baby. I finger and I pluck her. I love to play an island song. So won't you play along? My Honolulu baby likes to play my ukulele. She strums it and she hums it. She loves to sing an island song. 
So won't you sing along? Ukulele, baby, you can play me, you can lay me, satisfy me in Hawaii. Ukulele, lady, you can lay me. My ukulele, baby. Wake you on a lay in my may a ukulele lady, you can lay me my ukulele, baby. You, you can lay me my ukulele, baby. Josh, and of course... Hi, Chick McGee, everybody. Your chance to win a Mini Max Big Green Egg for Bob and Tom at Big Green Egg. Each week, someone will win a Mini Max Big Green Egg. It's the Bob and Tom Show Pig Skin Pick, empowered by the Big Green Egg. Go to bobandtom.com slash contest on the computer. <laughs> Is that where you go? Are we eligible? packed meals delivered to your door ready in just two minutes no prep no mess head to factormeals.com slash bob and tom 50 and use the code bob and tom 50 to get 50 percent off the code bob and tom 50 at factormeals.com slash bob and tom 50 to get 50 percent off Think you know your pro football and want to put your knowledge to the test? Then play Pigskin Pick'em every week at BobandTom.com. This is your chance to win a Mini Max Big Green Egg. Just pick the winners of this week's pro football games and you could win a Mini Max Big Green Egg. Head to BobandTom.com slash contest and play Pigskin Pick'em with the Bob and Tom Show. Hi, this is Nick Griffin, and you're listening to Bob and Tom Radio. The space shuttle astronauts are halfway through their seven-day research mission. Endeavor is expected to become an orbiting maternity ward today when frog eggs that were fertilized earlier in the mission start to hatch. Now We are scheduled to hook up with uh, Commander Thompson. We should hook up right now, I right. believe. Hello, Houston. <laughs> They're speaking with Bob and Tom. Hello, Endeavor. Hello, Spaceship Earth. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Captain, how Captain, are you? Captain, how are you? We're doing great. We're uh, doing a lot of experiments up here. Yeah, we're just reading about the one involving the uh, frog. The South African clawed frogs. The eggs are about to hatch any moment oh, now, aren't very they? very excited. Very, as a matter of fact, I, it looks like they might be hatching about now. Oh, good. You people might be the first ones on Earth to hear what's going on. Well, but, uh, great. This oh, is there a, they come. This is exciting. Some, some little critter coming out of there. Uh, 
Let's see what's going on here. Uh, Hey, welcome back to the Bob and Tom Show. Christy Lee at the news desk. Hello. There's Pat Godwin in the performance room. Hey, Chick. There's Josh Arnold. Hello. He's at the I Hate Steven Singer sidekick chair. There's Ace Cosby. Hey. And his swell Raiders cap. I'm Chick McGee, and here's Tom Griswold. True fan sticks with their team. Hello, Tom. No matter how mediocre they are, right, Ace? <laughs> He's marathon, not a sprint. <laughs> no. That's right. They're going to be in the Super Bowl. The Lions are going down this weekend. That's right. Mm. You could also look at Tom and go, yes, we sure do, don't we? Root for our mediocre teams. <laughs> <laughs> Robbed by the referees. <laughs> yeah. Um, you win a regular. Uh, three calls away from. Uh, One yeah. call shouldn't make it. Uh, a significantly better record. Uh, we we um, are going to check. And the league apologized about those calls. Said they were wrong. What? Said, they, said they were sorry. Yeah. That's crazy. Really? Are you serious? Yeah. Well, they've done this before. They they do this. Right. Isn't there a ref's union? Oh, you my know, God. I'm going to say, I bet that happens five or six times a year. Okay. With calls. You think they should have a thing where they review all calls in the last, if if a game is close in the last two minutes? So with, That's uh, what I thought they did. Do you, do you feel better? Having the league apologize, or or what would make it Worse. better? The, the the Colts being awarded a win? Yeah, right, right. Yeah, I don't, yeah that'd help. See? No, <laughs> would that help? And you would count that if the league said, okay, the Colts won. It was a terrible call, and they obviously won the game when they recovered that fumble. And <laughs> I, I, I don't know. They need to do something. They I, That was never reviewed as far as I can tell. Is it just scores, Chick, in the last two minutes that they review, or is it? Oh, automatically review? Yeah. Um, no, I think, well, no, don't they make the announcement? All replays in the last two minutes, all replays come from the, from the booth. The coaches can't challenge. And, Who knows? Mm, I don't know. Mm. Something's wrong. Um, uh, Christy had a... Uh, I think Josh has it, though, in the pass interference calls. That should They should do a way. Well, no, what's your feeling on pass interference, John? Yeah. It should be, there's no such thing. Right. Why is that? You, because you have to tackle the guy who's about to catch the ball. <laughs> if you don't tackle him, he's going to catch the ball and maybe run with it. <laughs> yeah. yeah. We'll, you know? we'll, we'll run that by the NFL. Right. Uh, uh, Christy, I'm going to give these guys a hint. Uh, we have some oh. sad news. But, I think it's uh, pretty easy if you give it. Who's the cat that woke up out when the day's all about? Shaft. Right on. Right on. Oh, God, that's such great music. Isaac Hayes and the theme from Shaft. Sadly, Richard Roundtree, though, has passed away at the age of 81. I was going to say, I thought Isaac Hayes was way... Yeah. Really a few years <laughs> ago. Uh, let's not um, dilute <laughs> the, uh, the, the quality <laughs> that we're losing here with the actor Richard Roundtree. I think he was kind of important. Oh, oh yeah. He started as the ultra-smooth private detective in the movie Shaft. 1971 is when that first came out. Did you uh, ever watch any of the sequels? Shaft. Shaft's big score or Shaft in Shaft's Africa? Big, was, 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 wasn't wasn't there right Shaft's, Shaft's big ripoff? Wasn't that, I think that <laughs> I remake. Think, I think that was. Uh, didn't they uh, have Sam Jackson come back and play Shaft, but Richard Roundtree and um, Sam Jackson were the same age or something? <laughs> something what? like that. Yeah. They, no. they did have Sam Jackson, and then they had another one, and Sam, the, another Shaft. Oh, no, they had a Superfly. Yeah. Oh, I love they, Superfly. They have, I think they brought Shaft back again. I think there was a sequel to the Yes. Sequel. Richard Roundtree made his acting debut in Shaft at the age of 28. Wow. After starting his career as a model, he apparently was diagnosed with pancreatic cancer, passed away at his home in Los Angeles on Tuesday. You may, may remember him in Maniac Cop. I missed that. <laughs> oh, did you? Yeah, sorry. That was nominated for Best Picture. <laughs> It was, but uh, uh, ignored. Okay, yeah, this says it was uh, Shaft in 71, Shaft's big score, Shaft in Africa, then there was a Shaft in the year 2000. Right. And then another Shaft in 2019. Yeah. Whoa. Young guy, but Samuel L. Jackson. Samuel L. Jackson. It. And Richard Roundtree was also in that one. Um, Do you think uh, the Hillbillies, what was the one about what, the title of the one, Africa? <laughs> Um, Shaft, Shaft in Africa. Shaft in Africa. Yeah, the I hill, hillbillies. Was, I told you, he should live in Africa. Oh, where he's, 
There may no. have been some ugliness. <laughs> was, uh, oh, man. Why am I thinking there was one called Shaft's Big Ripoff? I, I don't know where that came from in my head. No, but, uh, you were thinking like of Shaft's. Mad, Mad Magazine. Yeah, yeah maybe, Shaft's maybe. Big Score. But I, I do remember this. Uh, uh, Richard Roundtree very bravely an announced that he had breast cancer years ago, making the point that it's not uh, gender-specific and that some men do get it, in fact, so... Uh, he was, uh, you know, th that took a lot of courage for him to come out and talk about that. It was always cool to see yep. when you saw his name in the credits. You went, all right. I did at least. I like Oh, yeah, I did too. Very cool. Sweet. And then I, I always get uh, the, the, the Shaft and uh, it, with a score from Isaac Hayes and then Curtis Mayfield. Yeah, Superfly. It's Superfly. Oh, that was and that's such the a one. great song. That uh, was one of my yeah. favorite albums and of all time. And Superfly is, the, is the, one of the hits. Remember this? Was Freddy's Dead? Yep. Mm -hmm. So you'd go see oh, the yeah. movie. You go, well. Kind of a spoiler, spoiler alert. <laughs> That'd be like having a song. <laughs> Rosebud is a sled. Yeah. yeah the opening credits almost, of Citizen Kane. Rosebud was a sled. <laughs> It'd be almost like a, a fast food restaurant giving out a glass that says, Spock lives. Right. The big, uh, yeah. <laughs> the big new Star Trek yeah. movie coming out. And, well, uh, anyway, uh, rest yeah, in peace. Rest, uh, yes. Shaft. Brought a lot of joy to a lot of people, Richard. It was, I mean, it was, it was huge. I remember seeing, oh, seeing, yeah. it, seeing it on a packed theater. Shaft? Yeah, Shaft. Oh, cool, yeah. Shaft. Richard, Richard Roundtree like, was in... It? He was in Seven? Is that right? Was oh, I don't more, remember him. I don't me, remember him being well in Seven Hmm. That's interesting. What uh, else was he in? Was he in Mars Attacks? Or was that Jim Brown? Jim Brown was, was in Mars, Mars Attacks. Attacks. Okay. Okay, That's right. well, uh, now we were uh, reviewing many things in the world of sports, uh, including the World Series has been set up. City Heat. Um, oh, he was in Corky Romano. Did you know that? I did not. <laughs> well, you can read this off the air. I see yourself. <laughs> we have things to get to. I feel like I'm behind in irritating you today. I feel like I need to catch up. Well, this I is thought working. you were going to be nice to him. You said yesterday. Yeah, I, I, I am. Oh, okay. I, I, I'm, I'm irritating him in a nice way. Okay, gotcha. <laughs> right. Yeah. All right. How's that? <laughs> Anyway, uh, as we uh, say, said, Corbin Carroll, criminy, went three for four, two RBIs, and two runs scored, and the Arizona Diamondbacks, stakes, advanced to the World Series for the first time since 22 years when loaf of bread was a nickel. They stunned the Phillies, it says here, four to two in game seven of the National League Championship Series. Arizona plays the Texas Rangers, formerly the Washington Senators, in the World Series. Game one set for Friday night at Globe Life Field, down at the Globe. Remember that song? No, I don't. Oh, no. I don't. Something about the Globe That's... at the Globe. Yeah, it was like a dancey song. Hmm. Down yeah. at the Globe. You're singing down at the on, board on the boardwalk. On the down, boardwalk. No, on the boardwalk. On the boardwalk. <laughs> That's different. See, on the boardwalk. Down at the Globe. No, See, it's the it's Very different. <laughs> thank you. Thank you, John. Hey, hey, Pat, let's get a song out of it. That reminds me of one of my favorites from huh? Pat. Pat's tribute to oh, the song. Uh, just like that, I get my time. On the boardwalk. <laughs> uh, you remember this one, Pat? Well, there's a couple uh, we did. Well, I want to. this reminds me because uh, Pat's uh, favorite pawn shop oh, uh, is in Ohio. Mm -hmm. um, uh, you want to give him a quick plug? Uh, the Lima uh, uh, American Pond. American Pond. Yeah, Lima, Ohio. Do they have a picture of you in there? They should. I was yeah. there a lot. I'll tell you what. If can I? If I have PJ make a poster with you. <laughs> they are a sponsor for American of the show. Pond. Good people. Let Let me I know you. that'd be fun. That you people would walk in and go. There's Pat Godwin. Does your uh, anybody you might be in a relationship right now know about the pond? Uh, Not until right now. Yeah, <laughs> that's what I thought. She's up already. That's all right. <laughs> yeah. Oh, come on. She listens to the show. She knew. We haven't done it in a while. Does she know what the word hot is? <laughs> haven't done what? The pawn shop. Oh. Huh? Or, I thought, yeah. <laughs> I thought you meant yeah, 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 that. Uh, that was not a closed circuit to no. the, the little lady. <laughs> <laughs> well, that reminds me, speaking of Ohio, uh, uh, Patty G is going to be in Delphus, Ohio. Delphus, of course, named after... I don't know. Uh, Delphus Presley, the <laughs> famous. Oh, my god! Oh, Delphus. It's I thought it was Delphus St. John. Isn't that? Uh, Delphus, Ohio, with Mr. Jeff Oskey. Oh, this is going to be a night of handsome people. Uh, it's Saturday, November 11th at the KFC. 
Oh, I like their Knights original of Columbus. Re- oh, Knights re- of Columbus. <laughs> original recipe. Oh, okay. Uh, the, no, re- the, the, huh? <laughs> the recipe for comedy on November 11th in Delphus, Ohio, not too far from Lima, is uh, going to be Oscar and Godwin. It's going to be great. Go see it. Um, and uh, I'll tell you about some other shows with Patty G. But first, Big Audio Dynamite. Oh, at a Nick song Jones. called The Globe. Oh, I like those guys. I yeah. I don't know if I, I don't that. remember oh, that, that at That was all. the guy that from uh, Clash. What? From the Clash, yeah. yeah. Oh, was it? Yeah. yeah. And their big their they, logo is they remixed I, I refuse to listen to them cuz their logo said bad. Really? You didn't really tell me about it from your limo, okay? Uh we have uh Mr. Just, Godwin with his Just get song. on the private jet and shut up, right? Yeah, right. Yeah. Okay. What do you got, Pat? Based on a true story, here we go. I have a Fender Strat and a Martin D-20. A brand new ukulele and a fancy bamboo case. Down at the pawn shop, that's where they'll be, oh yeah. Until I come up with the cash I have till December 19th. It's coming up. Down at the pawn shop, that's you guys. With oh. the jewelry and guns. Down at the pawn shop. Getting divorces fun. Down at the pawn shop. Locked up in the back. Down at the pawn shop. A guy in lines on crack. Down, Down at, at the, the pawn, pawn shop. Pawn shop. Life has kicked my ass. Said to see my marriage fail. It's going good now, right, Paula? I gotta pay my <laughs> child support or I'll end up in jail. Thank you, Tom, for paying that. So down at American Pawn <laughs> in Lima, Ohio, I go. Maybe they'll cut me a break. Said their name on the radio. <laughs> American Pawn. Down, down at, at American Pawn. Pawn. Oh. I see the quickie load. Just down say at American Pawn. My ex-wife's on the phone. Down, down, down at American, American Pawn. Get out your picture ID. Down American Pawn. <laughs> Aren't you Patty G? Down at American <laughs> Pawn. It's a pawn shop. There Ohio. you go. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Dan, for saving my butt. <laughs> Man. Patty G, by the way, at the Funny Bone. Am I reading this correctly? You're there coming up Friday? Mm-hmm. Friday and Saturday. Friday and Saturday. The Funny Bone in St. Charles, Missouri. Where is that, Josh? Uh, just outside St. Louis proper. Okay, greater St. Louis. Um, is that where the Comedy Forum used to be? Cl- very close right to that area, yeah. Uh, right now, I will also remind you that um, Mr. Godwin's at the Ho-Chunk Gaming Facility in the Wisconsin Dales with uh, Mr. Jeff Oske and Willie G. That's Did you just say the Wisconsin Dales? <laughs> Did I say the Dales? I think you might have said Sorry, the Dales. I was reading ahead trying to figure and something out. And actually, someone said that you can't, you don't need to say Wisconsin Dells. Just the Dells. Uh, because that's like saying, uh, I'm from Chicago, Illinois, I guess, or something like that. People know where, no, it's just a given. It's Wisconsin uh, Dells. If you're, if you were, are from there. I, 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 I Our disagree. listeners in California may not know. I think they know where the Dells is. They it's just know where the, far, the farmers are. Because the, far, the farmers are in the Dells. I've heard that. <laughs> what is a singular Dell? Anyway? God, this is so stupid. Yeah, I think it's a Dell, yeah. yeah. There's one Dell. Josh, how are we doing so far? You got that look on your face like this is, this is bad. Uh, uh, not bad. Disappointing. <laughs> Amateurish. I, I am trying to My pl- mom used to say that. But she'd get really mad. I'm not. Not mad. I'm just disappointed. Yeah. That's a classic oh, parental yeah. line. Classic. Absolutely. I was just trying to say November 4th is a Saturday evening in the Wisconsin. Oops. Election day. In the Dells. And uh, <laughs> it's election day? Yeah, they moved it to a Saturday so people wouldn't have to take off work. I, right. I check local listings. I have no uh, idea. And, and remember this on election day real quick. Uh, your work does not have to let you off to vote. That is a, uh, a lie. Oh, my God. Spread by. Uh, and also, uh, November 4th is uh, trick-or-treat day. <laughs> That's right. All, all the lies. These, none of this is helping. Ho Chunk Gaming in the Dells. Oske, Godwin, is. and Willie G. That is November 4th. Oh, my God. It's unbelievable. It's like pulling teeth trying to help these guys. Chubby prostitutes. What? Ho Chunk. Oh, Chunk. <laughs> no, 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 no. Let, him, let, it, let it stew. I like it. I, I, the... You know what? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to <laughs> soak in this with him. No, and it's, it's not, it's it's not is... that she's heavy. It's just she, she wears her clothes too tight. It's a chunk. Yeah. She needs a makeover. Yeah. Yeah. 
Now, don't get us wrong. Ho, indeed. I mean, <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah, yeah, definition. Some of. might like a chunky ho. Well, of course. Some. Absolutely. Big, 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 chunky, chunky ho. <laughs> <laughs> See, he's into it now. That was big, 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 chunky ho. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's the, the chunky, the candy bar theme. Remember oh, that? Oh, no, no, I don't. Of course I don't. No. You don't remember the With chunky? Arnold Stang? Arnold, the great I Arnold think... Stang? The Chunky didn't have a theme. Chunky. They did? They did? That's what he said, Chunky. With uh, a, uh, here, with here it is. Chunky candy bar. These guys have the memories of I them. talk well, like a baby. Uh, well, you know something? You have, to, uh, you have to know history or it's going to repeat. I wasn't born. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> that, that, that may have been used in the dumbest context yeah. of all time. Here we go. Give it a listen. Chunk, chunk, big chunk. Chunky. Big, big, big chunk. Chunky. Son of a bitch. Open, Open wide, wide for, for Chunky. chunky. <laughs> <laughs> well, a nickel chocolate bar in the USA. Oh, yeah, no that's, that's got oh, a regular Oh, that's Mason announcer. Adams. Well, yeah. they yeah. like Smockers. Oh, yeah, I like yeah. Mason Adams. Yeah, but they used to have a... I do not remember Arnold that. Arnold Stang, who was yeah, kind of a pre-Woody that. Allen, very New York accent guy. Chunky yeah. was the runner-up name late 50s. for that candy bar. It was going to be Chode. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah then they, they, they had really, a, really thick. Yeah, I never had. It doesn't have raisins. That ever? No, thanks. I think it does. Yeah, you're anti-raisin, aren't Not you? Not necessarily anti-raisin anymore, but in my candy bar? No, no, no. No, I, thank you? No. no. How about salad? celery in a candy bar? Celery? <laughs> <laughs> now you're been, being I've been, silly. I've been, I've been hanging around God when he's got this whole health food thing going. Uh-huh. All cracks. I love celery. Okay. Mm, yeah, and Celery and chicken salad? Yes. Yes. Raisins and chicken salad? No. Oh, yes. How about peanuts or uh, I cashews like, and I like uh, everything but celery. Celery, grapes, walnuts, pecans. Nothing in chicken salad. Chicken. No. Do you like chicken, chicken in your chicken salad? You probably oh, you don't, don't eat like, it because yeah. the mayonnaise. I don't eat it. It's got mayonnaise grapes. in it. Nope. Okay. Nope. Love the grapes in chicken salad. Do you eat the vaginase? Nope. <laughs> okay. Oh, veganase. It's veganase, I'm sorry. Yeah, sorry. But I don't eat that. <laughs> well, veganase is great. It's really good. I thought you tried vaginase once in college. <laughs> no, I didn't go to college. One drunken night. <laughs> okay, well, here we go one more time. Chunky. Really? What a chunk of chocolate. That's Arnold staying for you. I could just see the ad guy going, you know, his his voice sounds chocolatey, doesn't it? <laughs> yeah, it does. Do you remember we interviewed Mr. Stang? Yes. <laughs> I was so delighted. I know you He were. is uh, famously in the movie It's a Mad, 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 Mad World. <laughs> He's one of the, is he one of the gas station guys? Uh-huh. I he think is. so. Okay, very good. Very good. I'm sorry. Uh, well, uh, coming up in the, in the sporting world? Oh, me. Um, Not now, but what's coming World up? records and uh, first night of the NBA and uh, other stuff. And okay. more about the globe and big audio dynamite. Oh. Ooh. Yeah. Suck. Um, Down at the globe. Uh, coming up, we have an update on the uh, pilot to try to cut off the engines and a aircraft in midair full of people. Yeah, we do have an update on it's that. kind of a sad... I'd like to hear his reason. It's very sad. Well, well, what he had going on. Uh, he had a f his fish playing in his headphones. Uh, but oh, <laughs> but first, I want to remind you that if you're listening to this show, you would have heard that chunky jingle even better in those Raycon earbuds. Yes, you would have. Uh, Raycon's everyday earbuds, you know this, look, feel, and sound better than ever with three sound profiles to match whatever you're listening to. They feature noise isolation, and awareness mode, you can choose to be immersed or tune into your surroundings. You can listen while you travel, maybe during that grueling workout. Optimize gel tips for the perfect in-ear fit to fit every ear ever made. And you can wear them all day and be comfortable. Plus, they will not budge. And Raycon, you also get eight hours of playtime, 32 hours of battery life, seamless Bluetooth syncing, and they start about... Half the price of other premium audio brands. No wonder Raycon's everyday earbuds have over 78,000 five-star reviews. Raycon's having their annual fall sale. For a limited time, go to buyraycon.com slash Tom and get 20% off site-wide plus free shipping. That's buyraycon.com slash Tom to score 20% off. That's buyraycon.com slash Tom. Coming up, uh, the controversy about... Um yellow sheets and pillows in the news <laughs> unnaturally or perhaps naturally yellow <laughs> we'll find out what that's all about this is the bob and tom show become a bob and tom vip and get your bob and tom fix 24 24 
welcome to the wildly successful Mr. Obvious Show. <laughs> I'm your host, Mr. Obvious. Let's take a call. Hello, Mr. Obvious Show. Uh, hello, is this Mr. Obvious? Speaking. Hi, Mr. Obvious. Uh, long-time listener, first-time caller. Uh-huh. Uh, I just want to say, uh, first of all, I really love your show. Really enjoy listening to it. I think you do a great job. Well, kind words indeed. And thank you, caller, for calling the Mr. Uh, Obvious show. No, Mr. Obvious? Yes. Uh, here's my problem. Oh, okay. Well, the thing is, uh, I think i got some kind of animal uh, trapped in my house. Oh, yeah, like a pest problem or yeah, something? Yeah, uh, uh-huh. well, it's, it's even bigger than that. Uh, I think it's some kind of critter that's trapped down uh, underneath my sink somewhere. Oh, my. Now, do you live in a rural section of town? Um, yeah, as a matter of fact, I do. Uh, uh-huh. I live on the outskirts of town here. And, uh, well, here's the thing. I think it's caught underneath my sink, and I've opened the doors and, and in my cabinets there and looked underneath, and I can't find it anywhere. But I can hear him down there making noise. Oh, you say you got a critter and you can hear him. Now, what, what yep. kind of sound does he make, caller? Um, well, it's kind of a growling, kind of a uh, – well, I'll try to imitate it for you. It's kind of like – <laughs> like uh huh. This is under your sink in your kitchen. Yeah. Uh, I mean, it sounds like you might be caught down there in the pipes. <laughs> now, this is not uncommon for your uh, rurally located homes to have a raccoon or a possum uh, under the house. Now, but you say he might be stuck in the pipes? Yeah, that's what it seems like. Because, uh, in fact, I think that's how he's living there. Uh, he seems to eat stuff that my wife throws away down the sink after dinner. She'll, <laughs> she'll wash the leftovers down the sink uh, after we get done eating. I think that's what he's eating because I can hear him down there growling and uh, chewing. Huh. What was the sound again, caller? Well, it's uh, she'll put the stuff down there in the sink and run the water, and then uh, you can hear him is kind of going... <laughs> I like that. Huh. Now, is there anything else that corresponds with the uh, the growling that your wife does there in the kitchen? Huh. Um, well, it, it does seem like uh, it usually happens whenever she tries to turn the light on. <laughs> There's a light switch there. She'll try to turn it on. The uh, thing is, the light don't come on. Um, huh. I, I, I think the light bulb must be burnt out or something, but I can't even find a place to change the light bulb on it. Anyway, she'll try to turn that light switch on, and uh, you can hear him down there just um, seems to make him mad as anything. Uh-huh. <laughs> this is in the kitchen under the sink, right? Yeah. yeah. Yep. And, uh, you know, I, I, I figure he's caught in the pipes. Right. So I figured I'd try to get him out of there. Uh-huh. Well, I reached down there with my hands when I heard him growling. Uh-huh. And I mean, that thing about ripped my fingers off. Bit into me. Boy, it hurt. Well, I think I know what your problem is, caller. It's, uh, it's a garbage disposal. So uh, uh, is that uh, something, something like a raccoon? No, caller. It's uh no, it's something something littler like a uh, like a mouse. <laughs> no, caller, it's a machine that's hooked to your uh, your drain pipe there under your sink that chews up uh, uh, food that uh, makes it rinse right down the pipe there. It's an actual machine. It's not an animal at all. Huh? <laughs> yeah, that's what it is. I never made the connection. Get rid of the garbage. There you go. Sounds like a critter. <laughs> I know, yeah, it's not a critter. It's a, thanks for calling, though, caller. Mr. Obvious? Yes. You're a lifesaver. Thank you. Uh, that'll do it for this week's show. Uh, thank you, and uh, good luck uh, from everyone here on the Mr. Obvious Show. Oh, boy. <laughs> <laughs>What's wrong? My back is sore, my legs. What's in your shoe? Nothing. Mm -hmm. I mean, here, look, nothing. Ah, Joshua, you have to have proper support. Huh? Orange insoles. Orange insoles, you say? Yeah, look. Yeah, yeah, I I see them. Look at this. They're great. Yeah. Orange insoles. I'll give them a shot. Great. See you later, buddy. Give it a... Yippee! I can mow and dance while I do it. Ha! No more pain. Thank you, Orange Insoles. <gasps> oh, Josh, Josh, did you get Orange Insoles? Jessica, I sure did. Thanks to Orange Insoles, I feel great. Terrific. <laughs> See you a- later. <laughs> Orange Insoles. Feel better, do more.
<laughs> the essential morning radio all day and all night. Really? No, seriously. Really? Bob and Tom Radio. Tom Radio. <laughs> Thanks for joining us with us in the studio. Comedian Billy Gardell, Comedy Central, with a Comedy Central stand-up special. Where'd you film that? Uh, New York, uh, the Hudson Theater, which oh, yeah. was really cool. Mm -hmm. It was, uh, you know, uh, two blocks off of Broadway. And uh, I called my dad to try to share a moment with him. Mm -hmm. My dad was a steel worker in Pittsburgh, so I should have known better. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I said, Dad, I'm two blocks from Broadway. He goes, yeah, well, enjoy it. That's probably as close as you're ever going to get. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Dad. Well, thanks, Dad. Thanks, thanks a lot. For, Love you, too. Uh, uh -huh. His favorite game to play with me when I'm home is, look at the TV star taking out my trash. <laughs> That's his favorite little game. He loves to show the neighbors. The, look, still look takes it to the curb. Uh -huh. Now he can read and types like a secretary. Yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. yeah that's, that's what it is. You know you're too high when you're eating cereal naked and your girlfriend tells you to put some clothes on, you realize it's not your girlfriend, it's just a woman on a bus. <laughs> that's how you know you're too high. <laughs> Hi, this is Larry Reeb, Uncle Larry. It's a sick world and I'm a happy guy. Details. Welcome back to the Bob and Tom Show. Christy Lee at the news desk. Hello. There's Pat Godwin in the performance room. Hey, chick. There's Josh Arnold. Hi. He's at the I Hate Steven Singer sidekick chair. You There's better believe it. Ace Cosby. Hey. I'm Chick McGee, and here's Tom Griswold. Thank you very much. And here's big audio dynamite. Oh, yeah. Break it on down. Bless you. Woo! Bless you. Was this a hit? Yeah. I've never heard this. Yeah, I'm, 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 I'm a huge fan of these Where are you going, my beautiful I totally forgot about this. And they, uh... Uh, so did uh, oh, so did radio programmers I across the world. Heard this I used to hear this a lot. Oh, they played it a lot, actually. And then uh, the synopsis said they were born out of the ashes of the clash. <laughs> this was fun. Yeah. What's the name of this? The Globe. Their big, their biggest hit was Rush. Big yeah. Audio thing. Get a Never heard this. Nope. Never heard it. I like it. Okay. Tom does not like it. No, no, too Tom modern. Tom does not like it. Too no, it's fun. okay. No. Uh, where's, uh, where's Bix? You got a little Bix for us? <laughs> you mean the great Bix Spiderback? Oh, no. oh, yes. This could be the oldest sounding song we play, if it's a song. Uh, uh, contemporary music would be nowhere without the great Bix Spiderback. Oh, my gosh. That's fine, but uh, why don't you hear it more often? Well, it's it's a roots music. You do <laughs> in the basements of serial killers today. <laughs> fashion a skin suit out of their latest victim. Uh, 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 I'd I'd kiss me. <laughs> now, we were talking we were talking about that song, and I'm not saying it's good or bad. I've just never heard it before. So, so therefore, it doesn't exist. Right. No, exactly, it doesn't exist. And uh, no, I just on. I've listened to a lot of classic rock. I've never once heard that. You you uh, 90s. Uh, I was 90s, obsessed yeah. with that. I don't really? think you've heard anything still in this century. I don't think. Taylor Swift, that's it. Oh, yeah, that's no, true. No, uh, yeah. Dua Lipa. <laughs> I'm levitating, my favorite song. All right, there's two. That's there's because he has I two little girls. I keep meaning to do the parody of that for Josh. <gasps> what is it? I'm masturbating. Oh, yeah, for me. I'm, you know, did you guys know <laughs> I'm the only else? man that's ever masturbated? Yeah. I've heard that. Yeah. 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 And the only yeah. one that ever eats pizza. Pretty amazing. I know, mm -hmm. it's incredible. Yeah. It's At the same time. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Let's be clear. <laughs> Josh Arnold's new marinara lube. Oh, man. Wow. wow. That's mad. That's mean. Here's something interesting. Best marinara in this city is at a pizza place. I'll tell you about it off the air. Let's uh, move on. We and have, that's uh, all. It's a personal so, choice. Uh, so we're, uh, <laughs> yes. of course, that's like. And did choices. you know that pasta, different shapes, <laughs> it tastes, tastes different. different. Yeah. It's not all just wheat and and, and water and, <laughs> oh and mixing. Um, it, it, it just, it you bend different. that like an elbow. That tastes different. And <laughs> if you disagree yeah. with them, you don't have the sophisticated palate. That right. No, I, I pasta in different shapes tastes different. That's no, uh, it doesn't. So that's why well, again, <laughs> your palate is so unsophisticated. You wouldn't know a turd from a there. It is uh -huh. banana. Right. Uh, let's move forward here. We have um. You know, I think you do look down on us, but I I I would be shocked at how much how how down you look on. Uh, yeah, <laughs> it, it's far worse than I think. Oh no, I have every. I know exactly. <laughs> I, um, it's okay. So we're playing big audio dynamite because no, they're anymore. bad. You do. Um, in honor of what that's again? The, Jones the Globe the Theater. What is this? Globe Life. Uh, that's the uh, where the uh, World Series starts Friday night. Uh, the Texas okay. Rangers. That's the by, by, by naming that stadium. Now you're aware of Globe Life, and you may look into getting some of their products. 
That's why they do it. I'm, I'm kind of happy with really? the insurance I have. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Okay. But yeah. you never heard of Globe Life prior to this? I did not. Um, uh, I don't think I have, no. Okay. That's They're an insurance they holding company. Uh -huh. They're holding something. <laughs> they probably, money. Probably the money. Yeah. Maybe they, uh, maybe, money. Maybe they need a spokesman. Hi. Maybe. I'm Chick McGee for Globe Life. <laughs> oh, that's good. Hi. Uh, that's nice. <laughs> what's, what are that? you, what's your gonna? What's your family gonna do when you <laughs> broke luck. die? <laughs> you ever well, thought about that? After the dancing, <laughs> <laughs> the peeing on my grave. What is the old uh, joke? Uh, you want the party catered or not? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, I know. That'd be good. You're good at that. Maybe you should audition. <laughs> Soon. <laughs> <laughs> they got all those guys. They have uh, Tom Selleck, Henry Pulled Winkler, uh, yeah. William Devane, all these folks that people can, you know, ah, I used to watch him. Oh, Tom, I, uh, I I have something happened last night I need to ask you about. Yeah, oh. go ahead. I think I had my first bald guy dream. <laughs> where A bald guy dream? In the dream, I, like, took my hat off, right. and I had so much hair. I was like, what do I... I was like, I, this is too much. I got to cut I gotta cut this. Wow. Like, it was one of those... And then I woke up, and I was like, oh, I don't have hair like that anymore. Oh. I wonder if this is the first bald guy dream. Wow. Tom, do you have dreams where you have hair? <laughs> Every no, I, I wish I did. I... Now, you, I want to just mention something. This reminds me. I, I look at this poster over there. It says, Josh Arnold, Half Fat. Mm -hmm. It's your new album that was recorded live, and I believe it's being uh, dropped, as they say, uh, on November 3rd and this year. This year, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, okay. and I'm very excited about this. But you've lost so much weight, maybe instead of Half Fat, you should call it Half Bald. Because no. you, are, you are half bald <laughs> yes. from the, no. the, the ear forward. There's nothing there anymore. Oh yeah, no. I mean, I'm I'm a pretty much a bald guy, but it, it's uh, no, no, no changes need to be. No, no, made. you look good. I mean, probably too late to change it now. Maybe your next hour, the 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 next hour of comedy that you have, we'll call that half bald. Maybe. We will. Uh, okay. <laughs> Maybe. Uh, How about, can I make some suggestions? I know no. you can. Uh, I ate the cracker. <laughs> Again, no, not, nothing, nothing to do with my life. <laughs> no, nope. at all. No, nope. just likes the idea of me losing a circle jerk. Yes, yeah, so and you, having to ingest. Or winning, and I still don't Depends know what that means. Depends on your attitude. Yes, That's right, Pat. Pat. Thank you. In Pat's case, it's a glass half full of semen. <laughs> it's not a glass half empty. Thank hey, you, you, Pat. Guys, can, can you imagine that guy? He's about to take a bite of a cracker. Uh, you can call me loser all you want, but I feel like a winner. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> this is a great cracker. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. It's a zest. I'll tell you what. <laughs> it's a I'm just, We're off topic, aren't we? Yes. What were you talking about? I forget. All, all, all the World like, Series. Pat, it? have you had dreams where your hair has been way more than... Uh, yeah, I, I have, yeah. This was the, it was weird. Pretty traumatic when you lose it. <laughs> <laughs> I, see, that, I, I haven't really fought it that much because there's nothing I can do. So it's like, why am I... Why you look get, great. Oh, you can do a comb over. Oh yeah, you could you could do a badass comb. Yeah, you, think you so? could. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. You'd have to kind of comb it forward. Yeah, maybe you could maybe you could grow it in the back and comb it forward and have bangs. Like that. Oh yeah, that's a good idea. We should absolutely have you two oh, try on toupee day. Toupee. Oh, I, I absolutely. think we should. I agree. I, that'd be great. That yeah. would be good. Yeah. Um, they no. get real hot real quick. Real, real quick. Mm -hmm. Do they? Yeah. Well, now, Pat, you've got a new thing going. You stop dyeing your hair. Every everyone says it looks great. It's uh, it's a nice white. I never did it before. I was too scared. And everyone likes it. And and interestingly enough, uh, your eyebrows are dark. Yeah, like chick. They stay dark for a while. Yeah, I think that's uh, quite common. Right. I'm and then the gray-haired um, crowd. And then your your pubes. I understand. Uh, uh, one or two uh, grays pop will, out. Will, will they uh, give you a very di disting distinguished looking genitalia? No, I, they get plucked. <laughs> get plucked immediately. You're doing a comb over down there, right? I, I am indeed. <laughs> yes. Okay. Uh, we have to come right back. What's our topic when we return? Anything um, but this. World Series. <laughs> oh, great. We've got yeah. World Series. Yeah, news. yeah, yeah. That's we have uh, <laughs> we have uh, stained pillows. Anybody in the news. bald playing baseball? Oh, all, all of them. <laughs> and more big vibe. Agra news coming up. Uh, this is the Bob and Tom Show. This is the Bob and Tom Show. Text us at 888. Oh, you get a laugh. 
And all you trick-or-treaters, come listen to me good about a grave that's in a graveyard in this very neighborhood. Contains a boy who died this very night so long ago. Now candy wrappers mysteriously appear around his stone. You know it's Halloween. You know it's kind of scary. The way the ghosts come floating out of the cemetery. Sliding through the dirt, all cold and moldy. And the only thing that they can think about is how... They're getting your candy. Trick or treat! Hear the children crying. But who's that pale boy at the back with the antique suit and tie on? When you passed out the candy, it seemed to fade into his hand. And look, there's a clump of fresh dirt on the spot where he did stand. Oh, it's Halloween. You know it's kind of scary. The way the ghosts come floating out of the cemetery. Sliding through the dirt, all cold and moldy. And the only thing that they can think about is how... Get your candy. I heard about this kid who collected lots of sweets. And with a flashlight in his bed, he counted out his treats. When they found him in the morning, the bags of candy, they were gone. A clump of fresh dirt by his bed, and the flashlight was still on. Oh, it's Halloween. You know, it's kind of scary. The way the ghosts come floating out of the cemetery. Sliding through the dirt, all cold and moldy. And the only thing that they can think about is how... Now each and every child behind a mask is hid. But which one do you think's a ghost and which one is a kid? But in the shiny darkness when the leaves are blowing through, has it occurred to you the only one that's not a ghost is you? Oh. 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 I just beat this. Uh, everybody. Uh. And so you trick-or-treaters, take heed of what I said And leave your candy here with me, don't take it up to bed I'll protect you from the ghoulies and the ghosties and the beasties Though you may lose that Snickers bar and ooh look, Reese's Pieces Oh, it's Halloween, you know it's kind of scary The way the ghosts come floating out of the cemetery But get on up to bed, but grab that broom before you do and sweep up this clump of fresh dirt mm. that fell off of my pants. <laughs> 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 Uh, thank you very much. Very scary. Thank you so much. Haywood Banks and uh, one of his Halloween tributes. So it'd be a farmer Dell and the Dells. Is there a place called the Farmer and the Deli that is like a organic delicatessen? <laughs> farmer and the Deli. I hope so. <laughs> well, there oh. has to be a Deli in the Dells. Sure. Oh yeah, there's a Dells Deli. Don't Dilly yeah. Dally. You need to get to that Dells That's Deli right. before they. There's close. a new Deli. <laughs> oh really? There's the new Deli and Deli. Yeah, same as the old. Deli. <laughs> Bob and Tom in the morning and highlights all day long. The Bob and Tom Show, weekday mornings at 6 a.m. Eastern on Bob and Tom 24-7. Hi, this is Kostaki Economopoulos, and you're listening to Bob and Tom Radio. When you need relief and you need it fast, eat a bowl of sphincter blast. Hi, I'm Harry Kalanick Jr. for the new High Fiber Breakfast Cereal, Sphincter Blast. One 10 ounce serving contains more fiber than a log of New England birch firewood. Sphincter Blast. Some cereals shoot for the moon, we shoot for Uranus. Just say to your grocer, Snap, Crackle, Plop. Tell them Harry Kalanick Jr. sent you and watch for my BMTV special. Harry Kalanick Jr. Unplugged. 
Sphincter Blast in the big brown tapered package. <laughs> That's, of course, so the box won't slam shut. <laughs> It may sound corny, but Sphincter Blast is hip, cool, and it's solid. <laughs> when you need relief and you need it fast, eat a bowl of Sphincter Blast. <laughs> <laughs> You're listening to Bob and Tom Radio. 24-7. Right now, Killer Bees joins us in the studio. Uh, Bees, how you doing? Real good, man. I get up a shopping list over here. My wife's eating in bed now. She's at that part of the pregnancy where they crave all this food. Mm -hmm. Some people have mirrors over the bed. We got a sneeze guard. (laughs) (laughs) Sleeping on those posturepedic seal meal, man. (laughs) You ain't lived till you're making love and your wife says, go slow, I'm spilling my chili. <laughs> <laughs> it's time once again for people who suck at small talk. Hey, I catch the big game last night? <laughs> uh, uh, well, what truly is a game when you really think about it? I mean, it's merely a struggle for conquest between competing rivals in a match to attain victory so they can feel superior about a relatively inconsequential endeavor. <laughs> Jeez, sorry I <laughs> Join us again next time for People Who Suck at Small Talk. Bob and Tom, you can pick your morning radio show, and you can pick your nose, but you can't wipe Bob and Tom on the couch. Zero, zero. <laughs> You did that on purpose. I do it every time. It's my Hi. my goal to make you screw up this. Welcome week. back to the Bob and Tom Show. Christy Lee at the news desk. Hello. There's Pat Godwin. Hello. In the performance room. There's Josh Arnold. Hi. <laughs> there's Ace <laughs> Cosby. Howdy. I'm Chick McGee, and here's Tom Griswold. Say hello, Tom. Coming up, we're going to talk with Sean Wayans, the famous Wayans family of great comedians. All right. Also, sexy time with Allie Breen coming up. But right now, we return to the uh, sports page with Chick McGee. Uh, Nikola Jokic. Nikola. <laughs> <laughs> they call him the Joker. He's the champion. Did you see the rings they gave these guys last night? Man, no. oh, man. Big as dinner plates. Really? World no. champion rings? Boy, oh, boy. Something else. Huh. Really, really big. Not real handy. They don't really wear them, do they? Size hey, hubcaps. They all had them on last time, man. Uh, while they were we ain't going to third. Ba- we ain't going to third base to you take that thing off. Oh, gosh. Yeah, boy, oh, boy. I don't need to be augured. <laughs> well, <laughs> but they're already dating basketball players. That's true. <laughs> uh, well, yeah. You they, can, maybe you should keep the ring on. Just they can those. palm their ass, you know? <laughs> what? Uh, anyway, uh, the Joker and the Nuggets began defense of their NBA title. 119-107 win over the Los Angeles Lakers. I understood the Lakers would win every game this season and be the champions. That's what I understood. That was the scuttlebutt, but evidently that's not the case. And one other opening night game last night. A great name in private detection or as in the sports, the NBA, Devin Booker. That is good. Yeah. Scored the go-ahead layup, 451 remaining, followed by a three. Oh, it's a tray from way down to. <laughs> <laughs> he had 32 last night. The Suns beat the Warriors 108-104. And in class, the class, he was uh, Booker, Devin. <laughs> A Booker Dano joke. <laughs> Did you say Dano or Devin? He said Devin, Dano. but in the yeah, form of no. the Book of Dano. 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 Book, him, book him Dano. Of course, uh, if you're doing detectives, nobody's more famous than. Who's the captain? Oh, cop out. When there's danger. Everybody, come on. That was the right on, not the king. Not really. Uh, he's not a detective. He's a private investigator. Not really. He's uh, a private detective. He's a private dick. A, it's a strong a singer. Isaac Hayes? Isaac Hayes. No, what? it's all about yeah. Um, yeah. attitude, At, yeah, delivery. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. It's awesome. It's awesome. Yeah. Hey, that album, Hot Buttered Soul. Remember that cover of that? Oh, that's mm-hmm. No. It's good stuff. That's a sexy cover, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's very nice. Is that what I'm thinking? We have... Uh, uh, we have Did you uh, like Isaac Hayes' nipples? 
What are you guys talking he was, about? Uh, I remember him when I was... I love Shaft, and it was uh, like the closest thing to rock and roll because we always watched the Academy Awards, and there it was on on my TV. But I, I don't think... I think Isaac wore like a, just a vest, and his nipples were hanging out. Really? I'll never forget. That's a great um, I was wrong about the cover of Hot Buttered Soul. That's not the sexy... Are you thinking of... Uh, cover... Uh, I forget what it is that I'm thinking of. Is Hot Buttered Isn't that Isaac with the like the chains and stuff? Uh n- uh, that's one of them, and the yeah. other one is uh, just his his pate, just his oh bald, his bald head. Bald head. Oh, uh, but we, we played a little bit of Shaft. Uh, sad news: Richard Roundtree has has died. Yeah. Didn't Herb Albert have uh, uh, some album that had a naked woman with, on the cover? Yes, with, yes. with, with, with yeah, with yes. famous with whipped cream in the right place. That. My dad had that album. I would, I would look at that album. For that. You would look at that album and make your own cream. I was too, no, I was too young to oh, do anything that's... about it. I just, but I just knew that I liked it. How old were you first time? I <laughs> the first time. That's what? a good question, man. I know what he. Does. I can't time. remember either. I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say seventh grade. Yeah. So how old? How old is a seventh grader? Uh, 11, 12, 12 13. 13. Really? That uh, long? Could we uh, move on back to the <laughs> exciting world of the NBA? Um, Pat wants to know because his son is around. Uh, yeah, he's coming of age. Oh yeah. So you better speak. start knocking with, before you go in his room. I, I knock now. You yeah. better get the passcode to his phone. <laughs> have, you, have you had the talk? Uh, not yet. I mean, he knows. You got to do wash the sheets daily. Of course probably. he knows. We have news about washing sure sheets son. coming up, but first, more news. <laughs> Tom is so skeeved out. <laughs> I know. Why are you upset? No, no, yeah, go ahead. <laughs> go ahead. Go ahead. <laughs> Please, no, 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 more embarrassing. Well, you're talk. not going to like this. <laughs> what is it? NHL had a full slate last night. You know what they're doing, Josh? What's that? You know, are you familiar with the NFL Red Zone? Yes. Or they show the sw- whip around other games on all Sunday. You just sit there. No commercials. They do it for you. Mm-hmm. Yeah. They're doing the same thing in the NHL. Yeah. I, they're whipping around all the NHL games. I read something about how they were going to have 17 televised yeah, games. Yeah, something about the frozen. Nationally televised, rather. The frozen zone or the. Pretty wild. Oh, chili, out. chili zone or what is it? Freeze out. Freeze. Oh, freeze, freeze out. out. Uh, 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 freeze out. Uh, uh, uh. So anyway, Josh, Pretty cool, yeah. I'm sorry. The St. Louis Blues lost last night. Yes, I have a feeling that's that's going to happen. Four to two. A lot? <laughs> Not a lot, but it's going to happen more than I care for. Oh, okay. There you go. You don't have a favorite hockey team, do you? you no. Know, care for hockey. That's I just no. I can't keep up with everything in this world. There's a lot going on. <laughs> you do have to pick and choose, don't you? Yeah, I just can't do everything. You Sorry, do. Uh, if you want to know the hockey scores, stop listening to our show and go online. What's the day hold for you today? What are you uh, What are you been. looking forward to or or possibly dreading? What's uh, I have um, now. Uh, for instance, me. I'm glad you asked. I'm my my daughter's in town. We're going to oh. dinner tonight. I'm very excited. Well, that's Wonderful. Nice. Yes. What time? I'll, okay. join, I'll join. Yeah, what you. Hopefully. Time we, uh, what? Yeah. Where? Huh? What time? Where? I met. I met. Uh, we're going there. Uh. We're flying to Atlanta. Is what oh. I meant. Yeah. Oh, I yeah. have some free miles. What, what time? <laughs> I met tomorrow. Is what I meant. <laughs> oh. I meant anyway. Tomorrow's even better for me. So, do you have something like that? Something you're looking forward to with the kids? Um, something. I have a. A three-hour thing I have to do, legal thing today, and then followed by Pilates. Deposition? And uh, No, I can't go into it on the radio. Do you look uh, forward to Pilates? Yeah, sure. Stretch out that back. <laughs> is there a gym out there called Pontius Pilates? <laughs> Absolutely. There is, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Would I benefit by the Pilates? Pilates? Should I try Pilates? Everyone benefits from yeah, Pilates. Be good for you. I, uh, good for your core. I tried yoga, but uh-huh. I kept falling over. Well, you can lay down yes, a lot in Pilates because you get to lay down. And there's there like a recumbent thing, like a it's laying a, down. It's called a reformer. A reformer. A reformer. Yeah. Oh, reform, reformer. A reformer. Oh, I went through that one time when yeah, I was they, 11 they or 12. <laughs> I was, <laughs> I was <laughs> quite a problem. Didn't you go to reformer school? Yeah. <laughs> Did they still call it reform school? I, I haven't heard I that. Wasn't, so wasn't, that a, wasn't that a little rascals thing? Uh, so they sent me to reform school. <laughs> wasn't the, the, the fake porno trailer in Kentucky Fried Movie reform, reform school girls in trouble? <laughs> <laughs> I don't remember, but I think it might. I have hope been. so. Yeah. Oh uh, well, I'm sorry. Are we? Uh, we need reform to... school. What, boy? You want to go forward? You don't want to have no fun. Well, no, I, I tell I, you that. You don't know the answer to the question. 
What's the question? What is the question? We asked you a question about what your day was. I just told you. You got a three-hour thing and then Pilates. Pilates. That's it? Seems like other than that, your day is wide open. (laughs) Then I've got other stuff. I've got (laughs) people to take care of and drop off and pick up. I'll see you at five. Oh, Oh, are you meeting uh, Pat at five? We always meet. You know, one of my dreams with you, and I haven't ever done it, but there's still time. Just to write one of your kids' names and and a time like five thirty and put it on your dash <laughs> and just have Sam lose his mind. Oh boy, Sam, five thirty. What the hell? What, where, what was this? What the hell was this? <laughs> Sam, did we have something at five thirty? <laughs> Wouldn't that be fun? That'd be fun, yeah. All right. <laughs> Stupid world record. A uh, University of Miami student. I don't know if this is Ohio or Florida. It's Florida by definition. Miami University. So it would be Miami University if it were at Oxford? Yes. Any simpleton would know that. (laughs) (laughs) And we'll have to discuss this when we get back. And this gives Pat an opportunity to do his tribute. Are you saying to a Miami University? I'm a. What was that word? Simpleton. Simpleton. Simpleton? (laughs) (laughs) Hmm. we'll find out what happened there maybe we will maybe you uh, gotta have somebody else do it i can only hope oh uh we also have uh grilled cheese in the news no it's a record it's the biggest grilled cheese and you know how they do this they take like 50 of them and put them together it's the biggest grilled cheese ever doesn't count at all (laughs) (laughs) makes me angry followed by the biggest crowded (laughs) colon in history (laughs) (laughs) i'm gummed up man i told you to metamucil before remember the guy in the Sopranos, uh, Chi-Chi, or whatever his name is. Chi-Chi Rodriguez? No, Chai-Chai Rodriguez. Oh. <laughs> no, he dies on the toilet because he's all... He's got, it's like I got spackle in there. Oh. Yeah. He can't... Uh, as an Elvis he has, a, has a heart attack. Uh, we have um, uh, many things to get to today. That would include a great lunch. What would be a better lunch than having some nice, delicious Omaha steaks? Mm. You're right, Tom. Fall is in the air. You know what else is in the air around my parts? The smell of... <laughs> Cooking. That's right. It's around your parts. <laughs> That's your, well, around you know, like around these parts. Around your house. Oh, not around sure. my parts. Yes, it's around your grill. Yes, thank you. Yes, <laughs> said what you meant. You meant what you said. <laughs> it's the perfect time for fall grilling. Oh, it's tailgating season, cozy comfort food season. Omaha Steaks has all your fall cravings covered with fifty percent off. That's right. It's half off site wide because it's their semi annual sale. That's fifty percent off. All your favorite tender, juicy, extra-aged steaks, like those butcher's cut filet mignons. Go to omahasteaks.com today. Use this code BTS at checkout, and you're going to get an extra 30 bucks off your order. Maybe later on, for another order, you can take that 30 bucks and use it on that meat lover's lasagna that's so mm. wonderful this time of year. With Omaha Steaks, the possibilities are simply endless. Endless flavor, endless value on all their incredible entrees, scrumptious sides, decadent desserts, and so much more. All of it backed by a 100% unconditional money-back guarantee and all of it 50% off during the semi-annual sale at omahasteaks.com. Shop all your delicious favorites for half the price. Don't forget to enter code BTS at checkout for an extra $30 off, but please hurry. Don't dilly-dally. This semi-annual sale is only for a limited time. Minimum purchase may apply. That won't be a thing. You're going to want all of it. Visit omahasteaks.com for details. Thank you very much, Josh. Is dilly dally two words? I hyphenate it. Really? I'm often writing it. Are you? Every time I do, I hyphenate it. Uh huh. You're planning on your day planner. <laughs> That's right. Hit dilly dally. Hurry up, return. 10 to, every day, 10 to every 7. Day. If I had a day, a day planner, it would be mostly dilly dally. Yes. That'd yeah. be nice. God, I mean, how do can I get you, that? Is, is a dilly a thing? Or is a dilly it dally? Bar? If you don't have a dilly, what are you going to dally? So Use your head. Is that going to show up on a Wordle, the word dally? Oh, <laughs> Just asking. Uh, haven't done it yet today. But uh, uh, Coming up, I'm going to tell you who won our, our week seven of our pigskin thing. You haven't when, done Wordle today? Oh, the uh, word, it's, uh, it's, uh, it's, it's, it's mucus. Don't, don't tell me. Uh, <laughs> but this, this is the Bob and Tom Show. They don't say we didn't warn you. <laughs> Joke of the day. 
What did the uh, the judge say when the uh, skunk came into the courtroom? Oh! <laughs> what did the judge say when the skunk came into the courtroom? Odor in the court. <laughs> <laughs> That'll be getting told in courts uh, throughout the country. Odor today. in the court. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> Hi, everybody. Chick McGee here from the Bob and Tom Show. I want to tell you about the NFL season coming up. We got together with the folks at Big Green Egg, and each and every week, you're going to have a chance to win a Mini Max Big Green Egg during the Pigskin Pick'em program on the Bob and Tom Show. I think it'd be hard to learn the banjo by yourself. Yeah. I'm, I'm, I think that would be the only way to learn the banjo. <laughs> I am well. legitimately now the owner of a banjo. Is that right? Yeah, I need to get it in here and see if... How did that uh, happen? My dad died. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. So, Ladies and gentlemen. So I, I took his banjo. The amazing, the ama we need some sound, Dino. The amazing Pat Godwin. Ladies and Never gentlemen. Never ask a question you don't know the answer to. Yeah. Here we go. I totally knew the D answer. I knew the answer, and that's why I knew not to ask. Trust me, there's no one laughing harder than my dad right now. <laughs> if he were able to laugh, but he can't because he's dead. So, I would think so how'd, you come by that a... how'd you come by that banjo again, John? Well, my dad died, and it was just laying there. <laughs> so I thought... Well, instead of throwing it away, maybe I'll go ahead and take it. Did your dad play? He did when he was younger, yeah. Oh, okay. I thought he did when he was alive. <laughs> <laughs> That's the joke. There you I, go, Josh. Uh, yeah, I should have oh. said that. Uh, okay. okay, well. I do like porn, uh, but I'm going to ask you guys a favor. We get a lot of emails sent to the show. You can stop sending me porn clips, okay? I, uh, thanks, but no thanks. I, I appreciate it, but I'll be honest, I want to find my own porn, okay? <laughs> T-Rex doesn't want to be fed, T-Rex wants to hunt. That's... Live camera video stream of the show, plus a podcast of the show and comedy from the Bob and Tom archives. Excellent. Chick, what do you have to say for yourself? Become a Bob and Tom VIP now. Just go to bobandtom.com slash VIP. See, that was worth the wait, wasn't it? Hey, this is Larry the Cable Guy, and you're listening to Bob and Tom Radio. If you're not, you're a communist. Hi, I'm Bert. And I'm Ellie. And we're proud to announce our new breakfast treat, Bert and Ellie's Muffin. The Burton Ellie muffin is delicious, but don't take our word for it. Here's our spokesperson, Eddie Van Halen. Hey, thanks, man. Hi, Eddie Van Halen here. You know, I love munching on Burton Ellie's muffin. <laughs> In fact, I was just telling my wife Valerie, Burton Ellie's muffin is the best thing I've ever put in my mouth. Ah, man, this is finger licking good. I bet. This muffin is so good. Mm. 
I just can't keep it to myself. Oh. Mm. Yeah. I suggest you eat Burton Ellis muffin today. <laughs> Pick one up on your way home, dude, or stop by a Burton Ellis spot the next time you eat out. <laughs> Look for the big pink smiling lips downtown next to the Y. Mm. Thanks, Eddie. Mm. I can't stop mowing down on this thing. Oh. 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 Eat all you want, Eddie. Oh. You'll make more. Burton Ellis muffin. Oh. Come by and shove one in your face today. Oh. Hey, we'll leave the stereo on for you, and we'll turn it up real loud so you can hear it. <laughs> You're listening to Bob and Tom Radio. <laughs> Welcome back to the Bob and Tom Show. Christy Lee over there at the news desk. Yep. There's Pat, Ciphering. Pat Godwin. Ciphering? Yep. Over there. In the- Christy Lee coming on strong. Oh. A little golden earring tribute. Man, that's a good Hi, song. Pat. It is a great song. There's Hi, Josh Arnold. I have a correction here that will anger America. All right. There's Ace Cosby. <laughs> I'm Chick McGee with a uh, with a letter. And here's Tom Griswold. I guess we have to get to the correction. What is it? I said that in Kentucky Fried Movie, the fake uh, adult film trailer was reformed schoolgirls in trouble. Mm -hmm. Uh, I was wrong. It's much worse. It's Catholic high school girls in trouble. <laughs> yeah, I remember that. And, and I, all, I just remember... The, and now Josh angers America. <laughs> I just remember the, 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 the words yeah. reform school, I think from the Little Rascals. Yeah, when I was growing game. up, it was boys school and girls school. They would send you to girls school. Military school. Yeah. Oh, yeah, but uh, but they don't still call it reform school. Do Military they? camp? I don't think so. But this we, this was a discussion about the reformer, which is a device used in the world of Pilates. Yeah, right. Reformer, but not a little. Um, which was a on one chick, is, chick is thinking of getting into Pilates. Maybe I. Yeah, but you I. You should join my triplet. That would be fun. That's not going to happen. <laughs> I, I need someone to come to my house and teach me Pilates. Then you got to buy, oh, a, you you gotta buy, buy a reformer. Yeah. And possibly. More than just Pilates, maybe. Oh, uh, now oh, you're an you're absolute. Oh, wait a minute. And what are those things they combine two words that you could call it Pilates? <laughs> That's, right. That's exactly you, right. You lie down. You get your yeah. you, you get your legs in tabletop, That's and then right. it's a little. I don't care if it's illegal. <laughs> That's right. You're above the law. I'm in love. <laughs> you can't arrest me. It wouldn't necessarily be illegal. There'd be a way to. Well, there'd be a line that you would cross. I would yeah. think. Yeah. You're in a relationship. You yeah. can yeah. try. You can try You're to explain. You're paying her for Pilates. Goods and services. No, but you could get into a relationship with a Pilates instructor. Yeah. Yeah. Or you just never hand her the money. You set the money down on a exactly. table. If she happens to pick it up, so right. be it. Right. Like in the movie Birdcage. Money's on the dresser, chocolate. <laughs> but you never say, you, you don't say money, you say gift or roses. Never oh, say money. Or what did Donnie money. Baker teach us? Put it in a birthday card. Oh, that's right. <laughs> that's right. <It's> a gift. <laughs> whatever, whatever yeah. day of the year it is. Yes. Um, somehow we've gotten off the sports trail. How'd that happen? Uh, dear Bob. Wow. So far, so good. <laughs> a regular listener. <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> did you know that Arnold Stang was in the first movie... With Arnold Schwarzenegger, Hercules in New York is that it? I, I, I guess I don't know. Arnold Stang, of course, the spokesman for Chunky, and they uh, they totally dubbed Arnold's voice in that, right? I mean, they, they overdubbed did. it. Yeah. Yeah. He talks like this in Hercules in New York. <laughs> I, I, I miss that movie. I... Uh, Schwarzenegger, by the way, in the credits was named Arnold Strong. <laughs> <laughs> wow. And it says here, according to Tony, hunky Tony, that uh, Arnold Stang He's was absolutely also right. Movie. Arnold Stang played Pretzi. Pretzi. And Arnold Schwarzenegger played Hercules. <laughs> and Hercules in New York. Mm-hmm. Yes. And, and if you just watch it long enough so you can get the flavor of Arnold's voice, it's well worth it. It's oh. So you've seen this film? Oh, yeah. Oh. Great, hilarious. The great James Karen is in it? I don't know him, but he's I will. He's the poltergeist. He's the he's the guy who didn't move the bodies. He only moved the headstones. That guy. Uh, hey, do you know who's not in it? Who? Elise Jenkins. Who's that? She's from Philadelphia. She's she the sounds winner. like a winner to me. She's the winner of our pigskin competition week seven. All right, Elise. Uh, Elise from Philadelphia, PA. Doesn't matter what week it is. She scored <laughs> the big green egg mini max. They call her Navidad. Uh, Elise uh, Navidad. It's Elise. Yeah, Elise Navidad. Yeah. Elise Navidad. <laughs> uh, that's b- excellent. <laughs> I, 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 that is, I, I've never heard him no. say that, that to is, anyone. That is, that is, why I'm are still you getting a C? Because ass. it's epically dumb. It's, <laughs> <laughs> it's 
<laughs> no, it's what is it? Supremely unfunny? What uh, yeah, defining was, unfunny. Defining no, unfunny. No, no, that defines weird and funny. I love that. Uh, Elise Navi, that, we'll have to run that by her. We're going to talk to her, of course, coming up. I'm sorry. Because Elise. she'll be picking against Chick McGee in the shoe in of the week. We'll see. There was a 15 way tie for first place. Yikes. Uh, that's how many people got 11 out of the 13 games, which, by the way, shows you how tough it is these days to pick. And that's just without the spread. It's a real pain in the ass. And then she beat all the tiebreakers, <laughs> making her our winner. All so right. she wins the Big Green Egg Mini Max. And I will urge you, as we begin week eight of the NFL season, to go to bobandtom.com slash contest and just pick the winners for this coming week. You could win the Big Green Egg Mini Max. bobandtom.com slash contest. Have some fun and maybe win the Rolls Royce of outdoor cooking units, the Big Green Egg Mini Max. Now, stupid world record. <laughs> Let's return to Florida. Okay. University of Miami student has claimed the Guinness World Record for the largest tongue circumference. Ugh. Is this a man or a woman? Mr. Uh, I don't care. <laughs> Christy, <laughs> calm down. Haven't you, haven't you kissed a boy, though? Not with tongue. Not with tongue? No. Just lips? Yeah. Yeah. See, I would have insisted on tongue. Now, when, if when you they, were the girls, you mean? Yeah, yeah. Explain this to Tom. What, you, Tom, this what it was, was it was uh, in college, uh, my my best friend and I were flirting with these two girls, and we were trying to get them to make out. <laughs> <laughs> it sounds a little rough. Yeah, yeah, yeah this is they crazy. But, uh, yeah. And they said, we'll kiss if you kiss. So Jason and I quickly pecked each other's lips, and then those two made out for a long, long time. <laughs> <laughs> so it was well worth it? Is that what you're saying? Uh, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. Did you eventually make out with one of them? We did. I was wow. on the floor, and he was on the bed with the... with the. So with after the, kissing your buddy, that erection you had came in handy. It did. I did. It did not go to waste. <laughs> <laughs> you tell him, Jeff. Did you have any troubling uh, dreams oh, about troubling your... Troubling homo dreams? Oh, you were they, 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 didn't, they didn't trouble me one bit. Gotta do what is wrong? <laughs> Nothing wrong with us. You've never kissed a guy? Me? Yeah. No. Oh. Mm -mm. Nope. Yeah. Ace, you want to taste this? Ace, you ever kissed a guy? Hell no. You want to? Uh, there you go. No. Would you? Pat? My son? Oh, oh you that's sick crazy. bastard. <laughs> <laughs> what are you, let's Tom not, Brady? Let's, 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 not, let's, let's not bring incest into this. Uh, Ace, would you have kissed a guy in this situation? You in and that you? situation? Yeah. I doubt it. Oh, well, you would have not been making out with a lovely lady then. Now, um, could Christy, we get back you ever... to the... <laughs> What, kissed a guy? Yeah. Kissed a girl. Yes. Really? I've talked about that before. Hmm. I'm not embarrassed to not say. Not long enough. Hmm. With tongue and the whole thing? <laughs> um, kiss, kiss her on the neck? A little yeah. squeezy, squeezy. You feel her up? Nope. You know, feel her up. No, nope. girls kiss very we're, well. We're familiar with the you know the, I, her up. the idea of the feel up. You don't have I to, did not you feel to give us the, the, <laughs> the, op the open fist squishy sound. <laughs> Could we possibly get to this world record? Oh, oh yeah. Right. Oh, yes. Yeah, oh, guy okay. with a yeah. round tongue or something. How big is his tongue? Shut up. University of Miami student in Florida has claimed the Guinness World Record for the... I'd say about this big. Largest <laughs> tongue <laughs> circumference. Ew. Mr. Braden McCullough can inflate his tongue. Ew, like a frog it can inflate their thing? <laughs> Ew. To a circumference of 6.3 inches. That's half a foot. Wow, do you know... <laughs> or all of them. And, and circumference is all the way around, right? This, this is the first time since eighth grade you've actually had to remember what a circumference is. Okay, oh, that's the long way around. Pi like it, squared. Oh, it's a different guy. So it's like a puffer fish. It's... it's wow. It's, well, no, uh, you, can, you can do it yourself. You can... And so, you're, so it's not length, it's... it's oh, the, the no, way, this is so gross. Do we have the tape measure? <laughs> oh, oh, no, you got to splay it out. I am splay it out. <laughs> so it's, it takes up a lot of space. So, Christy, if you were making out with this guy, it would like being you know, uh, kind of shoved to the back of an elevator. Tom, that would come be here. Awful. Yeah, come here. Kiss me on my tongue. Oh, uh, that's here. not gonna happen. Just kiss him on the kiss tongue. Kiss me on my tongue. <laughs> Do it. Okay. Touch oh, tongues. <laughs> Sucking <Yeah>. tongues. It's <laughs> disgusting. <laughs> they, it makes it look like a golf ball. Yeah. Really? They, they actually it's say that big around. They say no. This bigger than a golf ball. Oh in, my god. In, it's uh, disgusting. Much bigger than a golf it's ball. It's like he has a meatball in his mouth. Ugh. It's hideous. Okay. Well, um, remember. that reminds me because you mentioned that he is a student. Where? 
University of Miami, and he says, as you can tell, he's got that, uh, the U education. The 20 year old says, it's very wide, thick, and pretty long. Well, ah. well done. Ah. Now, we had oh, been, Jesus. We had a news story last week. Yeah, it's there bigger it is. Bigger than a lemon. That's bigger than gross. a lemon. So gross. Um, Turn it off before I finish. Oh, he's got a bat in the cave, too. Look, he's got a booger in his nose. Okay, let's move forward here. Good God. Uh, we had the story last week, speaking of uh, Miami University, the great university in Ohio. Uh, this international student, she was actually from Vietnam. Uh, her name is Ms. Valerie Doe. She um, did not realize that the University of Miami and Miami University were two different universities, both very fine colleges and universities, mm -hmm. but one of them, of course, is in Miami uh, Florida, the other is in Oxford, Ohio. She applied and was accepted to Miami University, thinking it was in Florida, and that she's, by the way, going to still attend. Uh, sure, it's she's a beautiful not, school. not looking forward to the winters. Once again, she is resides in Vietnam as we speak. She's going to major in business at Miami University, but she was just confused. I can see how she would be confused. Absolutely, she's not going to major in geography. I would assume, <laughs> uh, based on this. Um, and uh, Pat, you have a tribute. I do. Where's the beach and pink flamingos? I thought this was FLA. No palm trees, where'd the heat go? Miami, Ohio, what the hey, hey. My, my, my. <laughs> Gotta get out of here. This ain't no Florida town. I would have been 10 long ago. This is the Midwest. They're planting corn in the ground. Why is it so damn cold? Oh, it's so cold. Four years in Ohio. Four years in Ohio. I come from Vietnam. That's ironic, don't you know? <laughs> Neil Young sang about Ohio in the 70s years ago. Four years in Ohio. How many more? Four years in Ohio. I'll get my master's in Lima. Pretty sure that's Peru. Son of a bitch. <laughs> that's Ohio, too. Four years in Ohio. How many more? Four years in Ohio. <laughs> Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, and that reminds me, Patty G, Lima, Ohio. Uh, you're going to be very close to that. That's where your favorite pawn shop is, is that correct? Yeah, in Lima, America. Uh, but you're going to be in Delphus, Delphus yeah. Ohio, at the Knights of Columbus, Saturday, November 11th, with Mr. Jeff Oscar. And my son, Jimmy's going to make an appearance. That'll too. be great. Mm -hmm. um, and, and hello to uh, Billy Elvis. Now, we uh, turn back to Chick McGee at the sports page. Chick, we were talking kissing. Yeah. Oh, wait a minute, there's more. Nope. Morning, gang. Uh, Morning. Just, li just listen to your talking about kissing a man. Well, Chick, I would love to give you nice, big kisses. You handsome, sexy stud. That comes from Frank. Aww. I was just going to say, I swear to you, is that from Frank? Yeah. Frank's a nice uh, nice man. He, he often I think he's from you... Alabama, I think. He sure something. is. Yeah. Does Arab, he write you a lot? Arab Alabama. He, he writes me. I... <laughs> Trying to turn you, is he? <laughs> hey, hey, hey. I write him. All right. We exchange. Uh... You going to play for both sides? I, I don't know. Does he teach Pilates? Frank sure is complimentary, man. Good, uh, very, very nice. That is nice. Well, that's nice to hear. You know who's also nice? Who? Elise Jenkins from Philadelphia. Again, what, does she have this. a nickname, Josh? Navidad, they call her, yes. <laughs> Elise Navidad? That's right. <laughs> you know what? She won. Who says you can't catch lightning in a bottle twice? <laughs> she's our Week 7 winner, and she's got the big green egg Minimax. Once again, go to bobandtom.com slash contest. Maybe you could win it this coming week. Of course, the NFL Faster. weekend starts on Thursday evening. Faster. Faster. <laughs> Stupid world got another record. One? Two brothers from Milwaukee have broken the Guinness <laughs> World Record for the largest grilled cheese sandwich. This is the one you've already trashed. According to 11-year-old uh, Exodus and 10-year-old Iggy. Exodus. Iggy and Exodus? Wow. They named their kid Exodus. That's a good, that's kind of a good name. Exodus? Yeah. What, just name yourself after famous movies from the 70s and 60s? I think it's a also a Bible. Book of the chapter, Bible. Uh, yeah. Well, it was a movie first. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? He, he's right. Whatever Charles, Charlton Heston says. They created a sandwich measuring a total of 10.9 feet long, 6.25 feet wide, and 
and 2.75 inches thick. <sighs> They beat the previous record. This is evidently one giant sandwich. Yeah, I was wrong. Oh, all right. There are pictures of it. They, I don't believe it. If they I don't beat see the it. previous record held by the Cabot Creamery <laughs> of Vermont <laughs> with a five foot by ten foot sandwich weighing three hundred twenty pounds. Wow! That I would, would bet. It. Wouldn't you love to? I bet the Cabot Creamery probably has the greatest. I bet they do. Cream. Got a nice coffee with sweet, some, sweet right, out, right out of the cow, Josh. Oh, oh yeah, cream. Thick. Chunky, chunky cream. Christy, you have cream uh-huh. dripping down your chin. Oh, cream. stop it. <laughs> spunky yes. cream. All right. What? Huh? <laughs> Gooey. <laughs> Real nutty. Gooey cream. <laughs> With the help from friends and family, the brothers, Exodus and Iggy, used more than 300 pounds of dough, 60 pounds of cheese to create the record-breaking sandwich. The event benefited local food banks. Oh, oh nice. nice. Yeah. Exodus and Iggy Chaudhry... Have their own YouTube channel, the Exodus and Exodus and Iggy Show, and they have 150,000 subscribers. How about that? There you They're go. not playing around. No. Those, those no. names they don't seem to go together though. What, 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 what do you, you mean? want? Exodus and Leviticus? I think Exodus. <laughs> no, sir. I mean, is is Iggy short for something? Because Exodus seems sort of formal. There's Exodus. These are young dudes. Yeah, they're only 10 and 11. Is that what you said or something? Uh huh. Like Iggy does sound. Uh, there it yeah, is, I mean, I mean, one big sandwich. Iggy's, do, do they have like a giant swimming pool full of tomato soup to dip that in? <laughs> oh. oh, that would be funny. Remember when you were a kid, you'd get sick, your mom would make tomato soup and a grilled Heck cheese? yeah, I still my do that. I just did it for my daughter's Ah, uh, My mom would make me tomato soup, and I'd take that bowl and drop it right on the floor, because it's disgusting. <laughs> you get don't that like out tomato of here, soup? mom. It's chicken. I'm a kid. I don't want tomato soup. What? Okay, hey, listen. My I gotta dad put- used to make that for me. My dad, Papa. That's what I called it. <laughs> oh, God. My mom. Papa. No My kid likes Papa. tomato soup. Yeah, That's they do. not true. I, I, I loved it. tomato soup. Papa, as a kid. Let me ask you this, Josh. I know you brought this Milk woman into our water. lives, Papa. <laughs> Did you, uh, did your mother cut the crust off? Oh, God. No. no. The crust is where all the uh, vitamins. Yeah, that's what we were Put hair on we your chest. Taught. Yeah. Did she cut it in half? Yeah, uh, she cut it triangularly. Triangularly? Yeah. You didn't have a knife, though, did you? Yeah. She, I was never handed else. knives. No, nope. no. <laughs> really? No, no. In, in art school, I had to, if we were making like construction paper projects, I used to have to just gnaw the <laughs> shapes out. <laughs> they wouldn't let them have, uh, even the no, safety no. scissors were too much for yeah. young oh, yeah. Josh. And did, God forbid you give me a compass, one of those <laughs> uh, architectural <laughs> compasses. Do you think, I mean, if your name's Exodus, obviously all your friends are going to call you X. Mm-hmm. It's kind of a cool name, don't you think? X. Sure. I, 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 that just seems like Iggy on the one hand seems like a nod to Iggy Pop, I would yeah. assume. No, no. It's not? No, no, no. No, he's 11 years old. They probably, their parents don't know who Iggy, Iggy Pop, Pop is. It could be an Ignatius. Yes. Oh, it could be. Oh, like St. Ignatius? Yeah, is Exodus it? and Ignatius. That sounds right. Mm-hmm. No, oh, I was hoping it was Iggy Pop. Of course you were. <laughs> oh, you got some Iggy over there? No, no, I just like Iggy Pop. I uh, like his music. And Really? Remember that song about uh, Does Your Mm-hmm Walk? Remember that one? No. Sing yeah, one I song. Do. Sing one song. for life, sing, I know. Sing well, one I can't song. say that word. Yeah, you can. The P word? Yeah. No. no, you can't. It's the name of a song. It doesn't matter if it's in a song. <laughs> the country Joe and the Fish have a song with the F word in it. It doesn't mean well, you, you can't say that. that. Yeah, well, when we come back, <laughs> well, well, I'll, I'll entertain them. you with some Iggy Pop. <laughs> Shall we? Oh boy! Um, are we supposed to be looking forward to this? If it's lust for life, you don't you don't like that one? No. Oh, he used to. You know, it was all about the music with Iggy. Was it? That's why he'd cut his body on stage and yeah. bleed, yeah. man. I think it may have been more about the drugs for Iggy. <laughs> man, well, man. it certainly wasn't about the food because he didn't yeah. eat. He's still thin like that. <laughs> his skin's hanging off. Oh. Him. Oh, when we come back, just we'll try to get the show and... back on the rails. This is the Bob and Tom Show. <laughs> for a complete copy of the Bob and Tom Show contest rules, go to bobandtom.com. Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Dick Mango. <laughs> so good to see you. 
get in the groove here. Yeah, oh yeah, yeah, we can tell. Oh yeah, baby. <laughs> well, yeah, you gotta look around now. He's looking around. Yeah. All right, Tom. Is this on, this, this on that uh, tube thing? It is. Yeah. yeah you YouTube. Yeah. Uh, YouTube and a KY jelly. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Dick. Ah, start with a joke. Bingo. That's what it's for, buddy. <laughs> you tell me when to go there, Dukas. Okay, <laughs> now, Tommy. Dukas. Here we go. I was working in the lab late one night when my eyes beheld an eerie sight for my monster got up from his lab and rose and suddenly, to my surprise, he did the mash. He did the monster mash. The monster mash. It was a graveyard smash. He did the mash. It caught on in a flash. The mash. He did the monster mash. From my laboratory in the castle east to the master bedroom where the vampires feast. The ghouls all came from their humble abodes to get a jolt for my electrodes. They did the mash. They did the monster mash. The monster mash. It was a graveyard smash. They did the mash. It caught on in a flash. They did the mash. They did the monster mash. Zombies were having fun. <laughs> the party had just begun. <laughs> the guests included Wolfman, <laughs> Dracula, and his son. <laughs> <laughs> the scene was rocking, he was taking the sounds. Igor on chains, backed by his baying hounds. The coffin bangers were about to arrive with their vocal group, the Crypt Kicker Five. <laughs> They played the monster mash. They played the mash. <laughs> it was a graveyard smash. They played the mash. It caught on in a flash. They played the mash. They played the monster mash. <laughs> Out from his coffin, Drax voice did ring. Seems he was troubled by just one thing. He opened the lid, shook his fist. The mash. Whatever happened to the Transylvania twist? <laughs> It's now the Monster Mash. The Monster Mash. And it's a graveyard smash. The Monster Mash. It caught on in a flash. The Monster Mash. It's now the Monster Mash. Now, everything is cool. Drex is part of the band. And my Monster Mash is the hit of the land. For you, the living, the mash was meant to. When I get to the door, tell them, Boris sent you. <laughs> then you can Monster Mash. The Monster Mash. And do my graveyard smash. The monster mash. You'll catch on in a flash. Then you can mash. Do the monster mash. Me, easy Chip monster McGee. <laughs> <laughs> you impetuous boy. Sashi, <laughs> take your hands off that pizza and out of your pants. <laughs> Christy Lee boops back in the brassiere. <laughs> Who's the sexy one with the bouffants? Oh, that's Ace. <laughs> oh, and there's a lovely lady, too. Make me a frittata, bitch. <laughs> I must go. You forgot me again. Who? Pat Godwin. You owe me money. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Dick Mango. Woo! Do tomato in the power Ooh. trail. This is Bob and Tom Radio. 24-7, 24-7. And now an important message from your friends at Frigamall Orthopedic Laboratories. Hi, Brenda. Ready to go jogging? Sorry, Christy. I can't. Didn't you notice I'm limping? What happened? Did you blow a knee out? Well, my knees do hurt. What do you mean? Well, we were on our way home last night, and Bob started feeling romantic, so we pulled down a gravel road. And today, my knees are really killing me. Girlfriend, I've got just the thing for you. They're called 
Attagirl knee pads. With their soft, cushiony padding, you can say goodbye to sore and scraped knees. Attagirl knee pads fit right in your purse, so you can take them anywhere. Perfect for a Friday night date or that important job interview. Hey, Brenda, how'd it go last night? <laughs> well, my knees feel great, but, uh, <clears throat> do the Attagirl people make lozenges? <laughs> <laughs> you whore. Attagirl knee pads. Order today, and you'll receive a free head helmet. You'll love wearing this stylish tabletop helmet with its flat, level surface, big enough to hold his beer, remote control, and a magazine. At a girl knee pads. Protective goggles sold separately. They don't say we didn't warn you. Oh, my God! There's laughter ahead. This is Bob and Tom Radio. Now, uh, Dwight Slade is, is our guest. Uh, now, Dwight is a very healthy guy, but you were saying that you had a uh, colonic? I had a colonic. It's a water skiing accident that you do on purpose. <laughs> <laughs> this is where they, yeah. they, they fill your uh, lower cavity yeah, with... Why don't you walk me through this? With water. Yeah. No. Is there an audio component to this uh, as the uh, <laughs> revealing is taking place? <laughs> like nothing I've ever heard. Uh, yeah, they play. Uh, they play this. <laughs> there it goes now. Bob and Tom. They put ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Welcome back to the Bob and Tom show. Christy Lee at the news desk. Hello. There's Pat Godwin in the performance room. Hey, chick. There's Josh Arnold at the I Hate Steven Singer sidekick chair. Steven Singer Jewelers proving how worthless those lab-grown diamonds are by giving away a free one-carat lab diamond with every engagement ring purchase. While supplies last, purchase is necessary. Visit IHateStevenSinger.com for more details. There's Ace Cosby. Hey. I'm Chick McGee, and here's Tom Griswold. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Uh, once again, um, we have a winner. I want to congratulate um, Ms. Elise Jenkins. Navidad. Elise Navidad, of course, <laughs> uh, her nickname. Um, uh, she's from Philadelphia, PA, and she's our winner. She got 15. Uh, she was part of a 15-way tie, I should say. 11 out of 13 games correct in last week's NFL picks. That just shows you how tough it is. She had all the tiebreakers. She's our winner of the Big Green Egg Mini Max. You could win this week. You've got until Thursday to get all of those entries in. Please uh, just go to uh, bobandtom.com slash contest. While you're there, look around. You might see that thing, which, of course, is the orangeinsoles.com kegerator. We're giving that away, too. Find out the details on how. Tell us your Halloween story. That's a beautiful mini fridge. Not all that mini. It's pretty big. It'll make a nice uh, end table. And um, you can find out about that once again, bobandtom.com slash contest. Tom, you prefer for Elise, her nickname to be Navidad or Fur? Elise Fur? No, Fur Elise. You're, you're familiar. Oh, right? oh, oh. Fear, oh. fear of Fur de Lis? Yeah. Uh, Fleur de Lis? Much funnier, much more accessible. It's Fleur de Lis. Fleur de Lis. No, th no, Fleur de Lis is something else. Oh, what did you say? Fur Elise. It's uh, that song. It's a, uh, I don't know. Right? I'm yeah, not it's familiar an instrumental. With it. Oh, is it like Billy Vera? I think and the we've Feeders? answered it. Navidad. <laughs> Way to go. <laughs> Even though it's not the Christmas season. Right, right. Okay. I'm a big Jose Feliciano fan anyway. His version of uh, uh -huh. the uh, national version. anthem changed everything. Well, no, his version. Well, no, I was going to say his version <laughs> of "Light My Fire" yeah. to take a song to number one after it had been number one a year before uh -huh. from the original artists, and uh -huh. then of course changed the world by a, by doing a beautiful version of the national anthem. Uh -huh. This is my fault. Oh, God. Years ago, and of course, uh, I, I think want... more people hated his version than liked it, didn't they? Well, that was the whole. That's good. Yeah. Well, that's it, good though. That he that he maybe woke up a few people to go. Wait a minute, let's give this song some life. <laughs> Instead of keeping it so sterile. You know, oftentimes, Chick, the hated think it is good to be hated. <laughs> That's how they deal? <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. That sounds like it's profound. It, it isn't, but it sounds like it is. <laughs> Let's move forward. Uh, have we completed our sportscast? We Where's have. It? Okay, thank you very much. Uh, we always end our sportscast with a uh, sweet chant from uh, an innocent, then eight-year-old girl. Out of the mouths of babies. Hey, Rocky, this is what you find. This is what you farted for. Or is this what we farted for? I what think you she farted. says you. What you farted mm -hmm. for. Yeah. It's meaningless. When was the last time you farted, Christy? Um, this, this morning? morning? Yeah. yeah. This morning? Backside. Oh, that's very nice. <laughs>
<laughs> Hang on a second. Oh, not a, you <laughs> know that the front is not Here. a fart. No, it's so. not. You're the one push, push pressure. I don't think I've ever said this. I am in the presence of greatness. <laughs> Sorry. Christy, what's going uh, on? I'm not there? sorry. You're <laughs> proud of yourself. Queefy, what's uh, going on? NBC News calls it the Great Pillow Debate, and it has social media users arguing whether it's okay or gross to sleep on stained, yellowing pillows. It's disgusting. Internet user Cam Thompson lit the fuse when he posted a stock image of a crumpled, stained pillow onto Twitter yeah. X that served as a placeholder for the one he allegedly sleeps on. Thompson said his girlfriend was disgusted upon seeing his pillow, but insisted that his fellow men can attest to why this thing is magic. And then he said, you should see my underwear. <laughs> <laughs> he added, quote, it's not my fault. The pillow is yellow and bestows upon me the most peaceful slumber. That post has gone viral. Users debating whether old pillows are comforting or disgusting. He used you? bestow? Mm -hmm. How about the use of a pillowcase? Anyone? Well, yeah. I mean, Even with a pillowcase, this happens. I have pillows that my grandmother had that are feather, old feather pillows. Mm hmm Yeah. Now they've got, they're yellowed. Sure. Head sweat. Yeah. So the <laughs> grandpa's seed. I don't use them. <laughs> Grandpa's ejaculate? That's right. Is that what was on your you, grandmother's pillow? I don't know. <laughs> the... <laughs> You know, my grandmother these shots had them. Your, you know what's on there, though. My love it. dad had them. No, all of those people, their skin flakes. Absolutely. Yeah. And then I put it in a zippered. You have those nice pillowcases. You could zip them. I think sure. we like, like Josh's point about grandpa's money shot. <laughs> really? You said that. <laughs> no, he did. I, I, I used the term money shot, oh. but it was your. <laughs> yeah. Conceit. Oh, conceptually. You I do understand. not have any pillows that have been passed down through the family. Mm -mm. No, I I did what, uh, for most of my life. Uh, yeah. But now, no, no, no. What? I'm blessed now to be yes. here. <laughs> well, here's the family Bible, and here's <laughs> Grandpa's money pillows? shot pillow. I've had pillows <laughs> that were my grandmother's forever. My I, dad had them, I and certainly I had them. am in no position to judge anyone, but that's wrong. <laughs> you still, are they you. still comfortable? I don't use them anymore, but I still have them. They're in sure. the closet. Yeah, you can find them. Oh, those in the closet. You just go... To the smell. No, those they you don't can just throw smell. out. They don't Surely smell. you can throw those out. You don't have to keep you them. You can get some new ones from Mike Lindell, right? <laughs> <laughs> My pillow. No. Not at all. Well, I don't you think know. he sounds he said, like that. I'm sorry. Yeah. He does. When did sound Mike Lindell like become Kevin Hart? <laughs> My pillow. You know what? My the pillows on my Let bed me tell now. You something. <laughs> yeah. cool. Not Chris my pillow. He's like from Minnesota. Minnesota really first of all. all, my pillows my are pillow. from the sleep number bed. People, I Dude, love that's, their pillows. I, I, yes, and this is not part of any commercial. No. But that sleep number pillow is. Yes. We got. Remember, we you and I got them at the right. same time. I got two of them on my bed. I, I, I love it. So you're gonna leave those to your grandchildren? Like another one. Oh, sorry. Okay, here's the deal. If you had grown up poor in the middle of nowhere and you handmade your pillows, poor white something. trash. Yeah. Wait, these are your well, grandmother what? handmade. That's yes. Different. This is completely different. Yes, they yes. were made. No. We thought it was a fluff piece. It turns oh, out <laughs> this is a. It's just as bad as I thought it was. <laughs> There's all kinds of crap on those pillows. Oh, I know. It's great. Sure. Did they have pets and stuff? Why do you think I have all such a great immune system? That. Cat piss. Yeah, by the way, one of them looks like yeah. a Japanese flag. No. <laughs> Apparently grandma was This one, full. grandma uh, had her period. <laughs> yeah, because her she boy. put it under her ass. Well, don't use this one. My well, men's grandpa liked song. it. <laughs> Aunt Marg's in town. Yep. Yeah. Uh, a pillow under her ass. So I'm sorry. <laughs> this show has gone to hell. <laughs> we can point the finger. Oh, yeah. yeah. Where it started. Uh, yeah, I know. Wash your sh wash your sheets. <laughs> wash your, you can wash, wash your pillowcases. You can wash pillows and pillowcases. They're still going to yellow. That's just happen. It just it, happens. Okay. Yeah. All right. <clears throat> so sorry. It's not pee. When, when, coming not up, pee. We're, we're going to talk no. with comedian Sean Wayans it's coming up. Sort of pee. And no, it's not. Allie Breen and sexy time. <laughs> Are you telling me that you put a pillow between your legs? Yeah. And you're not wearing pajamas. Right. There's not some sort of sputum that comes out of your... Sputum? Out of your wang. rectal area? And then... Oh, my goodness. Gets on the pillow. <laughs> we need to take a biology class. When we come back, <laughs> we'll try to get the show back what on What about that sound the from the front? That's uh, what uh, I want to Excuse me. Uh, this is the Bob and Tom Show. Thanks for listening to the Bob...
Thank you very much. Uh, we're going to uh, rejoin our friends uh, from the afterlife. The great band Here Come the Mummies are joining us. There you they can, are. By the way, you can watch them on um, on YouTube right now in our studios. We're and, here, uh, baby. Yeah, there we go. They're, that's Mummy Cass is the spokes mummy, um, along with uh, an aggregation of the dead. Uh, and uh, you got one more song for us? I know we got a few more coming, but we can get one in right now if that works for you, Mummy oh, Cass. Yeah, baby, this song's about credit cards. What's in your wallet? You know what I'm saying? Right. Right. Yeah.
Josh, and of course. Hi, Chick McGee, everybody. Your chance to win a Mini Max Big Green Egg for Bob and Tom and Big Green Egg. Each week, someone will win a Mini Max Big Green Egg. It's the Bob and Tom Show Pig Skin Pick, empowered by the Big Green Egg. Go to bobandtom.com slash contest on the computer. <laughs> Is that where you go? Are we eligible? Gasoline. Yes, gasoline goes in big <laughs> tankers. I've seen one filled with fat. It said, uh, this fat is not edible. It's used for something else. Non potable it was a fat. Tanker. Ew. Here's one of the fattest things I've ever done. <laughs> oh, God. They once, uh, somebody once put a sign on my back that said, this fat is not edible. It is just used for other uses. <laughs> is that what you wanted, Chick? <laughs> Jimmy Schubert is our guest. But I prefer mobile food myself. I, I mean, I prefer food that's had to make it in the world just like I have. Uh -huh. I mean, if I'm going to eat food, I prefer food that doesn't come from the ground. You know, because <laughs> vegetables, you know, they, they suck the nutrients from the mud. Mm -hmm. Would you eat mud? No. No, then why eat the middleman? <laughs> you know, God made animals slow enough to catch. He obviously intended for us to eat them. <laughs> Besides that, what's the fun in hunting a vegetable? <laughs> Anymore, I can sneak up on a carrot. <laughs> Some of that stuff's not even food, celery. That's not food. That's like uh, dental floss trapped inside a car. Carbohydrates. <laughs> I was reading about celery. You know, there's four calories in a stick of celery. Four it takes your body six calories to process. Mm -hmm. A stuck of you could kill yourself eating salad. <laughs> <laughs> that's not food. That's, that's slow suicide. Well, Jesus what said, happened? take this bread and eat it. It is my body. And the disciples said, Jesus, we're all on low-carb diet. <laughs> <laughs> we appreciate you dying for our sins, but we're all trying to slim down. Like <laughs> we want to look good in the painting. <laughs> good morning, sunshine. Bob and Tom. Last weekend. Takes care of that. Welcome back to the Bob and Tom Show. Christy Lee at the news desk. Howdy. There's Pat Godwin in the performance room. Hello there. There's Ace Cosby. Hey. There's Josh Arnold. Hi, Chick. I'm Chick McGee, and here's Tom. Chris Wallace. Oh, oh, sorry. I'm, Hello. I'm sorry. I was reading about this cheese sandwich. Can't you just oh, pay attention geez. for five seconds when you're being introduced? Wash Asian. those hands and fix me a cheese sandwich. <laughs> oh, thank you. A nice John Fox reference. <laughs> yeah, we had uh, the, uh, what is it, the world's biggest... Uh, Largest grilled cheese. And I'm, these two boys are named, they're young men. They, yeah, like, 10 and 12, 10 and 11, whatever, Exodus and Iggy. How'd they cook? Iggy played. And, and I couldn't figure out... Big, they had a big... Like, yeah, I thought it was well, named after Iggy Pop. But the other kid's name is Exodus, and I guess the logic is it's Ignatius, you think? Just somebody somebody sent us an email. It's a Bob Marley reference, I guess. I don't know what that oh. means. That's but I'm sure oh, you'll want to do a, Ziggy, Iggy. a big dick, uh, a big, uh, big, a big, dick, a big dick, no, a big deep dive about it. Yeah. Just curious. I mean, Exodus, obviously a biblical name, um, formerly known as uh, Twitterus. <laughs> Boy, Twitter is... <laughs> Man. Twitter is hard to find. <laughs> but worth it. Want to give it a quick tweet? <laughs> uh, <clears throat> uh, so sorry. No, you're not. Uh, no. <clears throat> and you guys, turns out, don't like a little bit of Iggy Pop? No, no I do. I, I, I do. don't. Yeah. No. Played at concert volume. Iggy Pop doesn't have a hit. Keep what was his hit? Let's Keep it to yourself. Life. Yeah, you know, you would... S that's yeah. exactly what you would say to us. Well, he doesn't have a hit. Lust for Life was a hit. Nope. Nope. Yes, yeah. no, nope. so especially so. post train spotting. No. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that dun 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 yes. dun 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 yeah. dun dun dun. I played dun, classic dun. rock for many many years as a DJ. Was never and a never hit. played Iggy Pop. Yeah, it was after Ace. That. I only know it from a certain. <laughs> the Passenger was a hit. Never. A Ace hit. was music director. We never played it. Never. I only know it because because it's uh, used a lot in a sports show I watch. Oh. Listen to. You mean, how about this one? Yeah, that's it. Yeah, that's from Train Spot. It's great. I would say it's from Train Spotting. Songs don't get much cooler than this. Really? Yeah. All right. Iggy's taking his shirt off. Yep, it's all about the music. Like else. There's a lot of sit ups. So 
far, so good. Please stop it. He's like heroin chic, isn't he? <laughs> very, he? Very much so. Yeah, okay, well. So you don't think they named their kid after Iggy Pop? No. 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 Okay. Sorry. Are there but, words to that song? Oh, yes. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. That's a great song. The Passenger's a great song. And I know it was a... What are the words to it? I didn't know there were words. Not the start at the beginning. I'm the Passenger. <laughs> See, this is one of those long intros, Christy, where it, you, can do, green room. you can do uh, weather, weather <laughs> time, <laughs> time check, traffic. 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 They yeah. used to do traffic. that. Traffic, introduce yes. the contest. Because they played uh. it multiple times a day after train spotting on radio. And they would do the weather over this? Sure. No, there was actually a shorter version of the radio edit. We didn't do that at classic rock stations. You're a sex okay. machine, Iggy. Yeah. That's right, buddy. Okay. Speaking of sex stuff. machines, uh, coming up, it's uh, Sexy Time with Allie Breen. But uh, we have to dip our toes into the world of news with Christy Lee right now. I have an update for you on that off-duty pilot that wanted to shut off the engine in the plane mid-flight over the weekend. Pilot of the airways. <laughs> Here is my Another request. song no one's ever heard. Uh, Charlie Dore, pilot of the airwaves. Are you kidding? I think it was a <laughs> big hit for about a month. It was a big hit. It was a bigger hit than bigger Iggy hit Pop. Bigger hit than Iggy Pop, yeah. No, you guys, you guys just aren't <laughs> correct <laughs> on that. But yeah, it's, we but are. it's okay. No, I don't. I no, after I train, hate... that song came back after Train Spotting, and it was on alternative radio all. All right, the time. alternative radio, okay. but not yeah, not in 1962 when you were playing classic <laughs> rock. Yeah, that's right. That's it a was well, like I said, it was seems... well after you guys were doing that. That seems hurtful. What he <laughs> just yeah, said. Because no. I have to okay. hammer the point. No. Off. Old and Josh, daughter, daughtering no. around the studio, I could barely this, walk. This next yeah, song, Chick and I had to play this one on the radio, and you can't do a, you can't talk over the music because it starts right away. Right away. Yes. Mm -hmm. You ready for this? Okay, here we, here we, here it comes, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, Charlie Dore. Hear this? Oh, you playing this one now? You don't okay, have hang on a second. <laughs> I'll, I'll be right back. <laughs> <laughs> I never had to play that. Good you didn't Lord. have to play that one? No, because I never worked that. You never worked I, top 40? No. Well, oh, I did for about a week. It's a great song. Got oh. fired, huh? Yeah. That's it's, a, it's a song no, about... No, I went to a real radio station. <laughs> You'd like it, Christy, because it's a song about... Um, it's the, about the, DJs. About loving the DJs. Yeah, I know. DJs. Did you ever have a guy call you up when you were on the, doing late nights and say, hey, Christy? <laughs> yeah. I bet it was nonstop. Can I oh, come no, over? it wasn't you, you like pour, that. Pour come on over here and make oh, that man. that noise you can make with the front part of I got done. We all know what I overnight got, DJs did. We put the phones on hold. <laughs> I got Grandpa's DNA in this pillow. Um, all right. New details are emerging about the off-duty pilot, <laughs> Joseph David Emerson, who was riding in the jump seat uh, on a Horizon Air flight. Allegedly, he said, I'm not okay, just before he tried to stop the plane's engines. According to a probable cause uh, statement, the 44-year-old told authorities he'd been struggling with depression that a friend had recently passed away, and he had taken psychedelic mushrooms about 48 hours before the incident. One of these things is not like, man, oh, man. He also told Time to jump into the cockpit. <laughs> he thought he was having a nervous breakdown and said, quote, I pulled both emergency shutoff handles because I thought I was dreaming, and I just want to wake up. Jeez. Man. Wow. Well, uh, I don't know if that's going to... <laughs> Get him out of the 80-some murder charges he had. <laughs> yeah. 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 Attempted murder. We'll, we'll see. Right. Um, how many mushrooms did he take? It doesn't say. I don't know how <laughs> Apparently many. Apparently all of them. <laughs> yeah. uh, Yikes. Well, a giant cloud was about to eat us, and I thought, uh, yeah, this guy's a, a giant lunatic. What? A giant cloud was about to He's eat us. Oh, a giant place. cloud. He oh. obviously has some serious mental issues, but. You're ki no kidding. I wouldn't call him a lunatic. That seems pretty bad. No, I would. <laughs> He would have killed all those people if the other pilot, the pilot, hadn't uh, subdued him. Yes. Um, and now he'll get the help he needs. 
I'm kind of concerned that they have a couple switches in the cockpit that can just turn the gasoline <laughs> off. No kidding. What, the, the gasoline? I guess. Oh, this was a. Um, I guess that. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, you're right. It's, you know what hell? I mean? The yeah. fuel. Yeah. I don't know. How, I guess that comes in handy for like, an one emergency in, situation. One in a million times. <laughs> and I, I, engine right. catches on I, I fire. assume that that's a pretty. A difficult switch to throw. And, it's not uh, like you uh, you, yeah. no, no, you, I saw, you you bump it with your elbow here, and yeah. there in, in the ceiling, uh-huh. if yeah. you will. But uh, yeah, I still uh, that should that exist? I don't no. know. Well, if you have an engine fire and you need to they cut off the fuel to yeah, that, they yeah. know what they're doing. The engineers are brilliant. Well, they better. Well, that's the problem. This guy knew what he was doing. Glide right, because he was a pilot. But I mean, the designers know what they're doing, and it's just this guy. He was on as a bunch I, of drugs. As, as I said yesterday, you know, <laughs> this guy, this guy, he's in that extra seat because he works for the airline. Yeah, the jump mm-hmm. seat. And if you come to work and it's not, and it's not, it's your day off. You're working. Something's wrong. I had a pilot tell me that the same, the same way a car stays on the street, that's how a plane stays in the sky. All the same principles, he said. Wow. That's uh, wait a minute. That's what he said. There's a gravity issue <laughs> yeah. with both of that's them. Certainly, said. turbulence that's is like a pothole. Said. Then, right? That's what, yeah, exactly right. Uh-huh. Gravity holds the car on the road. But there are far less hitchhikers in the air. Mm. <laughs> oh. Unless you're going to the galaxy. <laughs> Good point. Roads. When's the last time you saw a hitchhiker? We don't need roads. Just this morning. Ace, not two days ago. Oh, really? Yeah. Are you serious? Really? Yes. Yeah. Did you pick him up? Where'd you take her? <laughs> I considered it. Really? Yeah. Really? Hey, why don't you get in there? It was sweet, a guy. It was sweet guy. meat. Hey, you Young know? man. Looked like he was in. Uh, he just needed some help. He was under an underpass, and he, uh, did he have was a on a highway, and he, he did. It said Chicago, and I went, I'm not going that far. <laughs> get in. <laughs> so I was like, I could take you. A mile. <laughs> Every little bit helps. Yeah. Uh, 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 hey, I haven't uh, seen a hitchhiker in a long yeah. time. He was. He had to have been 22, something like that. Huh. You ever yeah. hitchhike? No, never did. I did. Uh, I hitchhiked. Did you really? My dad said he hitchhiked. He hitchhiked all the time. I never I did. It was, a, it was fine. I was bailing hay, and I'd had it, so I left, and I hitchhiked home. And then a few murders ruined it for everybody. Right. So you were bailing hay, so this was not an urban situation. No, I was out in the middle of nowhere, and... Uh, and the nice farmer picked you up? No, a male, a male hair, hairdresser picked me up. <laughs> How about that? In the middle of the rural in the countryside. Of, in the middle of nowhere, he just appeared. <laughs> like an angel from heaven. <laughs> Cool. You need to feather that. That's yeah. always, that that all is absolutely true. Yeah. Every word of that. Tom, you look like a guy that would hitchhike. There was a time. Not mm-hmm. lately. I thought you, you, you look like a guy who could do hair. You hitchhiked? <laughs> Long time ago. I bet he did. Times. I did it once. I see you too. in that, what album is it that we've got a picture of you in New York with the long hair? Yeah. I forgot. Shoulder length hair. Uh-huh. You out hitchhiking. Flowing in the breeze. Yeah. Hitchhiking sure. wasn't the insane thing it is now, right? No. Don't, no. no. Yeah. Yeah. Me, man. Still well, dangerous, though. For some. Yeah. <laughs> uh, we have uh, coming up, uh, we're going to talk with uh, comedian Sean Wayans. Um, right now, I, if I'm not mistaken, I'm looking over there at that orange insoles. Kegerator, we're giving that baby away. Remember, they're orange. That's right. Speaking of orange <laughs> insoles, look at that, Josh. I know. I love them. You'll love them, too. Back pain, hip pain, knee pain. If you've got those things, check out orange insoles. Maybe you work on your feet all day, or you're walking around with those shoes that have a lame, thin lasagna noodle liner inside. No thanks. Those don't offer any support. If you're standing all day, you're putting stress on your body. It's that simple. Go to orangeinsoles.com. What are you waiting for? Get on the insole train. Thoughts? On in Soul Train? Mm-hmm. That's nice. Uh, soul Train. Uh, can you talk like uh, Don Cornelius? I can, <laughs> uh, but I won't. Orange Insoles offer arch support. They have that deep cup to properly support your heel. And your- as always, peace, love, and soul. Very nice. There you go. There it is. Your whole body is supported with Orange Insoles. Heck, half the people in this building can do a Don Cornelius impression, and they have Orange Insoles in their shoes. If the insole in your current shoe flops around like a a depressed fish, well, you're not getting the support you need. Think of a table. It wobbles without proper support. So does your spine. So do your knees, your entire person. Head to orangeinsoles.com. Free shipping, my friends. Plus, that 60-day we-want-you-to-be-happy guarantee. Also at orangeinsoles.com, they have that insole quiz. So you answer a few questions. What are your symptoms? What shoes do you plan to wear with the insoles? What's your shoe size? You're going to give those answers, and they're going to give you 
a recommendation that's guaranteed to work. How simple is that? No cutting required on these insoles also. They are true to size. That's orangeinsoles.com. Thank you very much. Check out Orange Insoles and their beautiful kegerator. You could win that. Bobandtom.com slash contest. Coming up, comedian Sean Wayans and Sexy Time. With Allie Breen, this is the Bob and Tom Show. Comfort. So you're just rolling around? Yeah. There are better options. You need to try orange insoles. Orange insoles? Yeah, check those out. Proper support for your feet. You're gonna have arch yeah. support. It's got that deep heel cup. These do feel better. All right. Who needs you? Not me. Orange insoles will help you feel better and do more guaranteed. Get your orange insoles today and step into a world of comfort. Well, <laughs> looks like uh, we got dumped. <laughs> no. Uh, is there anything you'd like to say to them? Well, our girls have left us, so I'd like to say just one thing. Oh, yeah. Baby, blow me. Whoa. A kiss as you're leaving. Blow me. Oh, a kiss right now. Cause if you're gonna leave me, honey, I will surely miss the way you blow me. Oh, blow me a kiss. Come on and blow, 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 blow me. A kiss like you, mama, mean it. Blow me. A kiss right now. I really can't remember anything as hard as this. So me a kiss. Wow. Some things in life are hard to swallow. She couldn't take it all, Dean. She couldn't handle everything. Who could? But if she comes back tomorrow, I'll be shooting my wad on flowers and the rain, honey. Blow me a kiss as you're leaving, baby. Blow me. Oh, a kiss as you go. And always think about me as you're going down your list. <laughs> and blow me, blow me a kiss. I'll miss her arms <laughs> and her elbows. I'll miss her arms and her elbows. <laughs> I'll miss her legs so tall. Yeah! I'll miss her legs so tall. I'll miss her neck <laughs> and her shoulders. Yes, sir. But I'll miss her head. Come home, honey. That's okay. Just grab a hold of this. And baby, blow me. Baby, won't you blow me? Blow me a kiss. Oh, hi, Miss Melvin. Oh, Sally. I'll miss your arms and your elbows. Bob Dean and Tom and Band and Orchestra. Amazing. Thank you, Dean. Thank you, Jerry. Oh, oh that's fantastic. You took my breath away from the moment I first saw you. Will you marry me, Dolly? She said yes! She said yes! It's not a real person. It's not a real diamond. Real, natural, earthborn diamond. For your real love, from a real jeweler you can trust. Steven Singer Jewelers.
50 at factormeals.com slash Bob and Tom 50 to get 50% off. Think you know your pro football and want to put your knowledge to the test? Then play Pigskin Pick'em every week at BobandTom.com. This is your chance to win a Mini Max Big Green Egg. Just pick the winners of this week's pro football games and you could win a Mini Max Big Green Egg. Head to BobandTom.com slash contest and play Pigskin Pick'em with the Bob and Tom Show. Bob and Tom. For your information, these are two of the worst kids I have ever encountered in my life. And I worked the state fair. We were stupid before stupid was cool. Friday, 8 p.m. Hi, excuse me. I'm having a dinner party and I've run out of coffee. Uh, might I borrow some? Sure. <laughs> Here you go. A few minutes later. Uh, excuse me. Uh, could I trouble you again for some more coffee? I just gave you some 10 minutes ago. I know, but my guests... Hey, welcome back to the Bob and Tom Show. Christy Lee at the news desk. Yep. There's Pat Godwin in the performance room. Hey, check. There's Josh Arnold. Hi there. Hi. There's Ace Cosby. Hey. I'm Chick McGee, and here's Tom Griswold. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Um, uh, we're going to maybe hook up with Sean Wayans coming up. Right now, we've got Christy Lee at the news desk. Haven't heard from Mr. Godwin in a while. We'll get a song out of Pat coming up shortly. But uh, right Pat, now, Christy... you have a song for this? Multiple lanes of a Texas highway were shut down after a crashed tractor trailer spilled watermelons on the road. According to Sugarland officials, the 18-wheeler hauling the fruit crashed into a concrete pillar on US-59. In addition to an oil spill, police said the back of the truck <laughs> ripped open and scattered watermelons onto the roadway. Yikes. Authorities closed several lanes while crews worked to clean up the mess. Oh, wow. Gallagher weeping up in heaven. Oh, yeah. yes, boy. <laughs> I understand uh, bystanders had to pay a $2 cover, and it was a three-drink minimum. So I had to see Gallagher at that $2 cover. <laughs> was Gallagher too anywhere to be seen? This is the most complimentary email we've ever received. See if you can figure it out. Well, All right. saying a lot. Dear people. Yes. yes that's it. I still haven't learned to not try to eat breakfast during the show. <laughs> Which thing was it? Uh, uh, evidently, was, all of it, man. Okay. Grandpa, grandpa's money shot. Could have been grandpa's. Could have the, been the sound. Would, would you go made? see a band called Grandpa's Money Shot? Yes, I think so. <laughs> yeah, just so based on the name. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah. I, I think what we should do, Pat, coming up. What? We were talking about this news of the survey of people in their yellow pillows. Mm -hmm. Coming up in a few minutes. Not right now. Maybe we should do the the tribute to Josh and his uh, famous uh, episode with the yellow sheets. Sure. Um, oh God! It's a good story. I think I think I admire Josh for discussing it. Yeah, yeah. hey, it happened. Are you and, thinking and, people get yellow pillows because they're peeing on them? Sure. No, I think it's probably <laughs> drool over time. <laughs> another I, band, another band I'd go see. Drool, drool over time. time. Drool over time. <laughs> and they're 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 opening for Grandpa's money shot. <laughs> My um, God. No, what is the name? I'm sorry. Uh, what is the name of? Um, the uh, the thing that you guys both had as kids, and I'm not trying to make fun of it. I think it's very important. Oh, they wet the bed. Nocturnal you... enuresis. Nocturnal enuresis. Ah. Is that it? Yeah. I thought it was nocturnal emissions. Well, that's something different. But that's, I mean, that's the good uh, one. But it, it's yeah, that's the, good wetting one. the bed. That's I mean, a good one. Too. And uh, there are some people. Remember that we were talking about Michael Landon and that movie, which it's important that Sarah happens Silver, to kids. Yeah. And sometimes the you know, mom would hang the sheets in the front yard so the neighbors would just terrible stuff. Sarah do, Silverman do, peed the bed. Yeah. Do guys your age still have wet dreams? Um, dream, we dream I do. About, we dream about them. Uh, I do. Do you? Yes. They're awesome. And also, <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to lie, I'm never mad when I have one. But uh, it has something to do with my the SSRI that I'm Oh, taking. okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Interesting. I told you, don't spell around us. <laughs> oh, sorry. sorry. SSRI, that sounds like they an organization. They selected serotonin. Like it sounds like, it sounds like an organization. <laughs> well, I'm a member of the SSRI. I'm a captain. They have control of my brain. Um, huh. When you have them, do you uh, wake up? Uh, um, I'd say half the time, yeah. I wake up. That's Otherwise, a good sleep, though. Whew. Yes. Yeah. Mm. Does it take you as long in your dream? <laughs> <It's> <laughs> a, a hearty laugh from Ace. That's a valid question. Yeah, it is a valid question. I, and I don't. I kind of don't know how to answer it because I don't know how long the dream has actually gone. Oh, okay. It's crazy that I still get them. But I, and I talked to my doctor about it. No, he I goes, think yeah. it's great. He goes, on that medicine, you're going to have that. It's healthy so. and fun, and why not? Yeah. Where yeah. do they take place? 
Oh, varying. Uh, I mean, are you like in some exotic forest? And <laughs> oh, the scenario in the dream. In the dream. I yeah, honestly, yeah. I won't get into the details. I remember one, <laughs> one location in one of these me. dreams. I was uh, <laughs> behind my car, and uh, I was outside on the street that I grew up on. Huh. Interesting. Yep. And there was, was a, there was a lady involved, and uh, we were that's where we were. Yeah. Behind your car. Because I was getting something out of the trunk. By the oh, tail. she surprised you, By huh? the tailpipe? Yes. <laughs> mm. yeah, Her name the... wasn't Peg, was it? Mm. <laughs> it was... No, no, no. You were the one who... <laughs> mm. <laughs> it was not. Okay. This is interesting. I'm sorry. I, I, we're, of course, off topic, which has been the, the theme of today's show. Sorry. Uh, I'd like to congratulate uh, our winner from week seven of our NFL competitions, the pigskin thing, Elise... Jenkins from Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, was in a 15-way tie for first place, and she won all the tiebreakers, so she's our winner. And uh, once again, her nickname, Ms. Elise Jenkins, is of course known to her friends as... Uh, uh, Navidad? Elise <laughs> Navidad. Thank That's you right. very much. I love that joke. Thank you. Um, it's uh, yours, Josh. We now uh, turn to uh, Christy Lee. Oh, wait a minute. No. Nope. We don't turn to Christy Lee? No. We have a special guest, I believe. I believe we have... Uh, I'm getting the, there. He there is. he is! <laughs> wow, look at that! Wow, it's it's uh, Sean Wayans joining us with uh, some uh, some serious sunglasses. Those are awesome. Got some shade. My eyes are still sleepy. Mm, uh, I bet. Yeah. Are those um compact discs behind you or books? Oh yeah, they are. DVDs right. and Blu-rays looks to be. Oh yeah. Hmm. They're all CDs. CDs. D D oh. DVDs actually. Oh, DVDs. Okay. All right. Good. Are you in a bunch of them? Uh, no. <laughs> no. we got there. Mm -hmm. All right. Um, now, uh, well, what's going on in your life? Anything interesting happening? And you got a uh, little bit of game show action going. Um, game show action. What do you mean? Uh, and um, uh, uh, some live comedy action. I know that's for sure. You're on a little bit of a mini tour. Is that correct? Doing some live comedy stand-up dates. Yeah. There we go. I'm, I'm hitting the road a little bit. What um, is your stand-up like as opposed to all the other acting stuff you've done? Uh, my stand-up is a lot of fun. It's my point of view of the world. It's me on a number of different topics that I take you through. I'm on stage for about an hour, a lot of good physical comedy, and, uh, yeah, it's, it's fun, fun observations. Yeah. Do you sing at all? Oh, there you go. No. I can't yeah. sing. Oh. <laughs> it doesn't stop most comedians from trying. <laughs> I try to sing, but I I can't sing. I'm not I'm not really good. Do you do impressions? Um, not really. No. Okay. All right. Okay. Um, any any magic? Any <laughs> <laughs> I think I think it's straight good comedy. Water, yeah. yeah. Water, water. <laughs> hey, Sean, let me ask you something. When when you were younger, was there a um, a comedy album, as we used to call them? Uh, was there either like a vinyl or a cassette of a particular comedian, you know, be it, I don't know, Richard Pryor or Robert Klein? Or was, there, was there anyone that you listened to over and over again? I used to listen to my brothers listening to Richard Pryor. Oh, <laughs> yes. So I was listening to them listening to Richard Pryor. <laughs> and I, I would sneak, and by, me and Marlon would sneak by the door and have our ear to the door listening to them, laughing with them <laughs> at what they were laughing at with Richard Pryor. Oh, there wasn't yeah. one that you were just listening. Like in my case, it was uh, Alan Sherman. <laughs> oh, wow! With like, there's no yeah. reason you should know who he's talking yeah, about. No. Sean. You, ever, you ever hear the song "Hello Mudda, Hello Fada"? Yeah, I know. Hello Mudda, Hello Fada. <laughs> I said, uh, do, uh, uh, he was a Catskills guy. Had a bunch of great comedy albums. That one, and uh, uh, of course, Bill Cosby. Uh, Eddie, great Eddie albums. Was Eddie Murphy was my guy. Oh it's yeah. Still in. yeah, yeah. Eddie Murphy was my guy, and we didn't we didn't have uh, we didn't have his album, but we had um, Eddie Murphy Delirious on uh, on uh, VHS, ah. and we watched that until the tape popped. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. That that is a absolute milestone. Yes, and yeah. such yes. a classic. Amazing. Yeah, that that certainly is a classic. Have you ever met Ed, Eddie Murphy? Yes, I've met him several times. He's friends of the family. He's right. friends of Keenan. So we got to hang out with him when we were little. Well, that's that's got to be amazing. Um, we are speaking with uh, Sean Wayans. Uh, he came to our house in the project. I said he came to visit us at our house in the project one time. <laughs> wow. 
Now, oh, some sad news from the world of entertainment uh, this morning. Um, Richard Roundtree, the actor, has died. Uh, he, of course, was famous for the movie Shaft and its various sequels. D did you ever get a catch of that era of those movies? You got all those DVDs there? No, I, I, I never watched a lot of those movies. No, I didn't. But I had Richard Roundtree on my show, so R.I.P. Richard oh. uh, Roundtree. Yeah. He was Baines Brothers. He did a, a little episode, a couple episodes. Hmm. Well, that's cool. Yeah. Um, the, the Shaft uh, was a real another milestone, really. I mean, that was that yeah. kind of crossed all boundaries, and every everybody went to see it when it came out. I remember those days. Um, yeah. It's a very cool, cool film. Yeah. Do, do, do you consider yourself to be a cool guy, as cool as Richard Roundtree? <laughs> No, I'm not as cool as <laughs> Well, but who, who is? is? Yeah, yeah, who is? Oh my God. I, I mean, there's Even a lot, with, to, lot to live up to there. Yeah, yeah that's true. Even with Shane on, I ain't as cool as <laughs> that's Okay. Right. All right. Well, check out Sean. I'll give you a schedule. We'll go over it in a second. Thanks for getting up early and talking to us, Sean. We appreciate it. Oh, no problem. Thank you for having me. Thanks, Sean. Right. 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 Thank you, sir. Safe travels. Those are some big sunglasses. Wow. Yeah. They're cool. Very, Very cool. cool. See, he is cool. He's a, you need uh, sunglasses like that. You do. You had. Yeah. You were going. Yeah. You were forever. going that way at right? one time. The, the blue larger, blockers, the larger the sunglasses, because you weren't you wearing readers at one point, and you put sunglasses over the readers. Yeah. Is that how I'm? But remembering? I've had the eye surgery. I don't need them anymore. Right. Oh, that's right. right. Uh, but, you can uh, go with your straight Ray Bans, though. I get the uh, XL. Do you have the aviators, or do you have the black frame? No, no, no. I don't like the aviators. See, the XLs look. I don't think they fit your face. Uh, that's okay. The, the aviators, um, if you drop them constantly, which I do. Ah, uh, they're going to bend and up. And they bend up in your pocket and stuff. Yeah. you got to get the, the classic Ray-Bans. Nothing beats them. The Wayfair. Besides Wayfair. The, the other mentioned in a Don Henley song. What's the president wear? Aviators? He wears yes. the aviators. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah. I like that's the, what Tom uh, Cruise wears, too. I like the Clubmaster. You seen the Clubmaster? What's the Clubmaster? That's the one that Bruce Willis wore all the time. He, the... the, the uh, actually, Mark uh, Allison has a pair of club masters, but they're just uh, reading glasses. Oh, the ones he's wearing right now? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Here's an interesting trivia Got for you. ear pads on them. Mm -hmm. If you have that uh, gizmo that uh, shoots up from your dashboard and shows your speed on the windshield. Heads yeah. up. This is this is truly 1% problems. Yeah, what's that called? The heads up display. The heads up display. That's right. If you have that, <laughs> and you're wearing if polarized, you have polarized sunglasses, sunglasses, it disappears. Yeah. You can't see it unless you turn your head. And I was talking to Nafir the other day, mm -hmm. um, my new friend. Oh, Who, and I used huh? to have a sweatshirt that said Nafir. No uh, he's uh, <laughs> he's a, he? he's at pilot school. Is he? And he was telling me that um, you can't wear those uh, polarized glasses in the aircraft that he no. drives. Is there a lot of heads-up display in the aircraft? Uh, yeah, he said there are certain, for whatever reason, the way the controls are set up, you can't wear polarized sunglasses, at least in the airplanes he's learning on. Oh, I'm sure. Which I did not know. Hmm. Hmm. Josh, do you have that heads-up thing in your car? No. No, no I, I don't I don't it. have I don't that. For it. Oh, it's he fantastic. Doesn't, uh, he doesn't uh, like the, the buttons and the right. switches. Right, you know me. I'm, a, I'm a, very much a Luddite. I, I, the, the, the more on a car, the more there is to go wrong. I don't care for it. Because <laughs> uh -huh. no, well, you, you, look at it, it tells you what the speed limit is and... How fast you're going and yeah, how, I have a speedometer. Yeah. No, no, but this tells you what the speed limit on the street is. It's got a little sign. Now, so the you, speed limit on the street is what I say it is. <laughs> that's for sure. <laughs> really? Every time I get pulled over, that's you right. know what the speed limit is? It's whatever I'm driving. <laughs> oh, really? what I, I say it's whatever I'm driving, punk. Oh, uh -huh. uh, really? Do you say something? Did you mention maybe donut shops or you pay you know their taxes? Oh, yeah, I'm often arrested. The classics. <laughs> Add Barney to that. Yeah. yeah. Even I've, today's I've police that. officers, they know who Barney is. Sure. They know what you're saying. My aunt recently got a car. She's elderly. She called and said, I can't get out of my car. I'm locked in. Oh, man. <laughs> I said, that's impossible. You can't be locked in your car. I am. Yeah, I can't yeah. get out. And I said, you have the key fob, right? She goes, yeah. I go, Hit the unlock button. Oh. Yeah, you shouldn't have to do that. I'm with your aunt. <laughs> yeah, you should be in. The, the fobs should let you in and well, you, without you, pushing a button. How do you get locked? You can't get locked into your car. I had to call up. Uh, I have a new car. I had to call up uh, the guy and uh, oh my ask God. him how to put it into forward. You mean drive? <laughs> forward. You know, maybe that was See, the problem. Yeah, You're yeah, looking for F on no the gear shift. Can I help you? How me go? <laughs> forward. Josh, I'm telling you, I, I'd never driven this car. 
It's a long story, but I had I had this oh. new car. I never driven. You know, they don't have. Uh, in your defense, I can't believe it, but they have. Uh, it's they don't a have switch. The gear There's no gear shift. Yeah. And there's a switch, but to go backwards. Right. In reverse, you have to push this switch forward. Right. Wait, it's really no confusing. Thanks. I have gear buttons. Shift, I but it doesn't matter because the car's different. <laughs> in the car, no it, it, it's, it's, Oh, no, Josh, it's the greatest car on earth. I'm glad you enjoy it. I really am. I, I wouldn't. What kind of magic is no gear shift? I don't have a gear shift either. I have buttons. Mm-hmm. There used to be one way, way back in the 60s that had, like, car radio buttons on it. Yeah. Yeah, the I remember transmission. That. I remember that, yeah. He, he got a little bit confused. Yeah, also. yeah, yeah. You're going 60 miles an hour. Yeah. You want to change it to FM, the next thing you know, you've dropped the transmission. <laughs> oh, my God, I put it in reverse. I put it in park. That was a dot my buddy of mine had. Mike Clevenger had a Dodge Valiant. Oh. And those had uh, push-button uh, transmission. My dad's How about that? Yeah. Right on yeah. the dashboard. Well, but yeah. uh, anyways, the larger point here is uh, we're talking sunglasses. Yes. And that polarized thing, so I had to get a pair of non-polarized Ray-Bans so I could drive my car. You can drive them with polarized sunglasses. And you can't use the ATM see, machine yes, sometimes, too, yes, right? you can. You have to look at it a little bit of a side eye, but yeah. you can see it. Oh, that's safe. It's like a dog driving a car. I'm sticking my head out just for the air. And I can also read my head's rough display, whatever the hell what, what am I doing? I've had to drive like a dog before when my windshield wipers in a bad rainstorm <laughs> <laughs> crapped Working? out. Oh. Yeah. Have you ever had to do this? Ride with your friend. I probably shouldn't say his name. No, no, say his name. Um, it was Pete Thompson. Go ahead. <laughs> Is it McChesney? <laughs> no, it wasn't. Okay. Um, he had a, uh, do you know what a... a um, uh, vice grip is yeah. like, yes I uh, do. <laughs> you mean the actual? <laughs> you're holding on to something really tight, no, the, or the, 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 or the, the wrench, the, the, the wrench, the tool. Yeah, yeah. yeah and then mm -hmm. you screw the handle so hold it down. Yes, mm -hmm. yes, um, and it holds it in a vice-like yes. grip. Yes, yes. <laughs> Hence the name vice. Grips. He had that as a steering wheel briefly. Oh, uh, right on the yeah. nut, yes. the center nut. Yeah, My buddy a, had that too. There was an issue in which. Uh, Thought that was going to be my last day on Earth as we're driving between <laughs> Harbor Springs and Petoskey, Michigan. <laughs> For God's sake, Paul, put you the ever, steering wheel back on. You ever have a buddy take those vice grips and put them on your testicles and oh, geez. squeeze? Oh. Jeez, Louise. Oh, yeah, I didn't do the things that you did. Is that heavenly? Oh my God, it's, the pain is exquisite. <laughs> it, it feels good because you deserve it. That's right. <laughs> That's, That's really right. What, yeah. <laughs> Mommy. How do oh, we, yeah. Are we off topic again? Uh, yeah. Whatever. This is a mess, and people are trying to eat breakfast. Okay, I'm so sorry. <laughs> uh, coming up, it's going to be sexy time with the lovely Allie Breen. But first, it's The Globe by Big bless Audio you. Dynamite. Bless you. Bless you. Oh, bless you. Bless you. Bless you. Where are you going? Where sounds, like a, going? sounds like a comedy is song. This the road that we take to <laughs> And by the way, I can't believe you embarrassed all of us in front of Sean Wayans telling him about Hello Mata, Hello Fire. I know, right? Well, that no. was embarrassing. I was trying to get him to talk about anything, and I couldn't. And um, that was like pulling teeth, and I thought perhaps he would maybe have a favorite album from his past. He did. I, I thought he had some good responses. Some great responses. Eventually, yes. eventually, after yanking, talked him. about his family. I, I was just, just nervous the whole time because was this is behind nervous. the scenes. But uh, just knowing that in two minutes you're going to be screaming at Ace. <laughs> <laughs> Blame Google. It was Damon Wayans. Thank you, Ace. The game uh, show. Thanks, yes. Thanks for that tip. Oh, what I googled this morning. It's, uh, oh, uh, and uh -huh. and I bet show. he is irritated that he gets confused with the other way in Yeah, probably. Oh, there, there are a lot of them. You struck out like two or three times because of A's. Oh, boy. I wasn't going to throw him under the bus. <laughs> it was his. And, and I've already told him. He's Ace. always right. And Ace was going to buy. I offered Ace no, my no, car to drive no, to my Suburban to drive all week so he can get his car fixed, and he turned it down. Now someone else has it, so he's screwed. You know what? <laughs> I don't think he's really I'm worried. Fine. Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go out and break out all the windows in his car. <laughs> And then I'm gonna I'm gonna gladly pay for the whole thing. My guy Dustin was here yesterday. He wants to help you. I Why don't want anything to do with you or any of your friends. I can't imagine. <laughs> what? 
What? Yeah, uh, right now. I hope you're yeah, enjoying right. the show. Uh, this portion of the show features an announcement about the beautiful Raycon earbuds, which I love with my doggies. I always have them on when I'm walking them. It's fall. Make listening to the Bob and Tom Show part of your routine. And be sure to use your Raycon wireless earbuds to do it. With Raycon, you can take premium audio wherever you go and everywhere you go. Raycon's everyday earbuds look, feel, and sound better than ever. And, of course, you can use them while you're traveling, wear them all day. And comfort optimized gel tips are Raycon's. And those earbuds are comfortable enough for all day wear. And they do not budge or accidentally all of a sudden fall out of your ears. With Raycon, you get eight hours of playtime, 32 hours of battery life. And you'll love this. They start about half the price of other premium audio brands. And no wonder Raycon's everyday earbuds have over 78,000 five-star reviews. And just in time for fall, Raycon's having their annual fall sale. For a limited time, go to buyraycon.com slash Tom and get 20% off site-wide plus free shipping. That's buyraycon.com slash Tom to score 20% off. That's buyraycon.com slash Tom. Thank you very much. Coming up in the news, we have um, the Taco Tuesday controversy finally settled. Yes. Viagra in the news in a big way. And, um, oh, look, it's a grenade, a live one. We'll find out what that's all about. This is the Bob and Tom Show. Got some. Now, two comedians. We are joined by uh, Jimmy Pardo. Uh, also, another guy. It's comedian Chad Daniels. Chad, I, I understand that you have a, an injury, that nothing humorous about it, but uh, you look like you're in a little bit of pain. I broke my tailbone. Yeah. Did you break it, like, Damn. recently? or A uh, week and a half ago. Okay. Tailgating? I was, How do you, 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 you following too closely? You, what you the? can't uh, put a cast on that, can you? No, you mm -hmm. can't. No. Mm -hmm. uh, I was drywalling. I kept bending over to measure and cut and everything, and I guess my leg muscles were too tight or something like that, and it kept rocking it back and forth till finally it snapped. What? From, from, you didn't even hit it on me. Standing? I didn't hit it on anything from right. bending over, and yeah, that's the kind of shape I'm in. Where's that tight? <laughs> Oh, yeah. and, wow. Uh, never heard of such a thing. Yeah, the doctor said it happens a lot to pregnant women, which was really awesome to hear from your doctor. Mm -hmm. Are, are your breasts tender? <laughs> no, they're not. You're the first, uh, first man for that to happen to? Mm -hmm. Was it? I, uh, wow. It, must, it sounds like it was incredibly painful. It sounds like it yeah, is Yeah, my wife actually couldn't sit down for a while. Sympathy pains. <laughs> what? Hey, what? Oh, oh, nailed it! Ding, ding, ding. Oh. Funny about ding, 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 ding,
Body fuel. <laughs> Body fuel? Uh, I never heard of it. That's because it's new. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. This tastes like motor oil. Well, there is some motor oil in there. And some transmission fluid. Gasoline. And, and even a little engine coolant. Engine coolant? <laughs> I can't see. Well, of course you can't see. That's the power of body on your system, making it just like brand new. What do you think of body fuel? Are you trying to kill me? Hey, what's that fizzing noise? Ah, that's a little battery in. Sure, it'll keep your body running smooth and efficient. How do you like the sporty racing look of the package? I can't see. I can't see anything. Well, it's very, it's very sporty. Don't worry. Preliminary testing shows that the blindness is only a temporary sign. <laughs> anyway, how about that refreshing, cool, clear days? Come here. I'm going to sue you bastards. Come here. Where are you? I can't see anything. Body fuel. When you're so thirsty, you could die. Try one of Body Fuel's three delicious flavors. Original lemon lime, iced tea, or diesel. I, I can't I can't feel my tongue. My gums are bleeding. My gums are bleeding. Body Fuel. From the people who brought you Thirspiration Plus. It's the health drink for those on the run. Go out and pick up some Body Fuel today. At a supermarket or auto parts store near you. Come here, you son of a bitch. I authorize you. <laughs> I don't care. You can't be subpoenaed if your name's not on anything. That's the way I always talk about it. Hi, this is Bobcat Goldthwait. You're listening to Bob and Tom Radio. No, my dad never yelled. He just stared at us. Mm -hmm. It just was a, it was a scary thing. Because, you know, you're just having fun in the dark and just mm -hmm. fooling around, jumping from the top of one bunk to the other and sometimes colliding in midair with another <laughs> <guy>. <laughs> you know, Stuff like that. Sure. It, and, and then uh, all of a sudden the light comes on. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you'd be talking and you're messing around and all of a sudden the light would be on and he would just be there. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, and it just it psyched the heck out of us. And then it, that's when we knew he wasn't dead. There you go. <laughs> and, and, you know, you just like, you ever see the, the, you know, like the wildlife shows and the prairie dogs and their heads pop sure. up and they spot the eagle? Sure. That's that's us at night when that light came on. All our heads came up. And, <laughs> and, and there he was. And, uh, you know, we're like, ah. and we'd go right back down real fast. And, and then, and then uh, and the thing was, you, every, you're, once you, you know he's there, and then you're afraid to look. Right. And then all of a sudden the light would be off but we'd all be thinking uh, I, I think he's still in here <laughs> <laughs> so no, nobody nobody i mean and you you didn't even sleep it just when the sun came up oh <laughs> and then, and then, uh, when we said maybe he's dead, we were just like, oh, I hope he's dead. Yeah. <laughs> then we can relax. And then... uh, Lowell, Lowell Sanders is here with us. I'm on the road. Uh, are now, Lowell, are, are you a single, single man? Yeah, I uh, left a wife in Detroit. Oh, okay. Uh -huh. <laughs> well, I see how it works. Police should have found her by now. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. They won't, they won't find her. Hey, no way. You're, you're that good, aren't yeah. you? Well. Morning laughter <laughs> just might be the best medicine. I can hear you. Oh, no. You're talking out your ass again. Bob and Tom away. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back uh, to the Bob and Tom Show. You know we all have PTSD, I bet. Yeah. From this room. Christy Lee at the news desk. Hello. Pat Godwin in the performance room. Right. Sure. Remember that, uh, speaking of PTSD, remember that uh, spray-on shampoo called PSST? Oh, it was pssst. pssst. Yeah. You remember that? No. 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 Yeah. No. It was, it was shampoo? Like, it was spray on shampoo, yeah. <laughs> and they, it just onomatopoeia? They it just, was like P-S-S-S-S-S-S. I don't know how many They had a jingle. T. They did. Hello, your mic's off. Yeah, we lost it. Hello. Testing, testing. How do you not hear that you're not on mic? Yeah. Mic, my mic is... No, that's not on now. Hilarious. Sorry. Hi, Josh, how are you? I'm good, man. How about you? I'm getting there. That's Josh Arnold. There's Ace Cosby. Hey. I'm Chick McGee, and here... <laughs> Here's Tom Griswold. Are you wearing headphones just as a prop? <laughs> <laughs> I, you're listening to John Barry in your headphones, aren't you? Oh, I love the great John Barry. <laughs> Public radio. Can you can you play uh, some of that? Because this is my morning now. What? 
I come in here a little early now for whatever. I can't. Um, I still can't figure out why, but I've just fallen into this habit. Okay. And I come in, and he's sitting over there, and I hear this music. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you like this? <laughs> All the every morning, it's a variation of something. You realize that's like his this. quiet time. I think this is out great music right from the movie Hammett. Hammett. <laughs> but Chick, when I came in, he was listening to Blue Oyster Cult. Oh, yes. Baby, don't fear the reaper. Okay. This is nice music. I can see why you would want to yeah, come this in. This is your nice quiet time. This is from, a, very un, this is from a extraordinarily unsuccessful movie Hammett. called Hammett, based it, on, of course, Dashiell Hammett, the fine, <laughs> fine writer. Um, yeah, this is extraordinarily was a, unsuccessful. Is that oh, what yeah, this was said? a very big bomb. Um, mm. But great music. John Barry does. Oh, John Barry does a wonderful he job. He did the uh, yes. the famous James Bond, the early James Bond movies. He did Body Heat, great stuff. But it's nice to I can get a little work done with that playing. Yeah, mm -hmm. and that's when I come in and go. Yeah, how's it going, Tom? What's going on? <laughs> what are you doing? What's the show going to be about today? Can you help me out a little bit? Hey, I need some more money. <laughs> help me! I want some money. Money, money, money. Yeah, money, make money, money, money. You can see getting some stuff done. Sure. Money, money, money. Let's see, how can I work dicks into this story? <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, this morning needs more fecality. Uh, <laughs> it's got fecality. We, hadn't we didn't have any until just now. Why did you bring yeah. it up? Oh, we have a fecal story now? No, we don't, but you oh. just brought up the word, so. Fecality? Mm -hmm. what have you we had some it? earlier. We did? Yeah, we uh, when men when talking about the grilled cheese sandwich, the world's record for the world's oh, largest grilled right. cheese sandwich. Oh, yeah. Tom mentioned bowels. And he he, right. he opined that someone was stopped up, <laughs> yeah. I believe. Mound. Well, I mean, can you imagine eating 100 pounds of cheese? No. Be, make Elvis's death look like oh. <laughs> oh, man. Can imagine. Boy, I Im thought Ace was going to change things around for us. I suppose we could give him a shot at uh -huh. it. <laughs> Well, let's hope he's not lying while he's telling jokes. Yeah, Ace, and he's not hosting his game I'm show. I'm lying. I'm funny. Here it is. Rules that sexy man with a deep voice. Ace Cosby, here he is with his joke of the day. Hey, Chick. Uh, yes, Ace. <laughs> What's the first thing the uh, a werewolf would eat after uh, getting his teeth cleaned? Hmm. Huh. What's the first thing a werewolf would eat after getting his teeth cleaned? I don't know, Ace. What? The dentist. The dentist. The dentist was Ace Cosby's joke of the day. That's hilarious. <laughs> Those werewolves will eat people. Oh, yeah, they yeah. love meat. Oh, Speaking they like, of uh, they like people. quality uh, meat, <laughs> Omaha Steaks is having their semi-annual sale 50% off at omahasteaks.com. It's the perfect time to grab your fall grilling favorites. Plus, when you use our code, what's our code, Josh? I'm going to tell you right now, BTS at checkout. You'll get an additional $30 off your order. Minimum order may be required. Thank you, Omaha Steaks, and thank you, Ace. Uh, You're welcome. For all you do. Well, thank you very much. This Ace is a uh, letter for Christy, I guess. That's all right. the closest connection I can make. Uh, dear people, my dad called me from Minnesota, I live in Iowa, and said he was locked in his car. Oh. My brother then called my dad and talked him out of the car. The next month, we moved him into a care facility. <laughs> <laughs> this happened because you weren't paying attention, obviously. Oh, my aunt did that Christy's recently. Christy's aunt called her. And she couldn't get, she was locked she, herself inside she had the car. locked herself inside the car. She'd never had a car before that had fancy buttons. And, <laughs> that makes sense. I can yeah. get that. So she was. These cars are confusing yeah. these days. What, a, what an adorable story about the onset of dementia. <laughs> <laughs> well, speaking of dementia, that ties right into this story. This is the second one, the second story study involving um, uh, various, uh, what is the, t what is the? Uh, ED drugs. ED pharmaceuticals. So. Yes, the link between the use of Viagra and the reduced risk of Alzheimer's disease has been found again in a new study. Researchers analyzed data from 30 million people and discovered the use of Sildenafil, known under the brand name Viagra, oh, was yeah. associated with a 60% risk reduction of developing Alzheimer's disease. Wow. Yeah. It's huge. Is it because of the fact they're having sex or is it because of the drug? Maybe the drug is it, all it does is really open up blood vessels. Maybe yeah. there's more good well, I, 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 you know as I said earlier, I think everything is better with a boner. I think that we've all 
<laughs> not everything. You know, we can all agree. <laughs> not everything. Not church. <laughs> they don't help funerals. <laughs> no. huh. yeah. you, you and Pat are both correct. I guess not to think about it. Yeah. What about women? Now you can put your tithe in there, yeah. sir, and would you mind? Uh, <laughs> so does this just in men, or can women take Viagra? I don't know. That's th Those are both they great questions. It, yes. That yeah. is the, uh, is that a uh, rumor, an old wives sale that women can, because it, it's a it, it blood flow blood issue, flow, yeah. and they would do it. Yeah, but I, I, I'm sure there's some scientific studies, but it, then would that also be uh, an inter interesting uh, component in the study of, of Alzheimer's and dementia? Mm -hmm. If uh, if that, because that, that, that's what this is about. And I mean, this is good because now you can remember where you put your rubbers. Uh, yes, at the yeah. old folks' home. Mm -hmm. You know, you're. <laughs> hey, hey, Deirdre, I'm done with. <laughs> I don't care what else we do for the, rest, <laughs> for the rest of the life of this show, but yeah. if you could use the word rubbers more often, <laughs> that'll make me laugh Bless every, you. every darn time. <laughs> I keep my car keys. My reading glasses with my rubbers over, <laughs> over on the nightstand there, but I'm staying sharp. Did you ever tell the date that? What? Hey, honey, can you reach in that glove box and hand me my rubbers? <laughs> huh? No. That's, uh, called a, that's called a cinch. Uh, coming, right, up, Josh? Uh, coming up uh, just around the corner, it'll be Allie Breen and Sexy Time. This is the Bob and Tom Show. Thanks for listening to the Bob and Tom Show this morning. Catch any part of the show you missed later today on our YouTube channel. This song's called My Wiener. <laughs> All right. It goes like this. One, two, three, four. Her name is Wiener. Hey, have you seen her? Everyone says she's amazing. She gets so jealous. She sticks her head up when I'm checking out the ladies. She needs so much. Attention, she's always hanging around. My wiener is lonely tonight. She cries when I turn out the light. She's only happy when I'm holding her tight. Oh, my wiener, take a look at my wiener. My little wiener. Queen of the scene and all the girls want to be around her. Her skin is so soft, I can't keep my hands off ever since the day I found her. She'll make your heart beat faster with the wink of an eye. My wiener is lonely tonight. She cries when I turn up the light. She's only happy when I'm holding She can't sleep at night and I wake up and she's just looking at me and she snuggles up tight when it's cold outside. She likes to show off when we're walking the beach and she's always up for going extra innings. She's a sucker for a happy ending. We may not always agree. She's always here with me. See, it's about a puppy. Mm -hmm. My wiener is lonely tonight. She cries when I turn out the light. She's only happy when I'm holding her tight. Oh, my wiener. My wiener is lonely tonight. She cries when I turn out the light. Dog. All right. <laughs> Good dog. Bowling for soup from the new, new uh, project. Mm -hmm.
discomfort. So you're just rolling around? Yeah. There are better options. You need to try orange insoles. Orange insoles? Yeah, check those out. Proper support for your feet. You're gonna have arch huh. support. It's got that deep heel cup. These do feel better. All right. Who needs you? Not me. Orange insoles will help you feel better and do more guaranteed. Get your orange insoles today and step into a world of comfort. Well, there has to be a deli in the Dells. Sure. Oh, yeah, there's a Dells deli. Don't dilly dally. You need to get to that Dells That's deli right. before they there's close. There's a new deli. <laughs> oh, really? There's the new mm. deli in Delhi. Yeah, same as the old deli. <laughs> Bob and Tom in the morning and highlights all day long. The Bob and Tom Show, weekday mornings at 6 a.m. Eastern on Bob and Tom 24 7. You don't say we didn't warn you. I'm warning you, don't do that. There's laughter ahead. I should be having a better time <laughs> if this is a part. This is Bob and Tom Radio. Radio. The Bob and Tom Show now presents <laughs> The Law Minute with ex-attorney Jack Thomas. Hello again, everybody. This is ex-attorney Jack Thomas. You know, I get a lot of mail here at the ex-law office, and today, let's open a letter. Well, this comes from young Davey Radonovich of Kokomo, Indiana. He asks, what is the difference between slander and libel? Well, what kind of idiotic, stupid question is that? <laughs> what kind of little pea brain moron would write me? I think if I were you, little Davy, I'd worry more about inbreeding than I would about the law. <laughs> uh, Davy, that was slander. <laughs> 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 if I would have written it down, it would have been live. <laughs> this has been The Law Minute with ex-attorney Jack Thomas. Remember, ladies and gentlemen, the law is your friend. It's the lawyers you have to watch out for. <laughs> and remember this, the preceding has been a joke, not legal advice. Learn to know the difference. <laughs> Hi, this is comedian Tim Cavanaugh, and you're listening to Bob and Tom Radio. Now, uh, Andy Hendrickson is the other voice you're hearing in the studio. Andy is a stand-up comedian. You're a young guy. Yeah. He's a handsome guy. You, are you married? No, I'm single. Girlfriend or anything? No, none of that. It's, you know, well, it's you tough comedians really know how to get, <laughs> the, old, get the action. Like troubadours, right? Tom. They move from yeah. town to town. New woman in every port. Yeah, all my friends kids. are married. I, I got more weddings on the docket this year. I got mm -hmm. a wedding on uh, Memorial Day, mm -hmm. another one on Labor Day. Mm -hmm. You guys have the friends like that. You're like, oh, great. Your love's so special. You get to wreck my three-day weekend. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> yeah. That's right. Maybe I'll have yeah. my funeral on the Super Bowl. How about that? How about that? <laughs> I'll show you. Bring a snack. Uh, my most recent marriage was a disaster. It made the wreck of the Edmonds Fitzgerald look like a fender bender. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. Sorry to hear that. Uh, hello. <laughs> and you remember Lord's famous line about uh, gun control. Ah, uh, yes. yes. It, it, the relationship taught me a lot. It mm -hmm. taught me they won't sell you a handgun if you're crying. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, welcome back to the Bob and Tom Show. Christy Lee at the news desk. Yep. There's Pat Godwin. Hello. He's over there in the performance room. Jessica Olsman joins us. Hello. There's Josh Arnold. Jake. No relation to Benedict. There's Ace Cosby. Hey. Or are Yeah, you are actually distantly, right? Benedict Arnold. Yes. Do you have anything negative to say about my wonderful... Ancestor. He, he was quite the uh, hero until until he wasn't. I guess somebody somebody pushed him and pushed him until <laughs> he'd had enough, and he just turned against the person who was pushing him. We Arnold's have a way of doing that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> there was an agitator in your midst. They owed, they, owed him, they owed him money. <laughs> he did want money. He did want money and yeah. he, uh, retain his rank. And I'm Chick McGee, and here's Tom Griswold. Thank you very much. Um, now, we have uh, Christy Lee at the news desk. 
Uh, we have a couple things to get to, I think, right away before we get to sexy time with Allie Breen. What have you got over there? Taco Bell has won its fight over the Taco Tuesday trademark in all 50 states. The chain said its ambitious goal has been met after Gregory's Restaurant and Bar in Summers Point, New Jersey, forfeited its trademark this week after more than four decades of owning it. Ah, uh, finally the little guy wins one. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> Hi, I'm Gregory. How you doing? It's Taco uh, Tuesday. CNN reports earlier this year Taco John's abandoned its trademark registration in the other 49 states. However, Gregory's owner proved harder to persuade until now. Forfeiting the trademark was, quote, the right move, according to trademark attorney Josh Gerben, who is not involved in the case but did tell CNN that Gregory's legal fees would have been extreme burden to bear for any of small course, business. Of course, of course. Estimating it to be at least $100,000. Hmm. So anybody can use Taco Tuesday now? No, it sounds like Taco Tuesday. No, only Tuesday. Taco, Taco Bell. Just Taco Bell. No, 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 no. Taco anybody Bell. Anybody can use it. <laughs> okay, well, then the story should have said that. I mean, that's what, that's what I'm assuming. Said, then why does said, Taco Bell care about Taco Tuesdays? Because I guess they couldn't use it because in that state because this guy owned it. Huh? So, All right. Okay. Uh, trademark. You know, I'm starting to think that you confuse things <laughs> every now and then. I think that they're going to do... Um, now they're going to do the Taco Tuesday promotion at Taco Bell? Yeah, or, or, and they're doing um, Munch a Taco. <laughs> Munch a taco. Uh, uh-huh. Go ahead. Taco yeah. munch taco taco munch Mondays. And they also they also sell patchouli at these places. Munch days? <laughs> huh? Is that right? Um, Tom, I would think that if uh the if anybody can use it now, this Gregory would still use it. Taco John's yeah, but, would still but he can't prevent them from using it. I see. I think that's what's going on. Oh, okay. Okay. Anybody can use it. How about that? Gotcha. And if you only eat tacos on Tuesday, <laughs> you're an amateur. Yeah, what are you doing? Like, people only drink on St. Patrick's Wait a Day. minute. No, that's not right. You are, you love things at a certain time, a, a certain day, a is certain the Griswold season? household? Yes, we do do Taco Tuesday. There Thank it you for is. asking. Every Tuesday? Pretty much, yeah. That's fun. I like that. What about Thursday? Your taco Thursday? Breakfast for dinner. Oh, that's fun, really? too. Oh, that's my favorite. Really? Hey, but your, fav- your favorite meal is spaghetti. When When is your spaghetti night? We don't have a regular spaghetti night. How do you feel about spaghetti Sundays? <laughs> oh, good. there you go. Um, you know, some vanilla ice cream. That might work. Spaghetti might work. on top of it. What? Nothing. Um, I worry that you aren't in control uh, of enough at your house. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and here's why. What gives you that idea? I'm glad Josh? he finally said something because if that's the case, if it, we, it feels like we suffer because you think you, you come here and exert more control. I just don't think the people who live with you understand all the work you do for them. That's right. So That's right. Roof over your head. That's right. Ooh. Now, what would you like me to do? <laughs> <laughs> but, yes, yeah, so I, th- I think this means everybody can use Taco Tuesday. Okay, I don't know. fair enough. Well, what that? kind of breakfast do you have for dinner? Yeah, I'm, I'm guessing it's like a holiday sauce. No, no, no. Breakfast eggs, for dinner, bacon. usually uh, pancakes, uh, sausage, bacon, eggs. Oh, that's mm-hmm. fun. Man, oh, man. No do waffles? You- no waffles. Do you make fancy pancakes? Like throw in... No. <laughs> no. I'm with you, Tom. Oh, no fruit? Banana. Um, no banana pancakes? Uh, Are you serious? No. Well, no, sometimes they do that. Or they do... I, I, like, I like blueberry pancakes. Oh. But I, 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 I don't approve of the uh, the flavored syrups at various places. Yeah, get those out of here. Yeah. Boysenberry? You don't like boysenberry? No. Of course not. Uh, I'm for losers not. and weirdos. So it's Wednesday. What are we? What are we dining on tonight? I it, uh, tonight fact, uh, uh, probably something from somewhere else because I'm. Very it's Wellington busy. Wednesdays, isn't it? <laughs> Beef Wellington. Very very busy today. <laughs> I'm working my way across the country at every international house of pancakes. I'm writing whatever on the side of boysenberries, <laughs> right there at the table in in the sharpie. <laughs> what the hell ever. This is for losers and weirdos. I don't think anybody ever used it. That's right. Don't you love ordering the pancakes that are like the fun funfetti covered in like icing and sprinkles no. and all this stuff? You can only handle like two bites of it and you're done. Oh, no. I, I, so I appreciate fancy. that they're out there. Not for no, me. Yeah, not I, I just all. want butter and syrup. That's, That's it. it. Yeah. Not maple. even that. Just put butter. Yeah, yes, thank you, Tom. Ma- maple syrup. Maple. Just put an egg on top. Mm. Egg. Mm, I've never tried that. Oh, because yeah. it's disgusting. <laughs> no, it's <laughs> not. Oh, the yolk soaks up good. into the pancake. It's Ugh. awesome. It's like French toast pancakes, maybe? I guess. Or, I Whatever you want to call it. I like um, it. Now, uh, the pancake will accept it, huh? <laughs> is that what you said? Now, the breakfast for dinner, the, the one thing you don't do is you don't have coffee with it. 
No, because you're up on them. Oh, boy. Yeah, that's a, that's a rookie mistake. <laughs> what but about I, a nice decaf? <laughs> yeah. But I bring this up for coffee drinkers. You're going to love this story. This is, just makes me feel great. Go ahead. Do you have it? No, I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> oh, sorry. Go, uh, the headline is, um, coffee can keep you stronger as you age. Really? Is that right? According to a new study. Oh, four cups a day? Is that, uh, I think yeah. you read that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, researchers say that drinking coffee and tea may be associated with a reduced likelihood of physical frailty in later life. Huh. Oh. They say caffeine is the key. Wow. Those who drank four cups of coffee a day did the best on a variety of tests. Mm -hmm. This was um, 12,000 participants. Now, this was conducted. <laughs> in 1952? At the University, <laughs> no. of, University of Singapore, which oh. I'm sure is a... I know some alums. I'm sure it's a great place. Uh, yeah, people who drank four cups of coffee did better. And hmm. You know, the, peop the people who drink that much coffee, they can't even relax until two weeks after they're dead. <laughs> <laughs> they are. How strong it they is. Are, you can yeah. hear their bodies hum. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Good to know for coffee drinkers yeah, like me. Yeah, that is good to know. We're feeling good. Uh, what else have you got over there, Christy? Uh, magnet fishing in the news. Do you know what that is? I do, yes. Yeah, yeah. what is it? Explain it for our you, listeners. It's literally you throw a magnet mm -hmm. out into the water, and you see what you can pull out. Yep, because metal artifacts fall to the bottom of a lake, mm -hmm. right? Well, a magnet fisherman nearly had his pastime blow up in his face after dredging a live grenade from a canal oh. in Scotland. Oh, no. <laughs> no. Yeah. Yikes. Yes. I'm going to throw this back. <laughs> well, that's what you get for doing that in those really old countries. Yeah. Come on. Yeah. <laughs> The fisherman said once we got it, we ended up contacting the police and they got a bomb squad out to come and take care of it. The officer came over and told us, we've got good news and bad news. Good news is you saved Lilith Go, which is where they found it. Bad news is your magnet will be getting blown up with the grenade. <laughs> <laughs> blown up, sir? Oh. Yeah. That's scary. Yeah, that would be scary. Um, hmm. If you do that, does it erase all your credit cards? <laughs> Close hey, does that still happen? <laughs> I, I, I don't think that happens cards, anymore. Man. I get nervous it? still. I don't I know do either. I do too, but I, I don't yeah. think it does. Like, I don't like holding my, I have a billfold. I don't like putting it on my phone because I'm afraid it's going to wipe yeah. out. Some, but right. I'm sure I'm way wrong. So you had to fix it by now. <laughs> but thanks. Yeah. Speaking isn't of magnets. That, isn't that like the eel skin wallet would do that? Yeah, oh, would? Cause it's deal. <laughs> yeah. <I'm, laughs> I think you may be right. I'm pretty sure. Fewer, yeah, that, ha that, 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 that happened. Uh, yeah. Fewer so, refrigerator manufacturers are making the appliances magnet friendly. Yeah, I don't care for that. I don't either. Matias Sala, product manager at appliance manufacturer Smeg, said few consumers still no, want ferromagnetic. I, SMEG, they make a cool appliance. They very, do, but they're yeah, very no. retro looking. Very retro. They are cool looking. Bright colors, orange. Come on with that and, name. Yeah. That's the name of them. SMEG. I mean, was Fremunda Gum taken? <laughs> <laughs> they say fewer consumers still want ferromagnetic surfaces or ones that magnets will stick to. Yes. I like mine. It took me. A week to find a metal fronted air refrigerator. Yeah, he told the one. Huh? Smegma? No, no. I mean, do you have a metal fronted refrigerator? Yeah, I do. Really? I do. Absolutely. Same. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I've got no. magnets all over it. Hey, darn right. Me too. I spell out words, especially when I come uh, home. I have my niece's pictures. And, my great niece. And Tom's really giving me a rough time. I'll uh, put up. Tom eats it. I've got letters. <laughs> you, you, you nailed it, man. I know. Yeah. I know. And I come home, and then I'll feel bad, and I'll look at the refrigerator. <laughs> I'm, I'm smiling again. He doesn't even know. No. <laughs> hey, refrigerator magnets are the bumper stickers of the kitchen. Uh, um, they are. Uh, they yeah. are, but they're fun. I like them to put up the kids' art. Yeah, yes. exactly. I have to use tape I now at my that. new house. All my hey. coupons live there. They're usually expired because I forget about them, but I pin them up there. If Ace yeah. had coupons in his refrigerator, can you imagine? It'd fall over. Look like a NASCAR, <laughs> <laughs> look like a NASCAR jacket. I love it. I've got pictures of my niece's art. I've got I, pictures of Pat's girlfriend. I did it! <laughs> Innocent. And I got you, pal. Uh, You've so, been Arnold. So the the fewer and fewer refrigerators. Yeah. Oh. Yep. Okay. Well. Well, the stainless steel you can't use, right? I have stainless steel, and I can. Oh. It's some weird mm. uh, mixture. I don't know. <laughs> That's the add radiation to it, right? I hope. Yeah. Because, yeah. So, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> kind of glows shiny in the dark. It's right. Nice. Right. Um. By the way, uh, to go back in time a little bit, uh, after a little bit of research, we were talking about uh, 
this shampoo. Remember this? That's what it was called. P S S S S S S T. Boy, that is a rough yeah, vocal. That is. Talk, about, talk about missed opportunities, though. Have you pissed in the shower this morning? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I pissed in the shower last night. I, I'm assuming that they don't make this anymore. I mean, I've never heard of it, but there are so many dry shampoos out there now. It wouldn't. Well, but okay. I just remember just kept thinking they really named this thing pissed. <laughs> yes. are, are, are they that stupid? It's not pissed. It's pissed. I know, but come on. Like, pss, oh, there's I a distinction. Shampoo? Yes, there's a distinction. Yeah, pissed. It's not p i s s e d. Has an i in it. <laughs> but still, p s s s s s t is. It's like I got to tell you a secret. Pst. I thought that meant you just let a little loose. Oh, jeez. <laughs> a little, little dollop o urine. He's, he's back with the queef references again. <laughs> it's like the first time wasn't enough. Sorry. Um, yeah, me. make sometimes a sense right now, line. big guy. Uh, right now. <laughs> sometimes, yeah. Let's talk about, uh, oh, first of all, real quick, uh, uh -huh. congratulations to our winner of the Big Green Egg Mini Max. Uh, this would be one Ms. Elise Jenkins of Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. She is our big winner for week seven. Be sure to get your entry in for week eight. That's not just Thursday any night. Elise. It's Elise Navidad. Elise Navidad. <laughs> Jenkins, though, her last name sounds like a butler, doesn't it? Jenkins. Jenkins, uh, Jenkins I say. Uh, uh, yes. Indeed. Uh, I've, I've lost my pss. I'll alert the media. I <laughs> <laughs> you lost your ability to in your pants quite a while ago. Right now, I want to wow. talk about. Uh, I want to talk about seasonality. And I want to talk about our friends at HelloFresh because uh, it's important to eat decent food. Every, you got to have good quality food. HelloFresh is A, about good quality, and B, about convenience, and C, about saving you a lot of time. They do the grocery shopping. They also do the measuring. You get the kit. That's right. It's America's number one meal kit. Yep. You get the HelloFresh kit. You put it together and make great restaurant-quality meals. And right now, uh, to acknowledge the fact that they know... That you don't have a lot of free time. They've got their quick and easy options. Some of these involve about five minutes of putting them together, popping them in the oven or whatever. 15-minute meals, for example. And what are you working on over there, Christy? Uh, talk about a great fall meal. Winner, winner, chicken orzo dinner with cheesy roasted zucchini and tomato. HelloFresh has all the ingredients packed in the box for you. Six easy steps, one pan, basically, and then you've got a great meal for your family. And right now they've got their best offer ever. How about this? 50% off plus free shipping. When's the last time you heard about free shipping? Well, check this out. You need the code. It's 50BTSHOW. So you go to HelloFresh.com slash 50BTSHOW and find out about uh, every week 40 new recipes for you to choose from. Everything from vegan way over there and then good old classic comfort food over there and everything in between. And it's easy to substitute stuff, switch proteins or whatever. It's all about convenience. The code 50BTSHOW, the place. HelloFresh.com slash 50BT show. And don't forget about the HelloFresh market. That's right, currently featuring mini pumpkin cheesecake. D delicious. A B C D delicious. Thank you very much. HelloFresh.com slash 50BT show. Coming up, sexy time with Allie Breen. This is the Bob and Tom Show. Hey, did you enjoy those videos played in that break? Check out the Bob and Tom YouTube playlist for more great stuff. Uh, what about no. the Blow Jovian guy? Was, was this was, the, I think it was one of the Blow Jovians. Was this the Mad Armenians? Was this, <laughs> Might have been Bluto Blow Jovian. And, and, and the Mad Armenians. Do we have everybody out there? I can't see. Um, do we need Chick? Okay. Do we need Chick? We do need Chick. We do for this oh, next we tune. Okay. We're going to need the oh. Chickster. Oh. Yeah, there's a uh, little vocalizing from uh, everyone on this one. Oh, that's this one. Oh, this that's, one. Yeah. That song. Yeah. Okay. Well, you all got to get out there. No, no not can, everybody. We can yeah, sing from in here. And ready? And we're ready. Okay. You're This is called. Dear Penthouse, I'm a fresh 
freshman at a small Midwestern university. And I never thought something like this could happen to me. When my teacher with the dynamite asked, asked me to stay after her class, and she started to undress. Can't forget the statement she made. If you drop your pants, I'll raise your grade. Dear Ben's house, I never thought those letters were really true until I was on a fishing trip and I met a girl named Jill. We had a little too much to drink. Couldn't believe what I was starting to think. So we headed to her tent. Oh, yeah. There's nothing like eating out. Although the next morning my breath still smelled like trout. <laughs> I've read every issue since 1974. The first two years behind. Seaman first class at an overseas naval base. It's been seven long months since I've seen a woman's face. When I saw your recent issue, I bought a box of Kleenex tissue and I locked the barracks door. Thanks to you, I've gotten a grip. Please excuse my jerky penmanship. Red every issue since 1974. The first two years behind the bathroom door. I poured through every penthouse I could find. Even though my Sports on the radio has always been my job. I never wanted a man until I noticed Bob. His laugh fills me with desire. His bun set my loins on fire. And I dream about the day he says, Chick, let's get undressed. <laughs> Uh, name and address held withheld upon request. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. Hey! Whoa. Chick McGee, everybody! Yeah. Oh, the classics. You screwed up I screwed up the damn My withheld God. name and address. Nice, nice job, Chick. Nice job. <clears throat> Yes. And I even rehearsed yesterday. I did rehearse. <laughs> you did? That's with rehearsal. <laughs> Thank God you rehearsed. Think how horrible it would have been. It was and I still you not. Get the... You oh, did a great job. So let's nice. do it again. One, no, two, two, three. three. No. <laughs> hey, it's Josh. And of course. Hi, Chick McGee, everybody. Your chance to win a Mini Max Big Green Egg for Bob and Tom and Big Green Egg. Each week, someone will win a Mini Max Big Green Egg. It's the Bob and Tom Show Pig Skin Pick, empowered by the Big Green Egg. Go to bobandtom.com slash contest on the computer. And... <laughs> Is that where you go? Are we eligible? Welcome back to the Bob and Tom Show. Christy Lee at the news desk. Josh is in trouble. <laughs> <Yep>. <laughs> Pat Godwin over there in the performance room. Hello. What did he do? A song and a half today? Yeah, what did he do? Maybe. 
Oh. There's Jessica Allsman. Hi. There's Josh Arnold. Hello. Mm -hmm. He's at the I Hate Stephen Singer sidekick chair. What of it? For now. <laughs> See how he is? There's Ace Cosby. Howdy. Asking me stupid questions. I'm Chick McGee, and here's Tom. I asked you a very fair question that everybody else was not only willing to answer, yeah. ple pleased to answer. And we and it and it spurred a conversation among uh, yeah. everyone you talk to. Exactly. Except, except him. You. For those of you wondering, the question was. It's a very straightforward question. Chips flying. Ahoy. Right. Or chewy chips ahoy. And I said classic chips ahoy. I like the crisp. Chewy, less crumbly. Okay. I think it's very much a generational thing. Yeah, uh, because probably. Because I like the uh, the classic. Mm. And Tom replied... I don't eat crap like that. I don't eat <laughs> crap like that. <laughs> Thus, ruining the survey. Well, Josh tried to save it with... What did you say? Well, this was fun. <laughs> <laughs> I uh, I like homemade cookies. Well, of course, but uh, that wasn't part of the. Uh, <laughs> and speaking of cookies, there's a hot cookie. Uh, Allie, uh, maybe I'm you going to... chewy. Chewy going to... Chewy. You know, this is 2023, yeah. right, Tom? Yeah, Je Allie. You know what my aunt would have called you? My aunt would have said if she'd seen her picture, because Allie is lovely. She, my aunt would have gone, well, she's a hot ticket. Oh, I like that. <laughs> would she? I like that too. I'll take it. Would your, was your aunt? Yeah. Would she have said it in that cat-like way? <laughs> mm -hmm, yes. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Because she's in New York and she's out there. Oh, the show where the show is sexy time. I love when old people yeah. have cute phrases. My grandpa would have called you mucho effable. <laughs> <laughs> he had a way with Oh, your, gran wow. your grandpa. Yeah, he was a very, very yeah. uh, senile, old, way with words. dirty old man. Very poetic. He, he sure was, wasn't he? <laughs> He's um, the one who said, uh, I don't care, Hitler made the trains run on time. Isn't he the same one? Oh. Yeah. <laughs> That's you. what I thought. That was very helpful. Uh, Chips Charming. Ahoy. Original. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Allie, where are you? Chips uh, Hoy or at home. original or chewy? <laughs> chewy. I was saying chewy. Chewy. Yeah. Right. Although they're they're neck and neck. Either one works. Ne yeah, you're right. Like, Tom, no... you're crazy for not eating chips ahoy. They're amazing. There's no losing. Yeah. Um, they no. really are a good store bought cookie. They're yeah, surprisingly they good. Yeah. The only store bought yeah. cookies I eat are Oreos occasionally. Oh, those are sure. Good. Crumble them up into ice cream. Now those are a cookie sandwich. And by the way, <laughs> whoever, whatever genius came up with the you open the entire top of the package of the Oreos. Instead of trying to cut your way into it. That would guy's you, a genius. Would you say yeah, Pulitzer Prize worthy? Yes. Yep. Yes. Hey, hey, Nobel. You're right. Nobel, yes, yes. It, it's amazing. If they gave Bob Dylan the, no the, the Nobel for literature, thing? I think the... The Nobel for physics to the guy that created the Oreo top. You're right. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Where are the other cookie companies? I, I can't have Chips Ahoy have a, a top like that. I don't right? know if they've gone That's to what that I mean. Not. They must have patented that. That must know. be an Oreo it's thing. It's perfect. I'm pretty sure that Chewy Chips Ahoy does open on the top now. Okay. Oh, really? I think maybe more of them caught on because mm. you end up eating more when you open it up and <laughs> see more. I think they figured yes. it out yeah. as opposed to having to reach in and grab just a little bit at a time in a row. Hmm. No. For sexy yeah. time, we should be talking about yeah, opening up something else. Yeah. Removing tops. Oh. Tom, have you, nice ever done segue. This? have you ever done this? Taking a Oreo a package of Oreo cookies and some Oreo ice cream, getting your ice cream out, and then putting more Oreo cookies on top of the Oreo. This is like a good cream. idea, though. Fat. That does. That's very have Oreo. You ever done that? I know, but no. oh, super fat. Josh, have you ever done that? <laughs> no, too fat. <laughs> right. No, Allie, are you? Fair uh, enough. Do you like to go to the fridge and grab a whole thing of ice cream and just eat it? Yeah, ice cream. I mean, it's getting out of ice cream season, but in the summer, it's the best. Absolutely. Eat your feelings. And Ben and Jerry's, like that size or Hagen dazs you can eat pretty much a full one and not feel too guilty. Mm -hmm. uh, oh. You mean the little teeny ones with the little cup, the little... No. So like on medium one. The, oh. the Yeah, the okay. medium size. The little yeah. ones are a little small. The big uh, ones are a little big. I'm being told that uh, a magical cookie that I've never had called E.L. Fudge. They're great. Oh, yeah. Those are good. Uh, they also have top openers. Okay. Is what we're calling. How do they pack the fudge cookies? <laughs> In the rear. <laughs> of, all the, of the warehouse. You know the elves make those. You be so All sorry. the be deliveries nice. were made up. <laughs> yeah, the elves do make. Have you ever seen a, one of the, a, a female Nabisco elf? I didn't no. think so. <laughs> Wasn't it the onion who said they, the elves had a tree fire or something? No. <laughs> well, let's yeah. move on. We have Allie Breen. Uh, Allie, if you want to reach Allie, you go to A-L-L-I-B-R-E-E-N on your favorite social media platform and ask about your love troubles. We'll try to fix them on Sexy Time with Allie Breen. Hi, Allie. What do yes. you got? 
I uh, actually, you know what? I should start with a live question because I was just in Lexington, Kentucky. I met a lot of Bob and Tom fans, which was a lot of fun. So shout out to them for coming. Uh, you guys really have the best fans. And one guy wanted me to do a live question. He snuck away from his wife and asked me to ask, why is it that all the fun stuff, like the mm -hmm, stops when you get married, is it a female conspiracy or does each individual woman just decide to stop doing that? Huh. Yeah. Are we talking about I think a they, certain activity, yeah, I think one they, certain activity? I think probably. It sounds like he's talking about... Um, uh, the oral conversations, yeah, yeah, if you yeah, will. Yes. May I ask... And speaking into the you, mic, especially. Are you instigating it first, perhaps, so it's reciprocated? You know what I mean? Like, because uh, I don't think it goes away. Maybe it's just grossly unpleasant. <laughs> oh. You do pee out of there. <laughs> I had someone who I was involved with legally tell me that one time. Wow. What? <laughs> and there was ooh in there. That's, that's sexy. Oh, yeah, yeah, maybe yeah, that's maybe enough. it's that simple. I'm not sure if there's a conspiracy. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But uh, tune in to uh, your local AM radio station to find out. Let's move on, Allie. What are, you got some real right. letters there? Dear Allie, I've been married for 33 years and I've never been in great shape, but I finally found something that works for me and suddenly I'm in the best shape of my life. My wife rarely wants to have sex, but we're still closest to friends. What are the chances she'll let me open up that sexual part of our relationship as I want to have sex with other people, but I love keeping her as a companion? <laughs> oh, I mean, we, good luck. we can't speak to the chances. We don't know. I don't know how she feels, but, you know, Boy. maybe... This, this is the so-called open marriage. Remember, yep. there was a book called that. Maybe he should try romancing her. Maybe, maybe she would be interested in him again. Right. Just kind of yeah. say what you just said to us. Like, yeah. hey, I want to do it. Yeah, but what's, what you. if you open that box? And she, I mean, that is not something that can be shut again. That's mm -hmm. true. Yeah, that is true. You um, made her mouth. <laughs> 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 you can't unring that bell, can you? No. Oh, sorry. Yeah, I, no. yeah, that'll come would, up after every If you want to start having sex up. again, I think I would start with her. I mean... Absolutely. Yeah. We need to know yeah. more facts. We need to know more facts. Are you going to say... Oh, go she, ahead. You're sick. I know what you're thinking. What does <laughs> she look like? Look at him. Is she fat at all? Oh, yeah. There no, we go. no, no, no. There could be lots of other issues. <laughs> <laughs> she could be skinny and just, just a giant pain in the ass. No, he said he you likes know, her. Well, They're best of friends. Okay, great. And when you I'm think friend, about it. I'm friends with all you guys. I'm not having sex with you. <laughs> well, uh, <laughs> by the way, one of these days I'll get you. Thank you, Allie. We, <laughs> we had her bring that up just because we'd I'm all like to visual. ask you. We want to make a big monkey pile with all of it. <laughs> I don't it is interesting, though. You can delegate the emotional part. Like, if, if he was like, I'm having problems, I can't talk to you about it, can I see a therapist? She'd be like, fine, but you can't delegate the sex part. If it's like, we're having sex problems, can I see someone else? All of a sudden, it's not right, right. cool. We had a news story. Uh, um, remember this about the woman that... Um, uh, she was a, a former sex worker, and she, she would uh, she would bring couples together and... Yeah. She would demonstrate what with she would take the guy aside sure. and Oh yes. wow. It's so, an important thing for some couples, yes. Yeah. yeah. I can see that becoming a disaster. And I'm sure it can. What, the yeah. therapy part? And went to therapy last week. You couldn't make it, so <laughs> I, Ginger and I just knocked a few off. <laughs> a few. You're fine with that, right? Okay. One <laughs> afternoon. I made, I made another appointment now for gonna, tomorrow. Now you're not going to be all <laughs> sad and start crying. You know, Ginger you. said you would act this way. Yeah, I, I, I know you got to go to work tomorrow, but that was the only appointment she had available. So. Yeah, they've been married 33 years. That's, oof. I don't know how you're going to get around this one, well, sir. it's too long anyway. Get a divorce. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. Let's move on. Do we have another Time letter, Allie? we, we got to try to help somebody today. Oh. <laughs> Dear Allie, my boyfriend and I are having an argument. He says that some sex stuff with strippers at a bachelor party is totally fine. It's expected and therefore not cheating. Some sex stuff. <laughs> like what sex stuff? She says anywhere up to handies, he says. Oh, He's, up to. He says she's already rubbing her ass and her boobs in your face. That's way more intimate than just doing a hand thing. I say he's crazy. Who's right? Oh, my God. Okay, so it sounds like handies uh, are in play here, right? Yeah. yeah. She, I think so. That was her yeah. idea, yeah. That he, yeah. I'm going to say, in my opinion, he's not correct. Uh, I'm what, surprised if you, you're if saying you, that. If you start getting to... 
Yeah. Handies. Yeah. And he, there, that is cheating. Yeah. And there Absolutely. is a difference between rubbing something on you and grabbing your... And, yes. And trying yeah. to... Yes. 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 Completing party. Exactly. Yes. yes. That isn't no, okay. I'm I, with her. She, right. yes, I love cheating. that he just tried to tell you, as a matter of fact, like, what? This is how it is. You're being nuts. Yeah. You're and crazy. also, ladies, this isn't how it is. Yeah. I've been to a lot of bachelor parties, and a lot of strippers will rub on you and grind right. on you. They don't do, they don't often go. That next for, step. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so you say you keep asking for it? You reach some sort of other financial exactly. arrangement. Exactly. Yeah. I, I don't know. So oh. and and then you're cheating. Yeah, then you're taking it a step further. Totally. Yes. Yeah. Oh, made her more upset. And it's then. illegal. Then it's just a Tom, business deal. Yeah. <laughs> Tom, your thoughts on this? Uh, I d I'm not a bachelor party guy. I haven't been to one in eight. The last one I went to. Were you there? Yes. With the egg. Yeah. I I, I walked with out. With the egg. A lot happened at that bachelor party. <laughs> yeah. The yeah. girl, the lady with the egg, and um, she was all over the groom. Uh, the groom's dad was. I, I, I left after about fifty minutes. I thought this is just. And the guy was eating a sandwich when he was on the toilet. Yeah, it was just awful. It yeah. was something yeah. else. Had to yeah. No thanks. Yeah. The, the, the cool. movie. The movie bachelor party. So Pretty much nails it. Yeah. Except yeah. for the donkey. We didn't have a donkey. Okay. <laughs> what was the egg lady doing? What was um, the egg party? Uh, she was uh, giving birth to a. Well, she was make. Uh, she was uh, serving hard boiled eggs, if you will. And yeah, there were without those, using her hands. There were those who were eating them. Ooh, it was, wow. Uh, yeah, I, yeah. <laughs> Boy, that is something. And they weren't. And, 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 <laughs> that is really, really something, and, isn't and, it? You know, I only eat the, the I you told know, you. I only eat the free range. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I don't care, I don't the care where range. they've been. I, yeah, yeah, the free range. I don't want them to. I got enough problem coming out of the chicken's ass. <laughs> yeah. 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 Holy I, hell. I'm not going to. I can eat those things. Yeah. Let's have one more story. What have you got over there, Allie? Dear Allie, my boyfriend is super hot and her boyfriend is even hotter. Oh, sorry. My best friend is super hot and her boyfriend is even hotter. Yeah. Her boyfriend has been flirty with me when no one else really flirts with me. And I feel like we're actually making a connection. Ugh. I started to feel guilty about it, but I can't really help it. So now I'm thinking maybe I'll try to suggest to them a threesome, but I don't want to make it weird. <laughs> or would that be hot? What should I do and who should I suggest it to? Well, first off, it'd be crazy hot. <laughs> <laughs> yes, three hot people having sex. That's hot. <laughs> but it's going to be weird. And, you're, it up. and you're, yeah. they're not going to be your friends anymore. What, what, if they, what if they love the idea, Chick? Well, do you take the risk? It's too big of a change. Yeah, Chick, maybe it'll be a thruple. Well, you never know. I don't know. I would say go party with them, get drunk, and then ask it or suggest it. That way, if they get weirded out or your best friend gets weirded out, you can be like, I was just drunk. I didn't mean it. But then... That's perfect. Yeah. So you can get away with actually suggesting yeah. okay. it. But it will still be weird after, no matter what. <laughs> hmm. Or maybe you and your best friend will hook up and stay together forever. What? <laughs> <laughs> they might find out they actually have feelings. Maybe it's her that she's actually attracted to, you know? That's true. Oh. Modern day romance. That's right. You never know. You never know. It is the yep. 90s. <laughs> 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 oh, Allie, let's squeeze in one more letter. We got to do something that we got to find a solution for somebody. <laughs> We've had okay, some dear solutions. Allie, my wife's friend is a masseuse and she just started her own business. I love massages. My wife hates to give them. So she actually encouraged me to go. I've gone once a week and it's amazing and it's only gotten better. The massage gets more intimate the more often I go. And the last massage I had, she licked me behind the knees. <laughs> What? It's the greatest thing I've ever felt. <laughs> These massages are starting to be all I think about throughout the week. Am I headed for trouble? Yes. We're technically not doing anything wrong, but do I need to stop? No, you're fine. No. That's a Keep it going. <laughs> Being licked behind the knees is standard masseuse no, behavior. Oh and she's going to ask you to roll oh over. Oh, my gosh. And, uh, yikes. Whoa. Oh, man. So, oh, that is house. not okay. You have to stop going to her. <laughs> Otherwise, you're going to... Basically, your wife will eventually find out, and she's going to be mad at you, and she's going to ditch your best friend, and you're not going to be able to have massages anymore. Uh, this is weird. This is yeah. Uh, or just ask your I've wife, hey, of... does your best friend lick you behind the knee a lot? <laughs> like, is that okay? No, is he going to have time to make it to practice for the Browns? <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, nice. I see. Is that you're implying it's to Sean Watson? <laughs> Sean Watson. Okay. No, no, he would have already, he would have already gone for it. Yeah. <laughs> Allie Breen can be reached, A L L I B R E E N, uh, with your love troubles. Uh, today, a, a total failure. We did. We, yep. we, we yeah. were of no, no help. The but but then again, what do you expect? Yeah. <laughs> Allie, are you? Uh, are you? Uh, I, can see, I can see you're in New York. Are you working this weekend? I am. Um,
p.m. I'm at Eastville Comedy and the Comic Strip this weekend. Oh, oh Eastville, is that on the east side? <laughs> it's no, it's actually in Brooklyn. Yeah, yeah it used to be on the east side. It moved That's <laughs> by crazy, the Barclays right? Center. See, aren't you glad I yeah. asked? Yes. Thank you very I would have much. been on the east going, where the hell's That's east? That's right. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thanks, Allie. Bye, Thanks, guys. See you next week. Uh, we have um, it's a good uh, color on her. That blue. Uh, the, the season uh, for grilling is really is. kicking in now. <laughs> no mosquitoes. <laughs> Check local listings. And uh, a great time for some great steaks. Omaha Steaks has a bunch of really cool specials up and running. And, uh, Josh, tell me more. I love grilling in the fall. Crisp, crisp weather, the falling leaves, putting on a nice sweater, being by the grill. <laughs> Omaha Steaks has all your fall cravings covered with 50% off site-wide. No skaters. No Hear what skaters. Tom said? No yes. skaters. It's their semi-annual <laughs> sale. 50% off all your favorite tender, juicy, extra-age steaks like those butchers cut filet mignons. My gosh. Go to omahasteaks.com. Use code BTS at checkout. Get an extra $30 off your order. With Omaha Steaks, look, the possibilities are simply endless. Endless flavor, endless value on all their incredible entrees, scrumptious sides, decadent desserts, and so much more. Everything 50% off during the semi-annual sale, and every bite is backed by their 100% unconditional money back guarantee go to omahasteaks.com shop all your delicious favorites for half the price don't forget to enter promo code bts at checkout for an extra 30 dollars off hurry though this semi-annual sale is only for a limited time grab that meat lovers lasagna grab some of those jumbo franks those caramel apple tartlets holy cow are you in for a great fall with omaha steaks minimum purchase may apply visit omahasteaks.com for details Thank you very much, Josh. Congratulations again to Elise Jenkins, Philadelphia, PA, the winner of the Big Green Egg Mini Max. I'll urge you to go to bobandtom.com slash contest. Find out about winning that beautiful, beautiful orange insoles kegerator. And also find out about winning the uh, great Big Green Egg Mini Max. That involves a little bit of football knowledge. Have some fun with it. Get those entries in before Thursday evening. This is the Bob and Tom Show. Hey, thanks for listening to the... Might hear bits of conversation as you pass through public places. Some loud talker on a cell phone or a tiff at the next table. Most washed by and not remembered. But one evening last December, I passed two women talking by the front door of my hotel. <laughs> I stopped and thanked them by the curb The moment that I heard their words And said it was the finest line of eavesdrop I'd ever overheard Their words stuck inside my head So I wrote down the words they said And with a hotel pen I wrote then They had to taser her again <laughs> Cause then they had to taser her first time wasn't phasing her <laughs> whatever she did she did it twice who was this gal why weren't she nice they zapped her once she improvised a twitchy break dance jazzercise <laughs> didn't get the hint because then they had to taser her again <laughs> these swirling words did not relent spanking laden about this incident and it's gonna drive me crazy wondering what went wrong were there warrants unresolved how much alcohol was involved and did her stepson remember to return to the trailer the next day to feed her snake? <laughs> Cause then they had to taser her. First time wasn't phasing her. Whatever she did, she did it twice. Who was this gal? Why weren't she nice? Her hair, it spiked. She spilled her bong. They upped the volts. She soiled her thong. <laughs> Didn't get the hint, because then they had to taser her again. No, she didn't catch the drift, because then they had to taser her again. Okay. <laughs> Haywood Banks. 
Somebody go back and feed the snake. That's a bad day. Boy, uh, soiling a thong is a bad day. Ooh. Not a lot of, not a room, you know what? Not, not a lot of room to catch anything. Right, yeah, yeah. Soiling yeah. a thong isn't hard to do. Yeah. Josh, what's wrong? My back is sore, my legs. What's in your shoe? Nothing. Mm -hmm. I mean, here, look, nothing. Ah, uh, Joshua, you have to have proper support. Huh. Orange insoles. Orange insoles, you say? Yeah, look. Yeah, yeah I see them. Look at this. They're great. Yeah. Orange insoles. I'll give them a shot. Great. All see right. you later, buddy. Give it a... oh. Yippee! I can mow and dance while I do it. Ha! No more pain. Thank you, orange insoles. <gasps> oh, Josh, Josh, did you get orange insoles? Jessica, I sure did. Thanks to orange insoles, I feel great. Terrific. <laughs> See me. you later. <laughs> orange insoles. Feel better, do more. Anorexia. Okay. Oh. All right. <laughs> Ooh, I wanna be a plus sized model, the kind that can't run very far. Because if I could only be a plus sized model, I know I'd be a big, big star. Please feed me. <laughs> so, some, some people get sensitive about it, uh -huh. but don't. Because the beautiful women are the big women. And, I agree. And uh -huh. I like I gained some weight, then I couldn't afford to keep it. And I want a carbo load without having to exercise. I don't want to worry if the fat goes to my thighs. I want to wear a plus plus size brassiere of room. I want to eat chips and wash them down with beer. Size dream, but I'm plus sized ornery for the best job in the world goes to the bigger girls than me. They're all sluts. <laughs> 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 You took my breath away from the moment I first saw you. Will you marry me, Dolly? She said yes! She said yes! It's not a real person. It's not a real diamond. Real, natural, earthborn diamond. For your real love, from a real jeweler you can trust. Steven Singer Jewelers. Bob and Tom Radio. We have uh, also a Matt Fulcher on here. Matt, um, I know you're, you're a rap fan. Do right, you, right. Do you curse a lot in your... Uh... Well, you know, on the radio, they take out all the curse words, yep. which means they take out all the words. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? Oh, sure, for the song. rap songs? Yeah. Sure. Turn on the hip-hop station, it's like, I'm going to you up so bad, going up in the to your mother, man. And after that, I'm going to your mother, sister, going up, 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 up. <laughs> not, not even gonna kiss her. <laughs> something, something like that. Yeah. Something like so, Mark, you're a single guy. Yeah, I tell you though, it's tough because uh, I got these neighbors behind uh -huh. me. Really? My neighbor Gail, very um, Gail. Uh, Gail is a woman who just moved. To her bedroom wall is right behind mine, and um, she has a new boyfriend. Mm -hmm. And I found this out. Uh, his name is. Tom! <laughs> Hi, this is Ross Bennett, and you're listening. There it is. Welcome back to the Bob and Tom Show. Christy Lee at the news desk. Hi. Hi. There's Pat Godwin in the performance room. Hello. There's Jessica Alsman. Hi. There's Josh Arnold. Hello. He's at the I Hate Stephen Singer sidekick chair. There's Ace Cosby. Hey. I'm Chick McGee, and here's Tom Griswold. Time for that song, Pat. <laughs> Which one? Oh. oh, I love this one. Today, 
Oh, you could work on it today in history song, Pat. All right. Oh, wow. Look at him scramble to his uh, well, pen boy. and paper. He's uh, <laughs> ready, to, ready to roll. It's all up here, baby. Interesting right. day in history today. Oh, yeah? What do we got? October oh. 25. Um, in 1960, uh -huh. the first electronic wristwatch. Was 1960? Yeah. Electro huh? It's about time. <laughs> <laughs> and, oh, uh, no. It, it, uh, yeah, it, it yeah. was so bad. I didn't, wow. even, right. I didn't even recognize it as a joke right. until... <laughs> you know, some of those, uh, the first uh, diode, the glowing diode battery, what do they call those the, watches? The, the ones that were irradiating people? Uh, the red uh, the red numbers. and things. Oh, Those are like yeah. hundreds of thousands of dollars. They're like collectors. Oh, not the ones that they, they irradiate you? No. no. Uh, I guess the people that were making Do you have a Timex when you were a kid? I did. Course. Did you? You didn't know. Your mom didn't get you a Nixon no, 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 or something no, no. like that. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, the first electronic watch, hard to believe. What were they before that? Battery? Uh, up, gasoline. Up. They were gasoline. Yes, yes. Yeah, they were. Yeah, yeah. Before they got the, the EV. <laughs> yeah. You couldn't the wear your watch in school. It was Tesla Too loud. Watch. Too loud. To wear. <laughs> couldn't Jason, wear your Jason, watch. is there a Tesla before? watch? Do they have Nine o'clock. Does Tesla have a watch? No. Oh, really? I would think they would. That'd be cool. Everyone, of course, now they've got that, uh, the Apple watch. Yeah. Um. Remember the uh, Accutron? Mm -hmm. Was that what this was? Yes, uh, I the remember tuning, the Accutron. The tuning fork or whatever it was. <laughs> yeah. It, it vibrated to keep time or something. I had a swatch when I was a kid. Those are really oh, I, I, had a swatch. I had a swatch. Too. I love swatch. love swatch. Jack Parr for Accutron. Is that right? Yeah, the Jackutron. <laughs> the Jackutron. Oh. Jack Special Parr. edition late Jack night watch. Parr. Jack Parr. <laughs> Jack Parr doesn't remember he's Jack Parr. Okay. Oh, no, not anymore. No. Um, let's see. Uh, 1968. Jack Parr's granddaughter's got to be dead. <laughs> that's how, yeah. that's how old that is. I think so. He was the uh, Tonight Before Show Johnny host. Carson. Oh, okay. And um, people, remember when he uh, when Johnny took over there? Well, no, Johnny was awful at first. Nobody liked him at, at the start. Isn't that funny? Uh, well, nobody can replace Jack Parr, they said. Uh, we have um, the U.S. basketball team in 1968 beating Yugoslavia to win to, Yugoslavia to win gold in Mexico City, seventh straight title for the U.S. Those days are gone. Yep. Um, Man, everybody else is caught on. Yeah. Um, let's see. Oh, you'll like this one, Josh. 1978. John Carpenter's movie Halloween, my released, favorite, starring Jamie Lee Curtis just in her film it. debut. Yep, real just scary, yeah. it. crazy tense. But that's the one with Michael Myers, right? Uh, yes, yeah. very good. Very I loved good. him in Wayne's World. Mm -hmm. That's a di that's Mike Myers. Oh, Mike, oh, no very confusing. Um, 1980, <laughs> um, AC/DC releases "You Shook Me All Night Long." That's a good song. Not to be confused with the other version from mm -hmm. Back in Black. Mm -hmm. Uh, a very nice uh, record. So uh, they released very back nice in black. record. <laughs> Happy birthday, <laughs> what? 1881. What Pablo Picasso uh. introduced the phrase, uh, my kids could do that. Yeah. Uh, to the artwork. <laughs> <laughs> you ever pronounce it? He has how many boobs? Oh, no, go ahead. <laughs> Pick asso. Of you ever course. say that? Oh. Yeah. yeah, I do. Yeah. Um, <laughs> this guy, um, remember him, 1944, the birthday of James Carville. Oh yeah, he's the guy who's married. Is one he was he and his one's wife. One's a Democrat, one's a Republican. Yeah. How do they get along? He still shows up. He still. You and me are talking about Mary mm. Madeline. Oh. And Mary Madeline, <laughs> who talks, she doesn't ever open her teeth. Mm. Jim, get in here. I need servicing. Is what you'll see. The Raging Cajun is that what they yep. would call yeah. him? LSU, yeah, big guy. He's, um, he's a liberal. He's um, looks like a goblin. <laughs> <laughs> a little bit, <laughs> kind of. Rather unusual. Um, ooh, the late Danny Gans. You know who Danny Gans was? I don't think yeah. so. Man, he was huge in a certain Nashville, Vegas. Vegas. No, Danny Davis is on. Yeah, Vegas. Danny, Dan, you go to Vegas, there'd be Vegas, huge yeah. Danny Gans. Was he, he a was, magician? He was a musical musician. Everything. Oh. Comedian, magician. Yeah. <laughs> he had it all. His show apparently was dynamite, but he, man, he was young. He, he, he didn't live too long. Oh, yeah. so Let's so. leave you there. With okay, Danny Gans. real quick. Nancy Cartwright, who is she? Born voice of Bart, Bart Simpson. Born in 57, that's right. Uh, we learned today that uh, I do refrigerate my orange insoles before I put them on. How about that? It makes me feel <laughs> cool. <laughs> what do you think of that, Tom? And sometimes I'll pick up my orange insole like I'm answering the phone. Hello. Very, very good. <laughs> and you can win the orange insoles kegerator. It's right over there. That could be yours. Go to bobandtom.com slash contest. You can't keep up with everything in the world, Tom. 
talking about the NHL this morning. Mm. <laughs> Did not care about it. I'm glad they have fans. I just can't do, I can't watch everything. Yesterday, Tom said that he had a three-hour meeting, and then he had of legal stuff, and then he had Pilates. Yep. That's what he said. Josh had a dream where he had too much hair, he said. He called it the bald guy dream. Yes, starting to have bald guy dreams. Wanted to know if Tom had bald guy dreams. A dream where I have hair. That's cool. How about that? Yeah. How how did you cut it? Uh, I didn't. I put a hat on. (laughs) I just went, oh, gosh, I have to wear a hat until I can get this cut. Mm -hmm. Isn't that something? (laughs) If if you had long hair, how would you wear it? Bangs? Maybe a Dutch boy? Yes, I'd go Dutch boy. Or shave it on the sides, just have it on top. (laughs) Like you're a boxer in 1904. You know the Hitler. <laughs> I'd probably go like a late 80s Dennis Miller, just, uh, oh, yeah. just all over the place. Oh, Very yes. Good. Um, is that it? Yeah. That's all you've got? We're way over. Okay, thank you. This is the Bob and Tom Show. Just got to get a hold of us? Call, fax, mail, or email. Get all the contact information you need at bobandtom.com. This is the Bob and Tom Show.